The man turned around and looked at Uchiha Shijika with an expressionless face. This is not your concern. Uchiha. Shijika greeted people with a smile and made no move. He asked in reply ninjas should always act with caution. The note is indeed Kanaha's secret code, but it does not prove that you are Kanaha's ninja. After all, the Kumagakura spy incident just happened a while ago, right? Uchiha Shijika, this is just your unwarranted association. The man's voice was calm, without any fluctuations this is not a place to hand over tasks. Come with me, and you will know whether I am a Kanaha ninja or not. After the words fell, the man kicked off his feet, immediately jumped up to the treetops and walked forward without looking back. He was not afraid that he would run away. Uchiha Shijika followed him. Of course he would not run away. He had a premonition in his heart. He knows where the other party comes from. With his current strength, he dare not say that he is unscrupulous, but there is no problem in retreating unscathed. In this case, he naturally wants to complete the journey to see what their plans are. The two of them walked in tandem, one behind the other. Walking forward in the dense forest, Uchiha Shijika estimated the distance. With the strength of the ninja's feet, he was getting further and further away from the coastal city. Whoops! Uchiha Shijika jumped out of the dense forest following the face of the person on the road. The dazzling sunlight was a bit piercing. The vision in front of him was a little blurry for a moment. The man stopped, and Uchiha Shijika stopped ten steps behind him. This is a flat place, surrounded by dense forests. Looking down from the sky, there is an endless green jungle. In the middle, there was a place that was as abrupt and conspicuous as if it had been dug out with a spoon. Uchiha Shijika raised his eyes and saw that there was someone waiting there. He was dressed in ANBU attire, carrying a short sword behind his back, and the image of the mask and patterns were the ANBU he saw wore different clothes. They were not animals, and the patterns were more complicated. Uchiha Shijika didn't show it on his face, but he thought to himself, Shimura Danzo couldn't hold it back. Ordinary ninjas would think that ANBU are all the same, and start Uchiha Shijika, who is familiar with the plot, knows that the image and pattern of the mask are the characteristics that distinguish the ANBU and the roots. The roots belong to the ANBU establishment, but do not belong to the Hokage. They are an independent ninja force under the private jurisdiction of Shimura Danzo. Uchiha Shijika Hawa stood still and observed them. After the root ninja nodded to the passerby, he looked at Uchiha Shijika. He spoke, his voice was dry and emotionless, as if he was following a script. Uchiha Shijika, a temporary recruit from the Anbu, put on these clothes, we are going to the country of you to perform a secret mission. Uchiha Shijika's pupils suddenly moved, and he looked to the right behind him from the corner of his eye, where someone suddenly appeared. Also a ninja at heart. He was holding the same clothes and dagger weapons as them, and Uchiha Shijika glanced at the mask he was asked to wear. It's the flower pattern of the other shore. Is there a mission statement from Hokage-sama? The root ninja took out a scroll from behind and threw it to Uchiha Shijika. Uchiha Shijika took it and opened it. The mission book looked decent. He also saw Saratobi Hiruzen's Hokage seal. The mission book looked quite real. Yes, according to the relationship between Shimura Danzo and Saratobi Hiruzen, it is not difficult to get a real mission statement. After all, he is Saratobi Hiruzen's trusted Hokage assistant. They are old comrades. They have a deep friendship with each other and can still make is there anything that is not good for him? Uchiha Shijika closed the task book. I need to tell the leading Jounin. Unnecessary. ANBU's tasks have the highest priority and the highest level of confidentiality, and cannot be told to ninjas other than ANBU. Put on your clothes and we're going to leave as soon as possible. The root ninja added this mission is Hokage-sama's assessment of you. If you complete the task well, after it is over, you will be considered to join ANBU and serve Hokage-sama. Oh? 
Uchihashijika rolled his eyes and suddenly said doubtfully I once clearly expressed to Hokage-sama that I did not want to enter the Anbu. Hokage-sama understands me and respects my thoughts. Why is it inconsistent with what you said? Uchihashijika looked at the root ninja and said, Should I believe the Hokage's words or yours? Saratobi Hiruzen never said anything about letting him join ANBU, nor did he mention joining ANBU. This is a lie. Although Saratobi Hiruzen has a good opinion of him, his age is here, and there are Uchiha Lutai and Uchiha Shahe were all paying attention. They wanted to hide Uchiha Shijika in the ANBU openly, the current Saratobi Hiruzen is a little more courageous than in his old age, but only a little. Hesitation and worry are his background. You can let Uchiha Shijika enter ANBU, but it won't be him who is ten years old now. Uchiha Shijika thought, Saratobi Hiruzen actually wanted him to take the initiative to join the ANBU. This is Hokage-sama's decision, I only convey the mission. The root ninja holding the ANBU equipment approached Uchiha Shijika and said we are tools. We only need to complete the tasks assigned by the Hokage. No reason is needed. Lord Hokage must have deep intentions in doing this, Uchiha Shijika, don't wait any longer, the task is important, race against time. Are you sure this is a mission issued by Hokage-sama? Uchiha turned towards Konghua and looked at the root ninja with a half smile. This is of course a mission issued by Lord Danzo. The root ninja suddenly didn't realize it, and he revealed the real mastermind who drove them. The faces of the passerby and the other root ninja changed drastically, and they looked at Daoti Shimura Danzo's companion in astonishment. This is, it's an illusion. When? The root ninja calmed down. He had been through many battles and experienced a lot. In this situation, he immediately understood what happened. They were exposed. But there are remedies. The root ninja said in a deep voice this is a mission jointly issued by the Hokage-sama and the assistant. After all, it is a confidential mission involving the northern battlefield. The Hokage-sama and the others need to discuss it more. Before he finished speaking, the passerby next to him was talking to himself. Lord Danzo said, we want to observe your background. If possible, absorb you into the root. If not, pretend to go to the battlefield and be killed by the enemy due to lack of strength. Remember, do not expose the root. Damn it! The root ninja immediately pulled out his dagger and rushed towards Uchiha Jugka. Why should he make up for it after the plan was leaked like this? He went directly to kill Uchiha Jugka. Whoosh whoosh! Three black shadows jumped out from the dense forest on the left, the mask although their images and patterns are different, they are all root ninjas. The root ninjas were selected by Shimura Danzo from the ANBU training department. They are very powerful. Their teleportation was very fast, and they were close to Uchiha in an instant. Jug, the short sword, and the kunao flying swallow knife pierced Uchiha Jug's body hard. Poof! Uh huh. Uchiha Shijika's face looked horrified, and blood gushed out of his mouth. When the root ninja saw this, his expression became more solemn. There is no doubt that Uchiha Shijika is a genius, so no one believes in the fantasy that he can be killed so easily. Seeing that he couldn't deceive these basic ninjas, Uchiha Shijika stopped pretending and showed off his cards. He looked at the root ninjas around him with a smile, full of ill intentions. When the root ninja saw this, he suddenly felt bad in his heart. Escape. He quickly loudly informed his companions. Isn't it a little late? Uchiha Shijika sneered, and the next moment his body burst into light, filling the surroundings. The clone exploded. If you don't observe carefully, the three Megatama Sharingan can't see through it, and it can trigger the explosion without forming a seal. This is a Uchiha attack as a level difficult ninjutsu now belongs to Uchiha Shijika. It is really a must-have ninjutsu for yin people. Bang! There was a huge explosion, and the ninja exploded and the person flipped over and flew backwards. This loud noise, the face of the passerby who was caught in the illusion and the root ninja holding the ANBU equipment came back to their senses, 
with a look of confusion about the current situation. When the sight turned to a rising smoke, and the surrounding companions who were covered in blood, and who knew whether they were alive or dead, their expressions changed drastically. Hurriedly looked at the injury of his companion. Bang! The root ninja stopped and looked at the passerby's face in horror. As if he had been hit by something, before the passerby's face could react, a strong pulling force surged in front of him. Move, causing his internal organs to turn upside down. Wow! The passerby couldn't bear it, and he immediately vomited out a mouthful of blood. He staggered and became unstable. He was spun and flew out by the pulling force, and hit a big tree. His head tilted and he fainted. This, what the hell happened? The root ninja swallowed a mouthful and broke out in cold sweat. He quickly separated into two shadow clones. The main body pulled out the dagger and looked around vigilantly. Not knowing what happened, his companion fell to the ground and did not know whether he was alive or dead. Passersby rushed to him. When I went to check the situation, I suddenly encountered a heavy spin and flew out. Uchihashijika must have done this, but he didn't know how. It wasn't until this moment that he suddenly realized that they didn't know enough about Uchihashijika. That loud noise and that invisible attack did not appear on Uchihashijika's information. Uchihashijika has hidden a lot of things. It is basic for ninjas to hide their own intelligence but in the eyes of these Shimura Danzo's subordinates, Uchihashijika has hidden so many things with ulterior motives and a huge ambition that is detrimental to Kanaha. To deal with this last root ninja, Uchihashijika did not hide and walked out of the dense forest in a swaggering manner. The shadow clone of the root ninja rushed forward, trying to find out the opponent's intelligence cards. Uchihashijika walked leisurely and calmly, walking towards the root ninja step by step, completely ignoring the two shadow clones who were full of murderous intent. You are the least resistant to illusion among these people. The corners of Uchihashijika's mouth curled up, and a light sentence reached the ears of the root ninja. The next moment, he froze, his whole body was frozen, and he stared blankly ahead. Bang bang! Two shadow clones immediately appeared. Exploded and turned into smoke. Uchihashijika came to the root ninja and knocked him unconscious with a heavy blow from his palm. He clapped his hands, clasped his hands together, separated out five shadow clones, and looked around. He himself raising his right hand to cover his eyebrows, a red light flashed away. It seems these people are all. Uchihajuk looked around with his sharing gone. After waiting for a moment, the shadow clone sent a message but found nothing strange. Uchihajwika counted, there were six root ninjas in total, three in a class, Shimura Danzo two teams of root ninjas were sent to deal with him. Do they value him or not? These six root ninjas did not put any pressure on Uchihashijika at all and solved it easily. Uchihashijika rubbed his chin, maybe he was too yin. One move of the clone explosion directly sent away four root ninjas, but he used most of his chakra on it. The face of the passerby who suddenly suffered a serious blow was another yin than a move, which would make him invisible. The invisible and invisible thunder release rays Nan. The last root ninja, the resistance to illusions is too low. He happens to have the ability from an illusion master, so what can he say? Uchihashijika observed the status of these six people. Two of them were seriously injured and half dead. Uchihashijika kindly treated these two, and the emerald green chakra surged, pulling them back from the hands of death. We can't let them die here, otherwise Danzo Shimura will cause trouble. There was a conflict, there was a battle, but no one died, and there was a turning point, so it was not difficult for Saratobi Hiruzen to do it. It's not difficult for Saratobi Hiruzen to do it, so he will be safe and worry-free. He is not the little Karami he was back then. He has a group of people around him. Although not everyone confides in him, some words can be done. He didn't want Saratobi Hiruzen and Shimura Danzo to break up, that would be unrealistic, but he could show his strength and energy to Shimura Danzo as a warning. As for the deepening conflict with Shimura Danzo? 
the contradiction is already very deep, so how can we deepen it? The days are still long, there will always be a day to deal with Shimura Danzo. Boom boom. There was a knock on the door, and Ono Jounin, who was frowning and thinking about something, said please come in. Uchiha Shijika walked in with a smile. Ono Jounin was stunned for a moment, and then he came forward with surprise Kong Hwa, are you safe? After receiving the message from Mikato, we went to find you, but when we arrived at the location mentioned on the note, we found no one there. Let Hayaga Hizashi use the Byakugan to track them, but they were disappointed. No trace of Uchiha Shijika was found. Uchiha Shijika and the passerby were far away from the coastal city and had exceeded the Byakugan's detection range. After searching around to no avail, they could only come back and wait. They believed that with Kong Hwa's strength, there would be no problem, but they were not afraid of 10,000, just in case. Staying in the hotel, everyone seemed absent-minded and frowned. Now seeing Uchiha Shijika appeared in front of everyone safe and sound. They finally breathed a sigh of relief. Their worries dissipated and smiles appeared on their faces again. Ono Jounin patted Uchiha Shijika on the shoulder and said, you should come back to discuss it with all of us first. Yes, we need to go check this out together. It's still too dangerous for you to be alone. Uchiha. Mikato looked depressed and a little scared I shouldn't have let you go alone. She rushed back to report the news before, but later realized that she seemed to have left Uchiha Shijika to face it alone. This frightened her. How could she ignore the danger? Because, too do you believe that nothing will happen to Kong Hwa? He almost overturned in the country of Whirlpool before. Uchiha Shijika shook his head and smiled okay, everyone, I am standing here intact. This time, I was careless and had no sense of teamwork. Okay, stop talking about me and follow me. Uchiha Shijika led them to the hotel lobby. Ono Jounin and others followed Uchiha Shwika in confusion. As soon as they entered the hotel lobby, Ono Jounin's expression changed. He opened his mouth slightly and stuttered this, these people. Take a closer look at the images and patterns of masks on their faces. Ono J. Anin's eyes twitched. Roots, a ninja at heart. Ono Jounin naturally knew the root ninja. I once had the experience of assisting root ninjas, and the ruthlessness of these people left a deep impression on Ono Jonin. Ono Jonin suddenly looked at Uchiha Shijika, looking at him with a shocked expression. The person you want to see is, them. Uchiha Shijika nodded. Ono Jonin covered his face and felt a headache. How could it be a root ninja? It would be great if it were an ANVU ninja. The last thing he wanted to deal with was a root ninja. They were all like machines. Steady and straight, with no emotional ups and downs. Talking to the roots is like talking to the stones in the pit, smelly and hard. As he got closer, Ono Jonin observed, and suddenly realized that something was wrong. Why were these root ninjas motionless? The experienced Ono Jonin after a moment's thought, he understood that the other party was trapped in an illusion. This made him breathe a sigh of relief, as he no longer had to deal with the pit stones. Then Ono Jainan was a little surprised. Was this done by Uchiha Shijika? All these root ninjas elite, not weak in strength, how did Shijika do it? Uchiha Shijika responded I did it. Senior, it's time for us to hurry up and return to Kanaha as soon as possible. No need for Uchiha Shijika to say, Ono Jonan also understood the current situation. He asked Uchiha Hohua in detail what happened after meeting with the root ninja. As he listened, Ono Jonan frowned. He looked at the Hokage and Ishida upon seeing the mission statement, he subconsciously determined that it was not the work of Hokage-sama. Based on his interactions with Hokage-sama and his previous experience in accepting Hokage recruitment, Ono Jonan rejected the mission statement. Recruit directly. Uchiha Shijika entered the ANVU and then went to the northern battlefield? No. This is not what Hokage-sama should do. If Hokage-sama did it, he would call the recruits to give a speech, and then everyone would give heartwarming condolences encouragement. 
This is what Hokage-sama did when Ono Jonin was forced to recruit. Hearing that speech made his blood boil. He wished he could contribute to Kanaha as soon as possible. Even if he accepted the Hokage-sama's mission letter outside the village, the content in it was it shows warmth and makes people feel warm in their hearts. Hokage-sama is looking at me. At this time, the mission statement is concise and concise, with clear meaning. This is the correct way to write a mission statement, however, Jonan Ono didn't feel comfortable with it. What about the Hokage Little Theater after the mission content? What about content that makes people feel heartwarming? This method, Ono Jonan held the scroll and thought for a moment it's cold. This could never be the mission statement issued by Saratobi Hiruzen. There is no human touch at all. In Ono Jainan's view, Saratobi Hiruzen was very humane, which was reflected in his tenderness in the documents. Moreover, let the root ninja recruit Uchiha Shijika, who is a genin. This is contrary to what Hokage has always done, Ono Jonan is so sure. There must be something wrong with this mission statement. Inform the Uzumaki clan and let's return to Kanaha immediately. He wants to report to Lord Hokage. Shimura Danzo returned to the root base with a gloomy expression. He was followed by the root ninja who was defeated by Uchiha Shijika and given to him by Saratobi Hiruzen. Thinking of his experience in the Hokage's office, Shimura Danzo became furious. He sat heavily on the chair and stared at the six root ninjas in front of him with sinister eyes. The root ninjas all knelt on the ground with nervous expressions, waiting for Danzo Shimura's words. Why are you controlled by illusions? The content of the mission was also leaked. Shimura Danzo's voice was low and he stared at these people. The root ninjas froze and didn't know how to answer. To be honest, they didn't know very well why they were controlled by Uchiha Shijika's genjutsu and exposed them. The content of the mission and the person behind it. The confidentiality measures set up by Danzo Sama have lost their effectiveness. Danzo Shimura stood up lifted the top of a root ninja, and squinted at the seal on it. The spell was not triggered, so why did the confinement spell lose its effectiveness? Why, my name will appear in that report. Shimura Danzo's face turned dark. Thinking of Saratobi Hiruzen's distrustful eyes, he felt uncomfortable in his heart. He was a little aggrieved, and what followed was overwhelming anger. Who did he do this for? Not for Kanaha but for Saratobi Hiruzen who is the Hokage. Now, because of an Uchiha brat, he has distrust and wariness against him. This makes Danzo Shimura furious and wants to curse. He is getting more and more Hiruzen couldn't understand it anymore. It was obvious that they had previously killed Uchiha because of the Uchiha clans jumping up and down, which made teacher Tobirama troubled, and they were trying to fight for teacher Tobirama. Now that they have become Hokage, they have become weaker. He always compromises with the Uchiha clan, and he also values a brat who is born in an Uchiha. What about what you said about cursing Uchiha before? Forgot. As expected, he is the best disciple of Tobirama Sensei, who completely inherits his ideas and thinks wholeheartedly. I want to kill Uchiha. How could such an outstanding person not be Hokage? Shimura Danzo thought depressedly. Sure enough, it was all his fault for retreating and hesitating in the first place. Danzo-sama, my subordinates may have a guess. The words of the ninja at the base of the passerby made Shimura Danzo look sideways and motioned for him to talk. The passerby took a deep breath, recalled what happened at that time and said no spell is perfect, maybe the same is true for the confinement spell, my subordinates remember. Uchiha Shijika often goes to the Senjua clan. The Senjua clan has been friends with the Uzumaki clan for generations, and Mito-sama was the former princess of the country of Uzumaki. As a disciple of Tsunade, Uchiha Shijika must be able to see Mito-sama often. Danzo-sama, the confinement spell on us is very powerful, but compared to the sealing spell of the Uzumaki clan, it is still insignificant, so... The passerby didn't say anything else, Danzo Shimura was thoughtful. The passerby's face means that during the years when Uchiha Shijika went to the Senjua clan, 
Did he learn anything related to sealing techniques from Mito Uzumaki? So he can see through the confinement spell. Is there a way to bypass the spell restriction? This, it is a possibility. Another possibility is that Uchiha Shijika's illusion is too strong and the confinement spell cannot resist it. However, he had done an illusion test on the San Magadama Sharingan, and was unable to break through the restrictions, let alone bypass them. Unless Uchiha Shijika opens the Manjiki Sharingan. Danzo Shimura shook his head, this was even more impossible. Uchiha Shijika is so young, and there aren't many heart-wrenching experiences to watch. He doesn't even have his Sharingan opened yet. At the end of the cross-examination and discussion, Shimura Danzo and the Six Root Ninjas still didn't know how Uchiha Shijika could ignore the confinement spell. But one thing was clear to Danzo Shimura. Today's confinement spells are not perfect. If something goes wrong once, it can happen countless times. This confinement spell is no longer needed. He needs to change to a more powerful spell. Danzo Shimura thought that he might consider cooperating with the Hinata branch. Their caged bird curse seal is very powerful and they can study and improve his confinement spell. Shimura Danzo asked the six root ninjas to leave. No, he's an ANBU ninja now. The story of sending root ninjas to find trouble for Uchiha Shijika under the guise of Hokage has been overturned, but there are still consequences. Shimura Danzo was dismissed from his position as Hokage's assistant, and also removed from his position as ANBU training director. His private independent armed force, the Roots, was ordered to disband and merged into the ANBU. Thinking of this, Danzo Shimura felt another unknown anger. Before leaving, he warned him not to attack the ninjas in the village. He frequently looked at the six root ninjas as he spoke, and his meaning was self-evident. This was because Danzo was afraid of lynching the Six Root Ninjas privately. Is he that kind of person? Well, Danzo Shimura is really such a person. Shimura Danzo originally planned to kill these Six Root Ninjas directly after the torture. Ninjas who can't hide their secrets are already useless. Now that Sarutobi Hiruzen specifically called him out, it was naturally difficult to move. As a result, Danzo Shimura was rarely forced to let these people go, but these people were moved and expressed their determination one by one. The body is in the ANBU, the heart is in the root. Currently, Shimuradon is in hiding and has no important position. He is relaxed. Naturally, he does not want to retire, but he is not worried either. Danzo Shimura sneered. Hiruzen, there are some things that you can't do without me. He suddenly looked towards the west, which was the direction of the Kingdom of Rain. Sarutobi Hiruzen looked apologetic and said with guilt Chichika, I'm sorry, this is my fault. He looked at the seal belonging to the Hokage on the table I didn't expect Danzo to steal the Hokage's seal privately and forge the mission statement. And you sent root ninjas to do harm to you. Sarutobi Hiruzen stood up and solemnly bowed to Uchiha Shijika to apologize. I'm sorry. Kong Hua, it was my dereliction of duty that put you in danger. Uchiha Shijika originally showed a dissatisfied expression, but when he saw Sarutobi Hiruzen's movements, he was immediately moved and quickly took a few steps forward to greet him. This is not Hokage-sama's fault. Please get up. This is everyone else's fault. What does it have to do with Hokage-sama? Uchiha Shijika said it sincerely but he complained silently in his heart. Stealing the Hokage's seal? He bet that Shimura Danzo definitely came to the office, imitated Sarutobi Hiruzen's handwriting and wrote the mission statement, and then picked it up casually the Hokage's seal was stamped on it, and finally he left as if he had done something trivial, and it was done in one go. Sarutobi Hiruzen didn't care, and Shimura Danzo didn't care either. I have dismissed Danzo and his subordinates have been disbanded and merged into ANBU. Sarutobi Hiruzen stood up, took out a scroll from his sleeve and handed it to Uchiha Shijika I know your attainments in illusion, this is an illusion, as my apology. Oh? Uchiha Shijika took it, and there was an unexpected gain. Illusion? I don't know which illusion it is. Sarutobi Hiruzen sighed hey, 
Shijika, don't worry, this kind of thing will never happen again. Got it. You are Sunade's disciple, that is my disciple. If you have any problems, just come to me. As Hokage, I still have the ability to help my disciple solve his worries. Host, try asking him for the position of Hokage. Uchiha Shijika gave the system the word haha. After some conversation, he walked out of the Hokage building, holding the Genjutsu scroll in his hand. Looking back, he could see Sarutobi Hiruzen watching him from the window. Uchiha Shijika smiled and waved, Sarutobi Hiruzen saw this, smiled slightly and waved. As a result, Shimura Danzo will naturally not receive any serious punishment, only dismissal and disbandment. This was a serious crime against the ninjas of the same village. An ordinary ninja would have treated him as a traitor and would have been shot without mercy. Sarutobi Hiruzen is a humane Hokage, but he is too humane, so that he bends the law for personal gain and tolerates adultery right in front of his eyes. Hiruzen Sarutobi needs Danzo Shimura to do the dirty work, and Danzo Shimura needs Hiruzen Sarutobi to wipe his ass. What a good partner born in heaven! Uchiha Shijika shook his head and smiled, thinking about the illusion scroll and walking towards the Senju clan. With the protection of the Hokage, Dan Shimura hid himself in a protective shell. Nowadays, he is a quiet person and can do small things, but he can't do big things. If the Hokage personally bows and apologizes, he can only do so much. But... Uchiha Shijika looked towards the west, the coming chaos was the ladder to ascend. He will gain the ability to do great things. Konghua and we are not of the same mind. Uchiha. Ritai replied calmly to the clan leader Uchiha Shahe isn't this something you have known for a long time? He is closer to Konoha than us. Tisk tisk. Sarutobi Hiruzen can get Shijika's forgiveness if he apologizes in person. Uchiha Shahe drank a cup of sake and said with a half smile he is so obedient. This is obviously an excellent opportunity to use the topic, but Shijika gave it up. After all, the central protagonist of the incident is Uchiha Shijika. He has changed the story. What can others say? They are trying to make use of the topic. If the topic is gone, it will become unprovoked. Uchiha Ritai poured wine for the clan leader, smiled and said it seems that Shijika's knowledge is closer to Sarutobi Hiruzen. He now often says that Konghua is his best disciple, as if he is one of his own. Uchiha. Shahe sneered Shijika is excellent, and he is attracted to him. Everyone wants such a talent, and Sarutobi Hiruzen is no exception. How can there be any suspicion because of Shimura Danzo? Don't you feel happy that Lai Konghua is loyal and considerate of the Hokage's worries? Uchiha Ritai pointed out the main reason. Hasn't our exposure to Shijika been longer than Hiruzen Sarutobis? Why is he not loyal and considerate to us? Uchiha. Shahe put down his cup and said with some dissatisfaction does he still have family in his eyes? I heard that he defeated the Six Root Ninjas, Lutai, and the Six Root Ninjas by himself. Konghua's strength is not far behind ours. It's not far behind. He is only ten years old. Such a talent, such a talent. Uchiha Shahe was indignant why are you so focused on getting under Sarutobi Hiruzen? Even things that endanger your life can be forgiven. Is Sarutobi Hiruzen his father? Doesn't he have any dissatisfaction in his heart? Just let it go. Asked three times in a row, Uchiha Shahe drank the wine in one gulp. He does not mean that. Uchiha Ryatai felt something in his heart. When it comes to the senior members of the Uchiha clan who have had the most contact with Uchiha Shijika, he, Uchiha Ritai, is the one who does his part, so he knows that Uchiha Shijika is a smart person. He was shunned by Uchiha Shijika despite his attempts to win over him several times, and his relationship with him was also at odds, close and distant. Uchiha Ritai showed enough patience to good people, but now the clan leader's words woke him up from his dream. She seemed restrained and calm when trying to win over him, but she worshipped Hiruzen Sarutobi fervently and seemed to be just letting him be sent her way. In the past, 
he had no problem because Uchiha Shijika's dream was to become a Hokage like Saratobi Hiruzen. It's normal to be passionate about Saratobi Hiruzen. However, Saratobi Hiruzen bowed and apologized, which made Uchiha Shijika forgive Shimura Danzo for plotting against him. His performance was totally not what the Uchiha Shijika he faced should look like. This is too obedient and too, a bit brainless. Uchiha Ritai raised his glass and took a sip, thoughtfully. Could this be, Uchiha Shijika did this intentionally? Uzumaki Kushina's face was filled with a happy smile as she shuttled back and forth in the Senjua clan. This area of people was withering, and the usually silent tribe became lively. Red-haired Uzumaki clan members can be seen everywhere. Uzumaki Kushina saw some familiar people and immediately jumped over to say hello with a smile. Uncle Chinji, Aunt Minami. Oh, isn't this Kushina? It's been such a long time. The uncles and aunts I knew were still as warm and gentle as before leaving the country of Uzumaki. A familiar greeting brought Uzumaki Kushina back to the past. As Uzumaki Kushina chatted, tears appeared in the corners of her eyes, and she screamed fell into the arms of uncle and aunt. I miss you so much. Slow down, slow down. I haven't seen you in a few years. You have grown up a lot and are a lot heavier than before. Aunt Minami staggered back a step, rubbed Kushina's little head, and smiled kindly. Uchiha Shijika stood behind and looked at this tender scene with a smile on his face. It's been a long time since this place was so lively. Tsunade looked at the lively scene in front of her in a daze, seeming to recall her childhood. At that time, there were still many people in the Senjua clan, and it was very lively every day, and everyone was smiling. Until the death of the great-grandfather, the first ninja war broke out, and the Senjua clan went to the battlefield, and then they never came back. Tsunade was a little melancholy and in a bad mood. Did Tsunade Sensei come back from the northern battlefield for our Chunin exam? Tsunade came back to her senses after hearing Uchiha Shijika's words cleared up her low mood, nodded and said there has been a confrontation in the northern battlefield. You and I come and go, and there is no serious conflict. There are not many places where I am needed. So I came back. After all, the Chunin exam requires a recommendation from the instructor. Thank you for your hard work, teacher. Tsunade waved her hand casually and said, What's so hard about this? The Chuyunin exam is not far away. Are you three ready? Certainly. Uchiha Shijika smiled confidently. He is bound to win the title of Chunin. Tsunade patted Uchiha Shijika on the shoulder and said, OK, just show this momentum. Whether you can win or not depends on you. Hey? Uchiha Shijika narrowed his eyes and looked at Tsunade win. What to win? Tsunade Sensei. Have you placed a bet? Tsunade nodded with a smile and said without hesitation I will naturally place more bets on things that are sure to win. He he he, no one is unlucky enough to lose all day long. I finally want to win once, ha ha ha. Tsunade put her hands on her hips and smiled boldly. Uchiha Shijika's face was stiff. Tsunade's philosophy of gambling is that nothing will happen if you lose, but nothing will happen if you win. Is he going to win or lose? Logically speaking, if he is in Tsunade's class with strength, passing the Chunin exam is a sure shot. But isn't it just that Tsunade has won the bet, something is going to happen? Or can something go wrong in the Chunin exam, and they fail the Chunin exam? No, he doesn't want to retest. Just now, Tsunade was feeling melancholy, and now it's Uchiha Shijika's turn to feel melancholy. Every July 1st is the time when the Chunin exams begin. Uchiha Shijika sat in a corner of the classroom and observed other genin, but found no one he knew. Nami Kaze Minato was still staying at Mayaboku Mountain, and Nara Shikaku and others had no plans to take the Chunin exam right after graduation. Tsunade's class is an outlier. They are strong enough and willing to take the Chunin exams faster. As an instructor, Tsunade is also willing to give recommendations to participate. I don't know them all, no, there is still someone I know. 
Uchiha Shijika saw an acquaintance, a young man wearing green tights and an unshaven face. If his face was more weathered, it would be more familiar. Emperor Kai's father, Jenin Mat Dai. At this time he was restless and trembling, clasping his hands and praying with his eyes closed. Uchiha Shijika paid attention to this, and then thought about it. Wouldn't Matt die fail in the written test every time he takes the Chuyunin exam? Start answering. The invigilator gave an order, and all the students in the examination room began to answer questions. This written test is the same as the first time the Kanaha 12 took the Chunin exam. They are all testing the ninja's ability to collect intelligence. But there are some differences. For example, there is no torturous choice of Marino Yaki. There are correct answers on the field, but there are also wrong answers, and there are also a mixture of right and wrong answers. The examiner made it clear that in this written test, only one person in the class can answer all the questions correctly. In order to pass. In other words, don't just focus on your own answers, but also pay attention to the answers of your teammates. If one person makes a mistake, everyone will be eliminated. In fact, it is more cruel than the Kanaha 12 Xiaoqiang game. The choice in that game is important, and the correct answer in this game important. Uchiha Shijika did not answer the questions first, but read all the questions on the test paper. It was difficult. Many things were not taught in the ninja school at all. Many of them were only available in extracurricular books. He had already seen a lot of them. The person had a frown on his face holding his head in pain. Uchiha Shijika curled up the corners of his mouth and smiled confidently. To put it simply, these questions are all trivial to me. He doesn't need to cheat to collect the correct answer, he himself is the correct answer. Immediately, he picked up his pen and started answering the questions. Hinata Hizashi's eyes lit up, Shijika finally started to answer the questions. He immediately opened his Byakugan and saw the answers on the paper directly through Uchiha Shijika's body. Hinata Hizashi buried his head in writing. He believed in Uchiha Shijika more than he believed in himself. That must be the correct answer. Uchiha Mikato was a little troubled. It was not difficult to collect information, but she couldn't prove whether the other party's answer was correct. I know this question, he answered it correctly, hey? The next question is wrong, written wrong. Uchiha Mikato looked at another person. All wrong, next. Yes, yes, that's the answer, eh, this feels right, this feels wrong. There should be a test paper with all the correct answers, but she couldn't be sure whether the other person was right because she didn't understand the question and couldn't tell whether it was right or wrong. What to do? Do you want to hide one? In case of mistake. Quack. Um. Uchiha Mikato paused. She looked down and saw a dark crow standing on her legs. The crow tilted its head and looked at her. Uchiha Mikato's body stiffened, and her beautiful eyes were blurry. Her body was unauthorized. He started to move, holding the pen, and began to answer the questions. Uchiha Shijika looked away and now Mikato had no problem. Written test, easy. Snap. Uchiha Shijika wrote the last stroke, put down the pen, and was content. Observed the others. Especially Matt Dai, his performance now is really fun. Matt Dai is in a very bad condition now, his whole body is sweating and his body is shaking. It's over, it's over. It's really like this. Above this what is written. It's like reading a Bible. I hold the pen tremblingly and don't know where to start. Why do I need to take the written test? Matt Dai's face was filled with tears. This time, it's over again. A.G., Heiji, I, Matt Dai, am sorry for you. He does know that he can cheat, but the problem is, he can't even cheat. Is it okay to stretch your neck and read the answer sheet of the person next to you, this is too obvious. Matt Dai covered his face, already, burned out. The dark crow stood on the treetop, blinking, looking curiously through the glass into the classroom. 
Uchihashijika connected mentally with Crow and looked at the answers of Matt Dai's teammates. Their ability to collect intelligence was pretty good, and they all found the examiner who was hiding among the candidates and leaking answers. But... Uchihashijika shook his head. Unfortunately, they found the wrong answer. Time's up, everyone, stop writing. The examiner gave an order, and all the candidates stopped writing and watched the invigilator take away the examination papers. Some candidates were angry and calm, and some candidates felt like they were mourning. There was a loud bang. Uchihashijika looked in the direction of the loud noise. Go, Matt Dai knocked his head on the table. My youth, that's it for now. The examiner had no expression on his face. Please individual candidates not to make any noise and remain quiet. Ah, yes. Matt sat up straight with an excitement and glanced at the examiner sheepishly. It didn't take long, and soon all the candidates' examination papers were marked. The examiner took all the papers with correct answers and walked up to the podium. The examinees looked at each other. They followed step by step. When they saw the examiner putting the three papers together, some candidates looked at the three papers anxiously and nervously. Blessing their hearts, they must be there. On the other hand, they saw the examiner take out one sheet. Or two test papers, the candidates' hearts were pounding, praying that they were not there. Some candidates knew the level of their teammates and had confidence in themselves, but had no confidence in their teammates. Seeing this situation, some were dejected, and some the others were glaring at their teammates. What a scene! Next, I will announce the names of those who passed the first exam. Those who passed can go directly to the next exam location. Hatori Taro, Koizumi Shohei, Feng Chong. The three people who read it immediately stood up excitedly and looked at each other. They were still nervous and apprehensive before and could no longer hold their mouths shut. The other candidates looked at them with envy. The examiner continued to announce, and the people who had read it were happy. I am happy. People who have not thought of this are becoming more and more anxious. Why haven't I arrived yet? Is there me or not? The thoughts keep echoing in their minds. Uchihashijika, Uchihamikato, and Hinata Hizashi. Uchihashijika stood up after hearing this, with a calm expression on his face. After meeting his teammates, he set off towards the next examination venue. The other candidates were all watching. He was the youngest and least qualified person in their Chuyunin examination it is said that he took the Chunin exam not long after graduation. He is really young and he comes from a famous clan. Uchihashijika could feel the strong envy, jealousy, and hatred behind him. They were indeed quite eye-catching. As he left this floor, he heard Matt Day's rough voice shouting. Ah! Failed in the first exam again. Well, now there is no one he knows well in this Chunin exam. Kong Hua, fortunately you are here, otherwise. Uchihamikato patted her steady chest with a look of fear. After Shijika's illusion was lifted, Uchihamikato checked the answers to the exam paper and found that the examiner she finally found had all the correct answers. But in the end she hesitated and wanted to give up. Fortunately, fortunately, she didn't have to suffer from difficulty in choosing. Kong Hua made the choice for her. Uchihashijika smiled and knocked Mikato on the head read more books, otherwise you won't be able to determine the correct answer right before your eyes and it's easy to miss the opportunity. Uchihamikato groaned, covered her head and muttered read even if you read a book, you may not be able to seize the opportunity. Moreover, Uchihamikato blinked, came up and grabbed Kong Hua's arm and smiled hee hee, with Kong Hua's help I won't miss the opportunity. You. Uchihashijika shook his head helplessly and looked at her dotingly. Hinata Hizashi followed behind, his face expressionless. He was used to it. In this class, he often felt that he was a little redundant. The second exam was held in the second training ground number 13. Viewed from the sky, training ground number 23 has a river running through it. On the left is the Gobi Wasteland, 
and on the right is the tall dense forest that cannot see the light. On one side is the barren land, on the other side is the lush greenery, which looks very distinct. Uchiha Shijika and the three came here and waited for a while until all the candidates who passed the first exam arrived. Uchiha Shijika glanced at it. There were a total of 12 classes and 36 people passed. Kanaha in the Chunin examination that the 12 young masters participated in, there were 26 classes and 78 people who passed the first exam. That was twice as many as them. However, the Chunin examination of the 12 young masters of Kanaha was a joint examination. There are other ninja villages participating, and the number of people is larger. Based on this estimate, their passing rate this time is not bad. At this time, relations between countries are tense, and ninja villages are wary of each other. Jointly hold the Chuyunin exam? Damn it! They have no idea of jointly hosting it now, and the daimyo and dignitaries have no idea of having fun watching ninja PvP. At the moment, this is a formal assessment held by Kanaha for Genin to be promoted to Chunin. Welcome to examination room number 23. I am your examiner. Next, I will explain the rules of this examination. Please listen carefully. The flag has two sides, one red and one blue. Each of you can get one of them. The examiner distributed the flags in his hands and continued the exam lasts for three days. You must stay in the forest for the first two days and cannot cross the river. On the last day, you can go to the Gobi across the river. There are four arenas over there in the Gobi. They are very conspicuous. You can see them if you just walk around. All you have to do is get the red and blue flags and place them in the center of the ring. Oh, right. The examiner seemed to have remembered something and smiled playfully the exam ends at midnight on the fourth day. The exam results will be based on the end time. I hope that by then, the flag and the ring will still be in your hands. That's it for the reminder, you little brats come over here and sign. Uchiha. Shijika and others went to sign and the three words Life and Death Certificate appeared in front of them. The examiner's voice came at the right time if you sign the Life and Death Certificate, no matter the casualties, you must pay attention to safety during the three days here. Jija, I hope I can see you all intact in three days. Ha Mikato shuddered I'm a little scared by what you said. The horror atmosphere is rendered quite well. Uchiha Shijika admired the intimidation ability of the examiner, who must be someone from the interrogation and torture department. Uchiha Shijika happily signed the life and death certificate, holding a red flag in his hand and looking at the others with his eyes like black jade. The other candidates looked away when they saw him, which made Uchiha Shijika frown. He thought of a possibility. No way. If it's really what he thinks, Uchiha Shijika is a bit boring. That's really boring. Walking in the dense forest, Hisashi opened his eyes, and veins appeared on the edges of his eyebrows. With everything within sight for miles around, Hinata Hisashi quickly found the nearest team carrying the blue flag. Here. Hayaga took the lead and jumped to the right. Uchiha Shijika and Uchiha Mikato followed behind. The training ground on the 23rd was not big, and the trees passed by. After a while, Uchiha Shijika and the three then he landed in front of the three people carrying the blue flag. Hand over blue flag. Before Uchiha Shijika finished speaking, the person on the other side looked ugly, threw down the blue flag and left. Uchiha Shijika shut up, this was the boring part. The overall level of this Chuyunin examination is average, and they are all civilian ninjas. Although they are young, they are from the clan and the names of Uchiha and Hinata are enough to make them dare not resist. Not to mention that those who can pass the first written test have a good ability to collect information. The qualities of the three of them are already known to the candidates. Uchiha Mikato and Hinata Hidashi were okay, but Uchiha Shijika's strength was awe-inspiring. They didn't hide it deliberately, and Tsunade often showed off her proud disciples. The test process of grabbing the bell was a frequent topic of conversation. The instructors of the candidates naturally paid attention after hearing it too much. 
knowing that Tsunade's class was participating in this Chuyunin exam, he had already warned his students to avoid Uchiha Shijika and the others as much as possible. Uchiha Mikato and Hinata Hizashi looked at the lonely blue flag and looked at each other. Uchiha Shijika picked up the blue flag, raised his eyebrows and said to the two of them the red and blue flags are ready, let's go to the river. It seems that our reputation is well known, and no one will dare to cause trouble for us next. Uchiha. Shijika said with a smile just think of it as a trip. The scenery of this training ground is also good. Let's spend these two days with some game. Hayaga Hizashi and Uchiha Mikato's shoulders slumped, and their tense emotions dissipated, replaced by speechlessness. Is this still an exam? Is it really okay for them to be so leisurely? But no matter what, other candidates are not willing to face them three people. On the way to the river, I met another candidate carrying a blue flag. When I saw the three people, just like the previous team, they just threw down the blue flag and ran away, as if to avoid a scourge. Hey, we already have a blue flag. As soon as she spoke, she had already disappeared. Uchiha Shijika laughed ignore them, just throw this blue flag here. I don't know which class will be lucky enough to pick it up. Hee <laughs> hee, I hope the flag in their hands is a red flag. After taking a bite of the slightly burnt fish, Uchiha Shijika sat cross-legged on a stone, looking at the desert wasteland opposite. Just across a river, a ring stood there alone. With Hinata Hizashi's eyes on them, they found the arena closest to the river bank. They only needed to eat and drink for these two days, and when the third day came, they crossed the river, planted the flag, and waited for zero o'clock on the fourth day to pass. Second Exam Behind him came the sound of gold and iron, and occasionally the sound of explosions. It was a flag capture battle among the candidates. It must have been a tense and exciting battle regardless of life or death. Of course, it has nothing to do with the three of them. Kong Hua, here you go, roasted bear paws. Uchiha Mikato happily handed over a bear paw, and Uchiha Shijika took it, bit it down, and was all mouth-watering. Thanks to the kitchen utensils and seasonings Mikato brought, the baked bear paw was very delicious. It is common for ninjas to go out on missions. Their team has Hinata Hizashi for observation and Uchiha Shijika for damage, and he can still help. Uchiha Mikato is neither good nor bad, but she is good at logistics. Why hasn't Hizashi come back yet? He said he was looking for a rabbit, but it took too long. Uchiha Mikato was a little confused, but in her heart she was looking forward to Hibiscus coming back so soon, leaving her and Shijika here. They ate food together and watched the gurgling river flowing by. The breeze blew, the leaves rustled, and the warmth the sun shone warmly, and Uchiha Mikato moved her body and leaned on Uchiha Shijika's shoulder. Uchiha Shijika's body moved slightly, but did not move. This gave Uchiha Mikato the confidence to relax more and more. In a moment, by changing it became lying down. Uchiha's weight was so high, shouldn't it be the other way around? Why did he give Uchiha Mikato a knee pillow? Click. A crisp sound came, and Uchiha Mikato stood up instantly and frowned and looked behind her. Arena. It's right across the river, so close. Yeah. That's really great. As long as we plant the flag and hold the ring, we can pass the second exam. The three of them said something to each other, and then they all looked at the other two people present in unison. When they saw the Uchiha clan's iconic table tennis rackets on their clothes, they frowned. In Uchiha Shijika's surprise, he took out Kun looked at them without warning. Oh. Uchiha Shijika became interested and actually did not retreat and run away. These three people are more interesting than the others. At least they have the courage to take out their weapons and face them. Superior. The leader just shouted loudly, and the next moment, the three of them staggered, their heads seemed to have been hit hard, and their eyes were blurred. Uchiha Mikato blinked when she saw the situation of the three of them. She was too familiar with this look. This is an illusion that has fallen into the trap of Kong Hua. 
Uchihami Kato still doesn't know how Shijika released the Genjutsu, and she hasn't seen any movements by him. There are no seals with his hands, so the other party is trapped in Shijika's Genjutsu and can't help himself. Kong Hua's illusion skills are becoming more and more advanced, so advanced that people can't understand them. Go and dance for me to cheer me up. The three of them got the order and immediately came to dance in front of them. Uchiha Shijika took Mikato to watch together. I was thinking about how to pass the time in two days, but hey, here it comes. Two days passed in a blink of an eye. The number of people dancing in front of Uchiha Shijika increased from three to nine. During this period, there were two more ninja teams who were not afraid of them. One of them wanted to grab their flag, and the other wanted to expel them and occupy the arena on the other side of the river. But without exception, he lacked ability, and was controlled by Uchiha Shijika's illusion in an instant, and then joined the dancing army. At midnight on the third day, Uchiha Shijika and the other two stood up, Shi Shiran crossed the river to the ring, planted the red and blue flags, then took out sleeping bags and started a bonfire. As for those nine people, they can better watch their dance on the high platform here. It just so happens that they didn't put out the bonfire over there, leaving them with a little warmth. Awu! Uchiha Mikato yawned, tightened her sleeping bag, and fell into sleep with a peaceful face. Uchiha Shijika and Hinata Hisashi were not sleepy, tinkering with the bonfire. This exam is so boring. Hayaga Hisashi suddenly complained, his face as flat as a lake was a little cracked. The three-day time limit was originally intended for the candidates to fight to capture the flag and defend the championship, but for the three of them, it was a kind of torture. Because the other two people in Tsunade's class were fighting each other, Hinata and Hisashi suddenly felt that it was not good to stay, so they excused themselves to go to the jungle, leaving space for the two of them. Except when I'm hungry, how can I keep playing wild the rest of the time? Therefore, Hayaga Hisashi was wandering back and forth in the dense forest these days, observing the battles of other candidates with a pair of white eyes. It was a bit fun at first, but as time went on it became more torturous and boring. Hinata Hisashi sighed, suddenly feeling tired. Teacher Tsunade's big mouth made other candidates afraid to face us. Uchiha. Shijika handed over the water bottle and said with a smile even if they dare to face us, they are not strong enough and the battle is over in an instant. Isn't it still boring? Hayaga Hisashi said with a gloomy face this class is much worse than the previous ones. There are no people from other clans except us in this class. There was so much contempt for civilian ninjas in his words. He didn't even dare to face them. The abilities of those who dared to face them were so poor. Uchiha Shijika smiled and said don't underestimate civilian ninjas, Hisashi, have you forgotten? Watergate, Dei Hisashi came back to his senses and restrained his contempt. Only then did he realize that Namikaze Minato was also a commoner. But his way of dealing with people and his strong strength always make people ignore his origin and subconsciously think that he is a noble son from some family. Yes, Minato is also a civilian ninja. Hayaga Hisashi wondered why are their levels so different? Uchiha. Shijika shook his head we just have the advantage of bloodline. We are not necessarily better than them if we are on the same starting line. Without the system, his ability is not very good. He is only a little stronger than ordinary civilian ninjas. If he wants to have Uchiha bloodline to be effective, he has to open his eyes. Hey, fortunately, he has the system by his side. The cheats are not as good as those without bloodline. It makes more sense. Uchiha Shijika glanced at Hinata Hisashi's forehead protector. The caged bird curse mark printed underneath was like a time bomb. He suddenly sneered and told Hinata Hisashi who often said the words destined. Haha, if he were not a member of the Hayaga clan, he might be worried about gains and losses. After all, Hayaga Hisashi has the pride of being from a clan. This is the so-called Yegong Hailong, right? It's light. The candidates who were dusty and dirty walked out of the dense forest. Some of them were covered in paint, 
and most of their sleeves were stained with blood. They looked like they were in a bad situation. They gritted their teeth and supported each other across the river bank, looking for the arena. They cannot relax yet. The deadline is tomorrow. During this short and long time, they must protect the flag in their hands and guard the ring to ensure that it is them who stand on it. The fight is not over. Uchiha Shijika and the others were content and leisurely outside of the fight. Some people saw them, and candidates who knew their identities avoided them. Even the half-informed and courageous person hesitated to move forward when he saw the strange nine people dancing. In the end, the candidates tacitly ignored the three Uchiha Shijika. Finally the second exam is over. Everyone else was in bad condition and looked pale. The three of them, Uchiha Shijika, looked relaxed, making fun of each other, and passed by laughing and joking. The examiner was puzzled, looking at the six candidates in miserable condition on the left and the clean and happy Tsunade class on the right. The contrast is too stark. Well, congratulations on passing the second exam. You will have a day off and go to the tower tomorrow morning to take the final exam. Three classes and nine ninjas passed the second Chuyunin exam. The examiner smacked it, there were fewer than expected. After the candidates went back to rest, they entered the training ground to finish. They met several dead candidates on the way. The examiners collected the coffins ruthlessly. There are genin every year, just like leeks, one after another. It is not surprising and not a pity for these genin who were killed due to lack of strength in the Chuyunin exam. Furthermore, it is not a pity if there are too many genin. Well, the number of D-level missions is growing slowly, but the number of genin that is increasing year by year is growing rapidly. There are also some genin who failed to pass the Chunin exams. After all, the huge Kanaha ninja village mostly relies on Chunin and Jounin, which consumes some he was just a genin and didn't even frown. When the examiners came to the river, they met nine candidates dancing. The examiner had a black face and was speechless. Good guy, the low passing rate should be here. There are not many candidates in the first place. There are nine more dancing here. Uchiha Shijika and the other three were standing in the audience feeling refreshed, listening to the speech of the third Hokage Saratobi Hiruzen above. Saratobi Hiruzen spoke passionate words, and only Uchiha Shijika and the other three responded with warm applause. As for other people, all of them were listless, feeling sad when they saw the missing people around them. There were only six people left in the entire field, and the other three were seriously injured and went directly to Kanaha Hospital to recuperate, and were unable to participate in the last exam. Looking at the three Uchiha Shijika who were full of energy, the remaining three just hoped that they would not be drawn into a battle soon. They were even thinking in their hearts, why not just give up? It doesn't matter if you fail, just show your abilities to the fullest. The Chunin exam will not be judged by success or failure. The three men cheered up after hearing this, and there was fighting spirit in their eyes. As long as the loss is not too ugly, there is still a chance to be promoted to Chunin. Saratobi Hiruzen finished his speech, and then handed it over to the examiner. He took out a lottery box and motioned for several people to come up and draw lots. Uchiha Shijika casually drew the lottery, looked at the numbers on the lottery, and then looked at the lottery results of his teammates. Oh! Bad luck, we are in civil war. Uchiha! Shijika raised his eyebrows and looked at Hinata Hizashi, who had drawn the same number as him. Hinata Hizashi shook his head and smiled bitterly it's really bad luck. Immediately, he looked at Uchiha Shijika with eager eyes I will not give up, Shijika, I want to know my limit. He knew that he could not defeat Uchiha Juka, but he would not retreat and avoid the battle. Uchiha Juka smiled lightly and nodded please give me more advice, Hizashi. Ah! Tsunade immediately grimaced when she saw the civil war between the two students. Fortunately, Chuyunin promotion depends on the evaluation and approval of the Hokage and the examiner present, not success or failure. Otherwise, her bet in the casino would be overturned at the moment of the civil war. Got it. The first game, 
Uchiha Mikato vs. Nagano Akira. Mikato, come on. Uchiha. Shishwa cheered him up, and then went upstairs with the candidates, leaving the venue to the two candidates. Nagano aka took a deep breath, looking nervous and alert. The other party was from the Uchiha clan, and he was famous. Even if even a pretty girl didn't dare to look down on her. Whoosh! The opponent didn't move, but Uchiha Mikato moved. He threw a kunao at him. Seeing this, Nagano Akira immediately held the kunao with his backhand and knocked it away, and then made a move with his feet. Ken Ken attacked Uchiha Mikato. Uchiha Mikato took his time, holding a kunao in each hand, and threw it out. Nagaya turned around to dodge, and what came to him was Uchiha Mikato who slashed with a short sword. Nagano Akira quickly retreated, narrowly avoiding the short knife, and suddenly heard a clanking sound behind him. Nagano Akira looked back in confusion, and saw that the kunao thrown by Uchiha Mikato hit each other with an unexpected and erratic trajectory. At the end of the day, the kunao that was originally thrown was knocked, and the tip turned around and hit Nagano Akira's back. Nagano's red dead soul was so angry that he couldn't care less about the embarrassment. He crawled like a dog and rolled around in embarrassment. His eyes were filled with fear, and he gasped and watched the kunao being inserted into the ground. He almost got hit by a kunao. He quickly calmed down, and before he had time to relax, Akira Nagano took out the smoke bomb and crushed it, causing a large amount of smoke to burst out. Nagano Akane was completely hidden in the smoke. Uchiha Mikato formed a seal with her hands, spitting out a ball of fire from her mouth and roaring away. Art Fire Escape Ho Fireball The fireball swallowed up the smoke, and with a roar, a big crater was made in the ground. Uchiha Mikato frowned, there was no sign of Akira Nagano in the smoke. Click! At this moment, the floor beneath Uchiha Mikato's feet shattered, and a hand suddenly appeared and grabbed her ankle. Nagano aka, who was hiding in the ground, felt happy and grabbed it. He used his right hand to pull Uchiha Mikato down. But with a muffled sound, Nagano's hands were empty, which made him look shocked. Caught short. He quickly jumped out of the ground, and at a glance, there was only smoke left where Uchiha Mikato was. In addition to the smoke, there are also burning talismans. Oops! Detonating charm! Bang! There was an explosion, causing the whole place to shake, and sawdust shattered and flew. Nagano Akari, who relied on the substitute technique to avoid it, was sweating profusely. He turned his eyes, looking for Uchiha Mikato's figure. Where? I'm here. Uchiha Mikato's voice suddenly sounded. Nagano Akira looked down in horror. The voice was very close, right next to him. But there was no change around him, just some sawdust and gravel, etc. Snapped. A gravel suddenly turned into Uchiha Mikato, and the short sword swung out and stopped next to Nagano's red neck. Nagano Akira didn't dare to move, his throat was rolling and the cold and sharp breath made his hair stand on end, and he was sweating profusely. Surrender, surrender. I lost. A.K.A. Nagano raised his hands in the air and admitted defeat directly, with a look of frustration. He already knew this outcome. How could a civilian ninja like him defeat the clan ninja? The incredible kunao throwing technique was already beyond his reach let alone he also masters the advanced ninjutsu of shadow clone jutsu. Nagano Akira was crying, and the more she thought about it, the more painful she became. In the first game, Uchiha Mikato wins. The second showdown was between two other candidates. Tsunade's class watched their fight from, well, how should I put it, upstairs. A very traditional genin battle. Use Kunao Shuriken to test fight with physical skills, flexibly use three body skills and smoke bombs to create fighting opportunities, and then take out the trump card ninjutsu at the bottom of the box to win. For Uchiha Shijika, this was a battle between rookies. 
but it was a high-end battle for Nagano aka who had already withdrawn. He watched with fascination, comparing himself and learning from his experience. After a fierce fight, the two were panting and looking at each other with mixed emotions. Lai Yuzang. Toraji. The two roared angrily, and swung the friendship-breaking fist at each other's face. With a muffled sound, both of them were hit, and then they both flew out and passed out on the ground. Ah this! Uchiha Shijika looked at the audience speechlessly, you are so passionate. The examiner was stunned for a moment, checked the situation on both sides, raised his hand and announced. Both out. A battle ended together, which was not expected by anyone present. The two instructors came to the field with livid faces and took the students away. What a lucky draw, the opponents are not Uchiha and Hinata. The instructor thought, at least someone can advance to the next game, but you want me to die together? Don't you have a good relationship? Why did you fight so hard in the duel? The instructor didn't understand, but he was shocked. We can't stay in this embarrassing place. The instructor took the two candidates directly out of the tower. Then, only the last group was left. Uchiha Shijika and Hinata Hisashi looked at each other, and then jumped into the field together. Uchiha Mikato shouted from upstairs said Come on, Kong Hwa, Hisashi. Uchiha Shijika vs. Hinata Hisashi, let's begin. The examiner's voice fell and Uchiha Shijika and Hinata Hisashi formed a seal of opposition. Veins appeared on the sides of Hinata Hisashi's eyebrows, and a pair of white eyes opened. His powerful insight penetrated Uchiha Shijika's body and chakra points. The direction came into view. He opened his arms like a wild goose, concentrating his energy and calmly. Uchiha Shijika was already observing with Byakugan. Ha! Hayaga Hisashi shouted low stepped forward to attack, opened his arms, and suddenly pointed out with two fingers. Uchiha Shijika did not have the posture of Hinata Hisashi. He stood lazily, and at first glance, he was full of flaws. Hisashi's attack that day before entering, when his hands were about to point towards his chakra acupuncture points. Uchiha Shijika moved, faster than the opponent. He stretched out his palms like a dragon grabbed Hinata Hisashi's wrists, and grabbed the opponent's hands. Stop! Sarutobi Hiruzen, who was sitting on the stage, admired that Hinata Hisashi's soft fist technique started very quickly. If it could not be resisted, the chakra acupuncture points would fall into stagnation. Once the chakra flow is not smooth, the body will as soon as his body froze, the opponent's finger strikes followed like a gust of wind. This was the Hyaga clan's ancestral soft boxing technique, Bagwa 64 palms. Hyaga Hisashi's attack speed was very fast, but Uchiha Shijika was faster than him. He was faster, struck later, and defused the opponent's momentum. None of the 64 palms were hit now, which messed up the rhythm. Seeing this, Hinata Hisashi quickly changed his moves. The finger strike turned into a sudden push forward with both palms Uchiha. Shijika raised his eyebrows, kicked his feet, and jumped up by supporting Hinata Hisashi's wrist. Bang! The wall behind him exploded, and the gravel flew. Bagwa Kong Palm Hinata Hisashi had already mastered Bagwa Kong at this time. Have you palmed it? Uchiha Shijika doesn't know this. He's hiding a hand. Hiss! Uchiha Shijika suddenly frowned and let go of Hinata Hisashi's wrist. He looked at his hands, and dots of blood seeped out from them. Just now, Hinata Hisashi's wrist suddenly exploded, like a needle. It was to transfer chakra. Turn it into a needle? Seeing Uchiha Shijika look at his wrist, Hinata Hisashi explained thanks to the key points of form change you taught me, this is my understanding, turning chakra into a needle. Hayaga Hisashi's paralyzed face suddenly raised the corners of his mouth. He looked at Uchiha Shijika's hands jokingly and said with a smile, Isn't it a little unexpected? It feels uncomfortable to be pricked by a needle. It's quite uncomfortable. Uchiha Shijika's palms glowed with emerald green light. 
he clasped his hands together and rubbed them up and down. The blood droplets dispersed and the punctured wound healed instantly. It's about to happen, Hisashi. Hinata swung out a palm with Hidashi. Chakra stagnation envelopes the air, blasting away like a bombardment. Uchiha Shijika sighted to avoid it, and an explosion exploded behind him, blowing his hair and flying around. When one palm failed, Hinata Hisashi swung out Bagwakong palm one after another. Uchiha Shijika swayed left and right, avoiding Hinata Hisashi's attacks, and walked towards the opponent step by step. Looking at Konghua strolling around in the courtyard, Hinata Hisashi frowned, thinking of the other party's extremely strong perception ability, knowing that Bagwa Kong Jong could not do anything to him. It was still necessary to close the distance and use Bagwa Zhang to block Konghua's chakra acupuncture points. Hinata Hisashi once again waved the eight trigram Sora palm, and followed the palm towards Uchiha Shijika. Uchiha Shijika swung past the attack with a slight movement, and did not dodge the oncoming finger strikes. Hinata Hisashi was a little confused. Should he just leave the door wide open for him to attack? The Hyaga clan's soft boxing is different from the hard boxing. It mainly involves injuries. The seemingly soft boxing can cause a huge impact on the internal organs. What's more, they also have Byakugan, which can see the location of the enemy's chakra points. With a finger, they can block the opponent's meridian nodes by injecting their own chakra. As a result, the chakra circulation is not smooth, making it impossible to perform all the techniques and making them useless. Uchiha Shijika knew this and allowed him to do whatever he wanted so openly. Hinata Hisashi suddenly stopped and looked at him warily. Why did it stop suddenly? Uchiha Shijika had a smile on his face, but this smile made Hinata. Hisashi tremble in his heart. He secretly thought there must be something fishy. He watched Uchiha Shijika slowly raise his right hand, with all his chakra ready. If anything goes wrong, he would use it. Back to the sky to defend. Tisk. Suddenly a ray of light flashed. Hinata Hisashi opened his eyes wide and looked at his left shoulder in horror. The long lightning blade condensed into a sword cut through the white robe. But it did not cut the flesh. Hinata Hisashi his throat was rolling and he was sweating profusely. So fast. Before he could react, the lightning long blade appeared at the side of his neck. If the two sides were mortal enemies, this time it would go directly towards the heart. Thinking of this, Hinata Hisashi was even more horrified. This is a form-changing move based on the thousand birds. Saratobi Hiruzen's eyes lit up. He knew about the Chidori created by Uchiha Shijika. He was a little shocked when he first heard about it. He was able to create his own ninjutsu at a young age. Uchiha Shijika's talent once again refreshed his understanding. Knowing, even Saratobi Hiruzen sighed, young people today are really scary. Unexpectedly, Uchiha Shijika surprised him again. He actually added morphological changes on top of the changes in nature. Saratobi Hiruzen having studied a lot of techniques, I already thought when I saw the thunderbolt long blade that Uchiha Shijika might be able to further extend the Chidori beyond just this one change. Chidori style Chidori sharp spear. Uchiha Shijika announced the name of the ninjutsu calmly. He looked at Hinata Hisashi with a smile I also have chakra needles, Hisashi, come and try it. After the words fell, Uchiha Shijika tugged his right hand and the Chidori sharp spear suddenly shattered and turned into a series of thunder attribute chakra needles and rushed towards Hinata Hisashi. Chidori Ryu 8 Principles Hayaga Hisashi immediately had goosebumps on his body, which were stimulated by the chakra needles all around him. He quickly spread his arms, rotated his body, and chakra spurted out. Soft boxing technique Bagwazang returns to heaven. The chakra turned into a curtain and spread all the chakra needles. There was a constant tinkling sound, making the sound of gold and iron. It's like real chakra, just like kunao, which requires a lot of control ability. Saratobi Hiruzen stroked his beard and looked at Tsunade who was watching the audience intently. 
That level of chakra control ability was brought about by learning medical ninjutsu from Tsunade. Facing Hayaga Hizashi's turtle shell, Uchiha Shijika chose hard steel on the front. He raised his right palm, a strong wind suddenly rose, and a ball the size of a basketball condensed instantly. Dayama raised Nan. Uchiha Shijika raised the big jade raised Nan and smashed it hard against the Kaden iron wall. Saratobi Hirazan leaned forward, his eyes unblinking. That was another Shijika's attack technique, and it was also invincible. Seal Ninjutsu I really want to crack open Uchiha Shijika's brain and see how he came up with the two ninjutsu of Chidori and Reiz Nan. These two ninjutsu were taught by the well-informed Saratobi. From Hirazan's point of view, at least the learning difficulty is a level. Bang! The Otama Reiz Nan hit and directly defeated Hinata Hizashi's Kaden defense. Hinata Hizashi staggered back a few steps, but in the end he couldn't offset the momentum, snap! He sat down on the ground with a sound. Hinata Hizashi shook his head. The roar and impact just now made his brain dazed and a little dizzy. He also knew that the battle was not over yet, so he quickly thought about getting up, but the next moment, Hinata Hizashi the body froze. Uchiha Shijika appeared in front of Hinata Hizashi, and touched his throat with his right hand. Hinata Hizashi could feel the warmth of that hand, sighed in his heart, and raised his hands in a gesture of surrender. Twice in a row the vital part of the neck was pinched by Shijika, and the strength gap between the two sides was self-evident. Hinata Hizashi did not offer any resistance and simply gave in. Uchiha Shijika pulled Hinata up with a smile I give in, Hizashi. Hayaga Hizashi shook his head this result has been expected for a long time, I admit defeat. The only pity is that the 128 palms were not used, but, Kong Hua wouldn't just stand there and let him beat him to the end. The strength gap between him and Kong Hua is really too big. Uchiha Shijika patted the other party's shoulder and said with a smile don't underestimate yourself. Hizashi, you have become a lot stronger. The two parties signed a seal of reconciliation, and the examiner looked at the two people who were enjoying themselves and announced. Uchiha Shijika wins. Since the previous two candidates were both eliminated and did not advance, now, only Uchiha Shijika and Uchiha Mikato are left. The examiner signaled Hinata Hizashi to leave and asked Uchiha Mikato to come down and complete the final showdown of this Chunin exam. I abstain. Uchiha Mikato didn't come down. She raised her right hand and gave up. All right. The examiner understood Uchiha Mikato's choice to abstain. He looked at Uchiha Shijika. This child's strength was terrifying. After watching the battle just now, the examiner was a little frightened. Since Uchiha Mikato abstained, I declare Uchiha Shijika the winner. At this point, the Chuyunin exams are over. The examiner announced with a smile. Now your class, Tsunade, has won the top three spots in this Chunin exam. Tsunade walked over with a smile on her face. When she heard the examiner's words, she puffed up her chest and laughed proudly oh. I didn't expect Kong Hua and the others to take the top three places. I didn't expect them to do it when I submitted the recommendation. Go this far. The examiner twitched his lips. Only a ghost would believe it. Uchiha Shijika seemed worried. He came to Tsunade and asked in a low voice teacher, we have won the top three. Did you win a big win on your bet in the casino? Special one. Tsunade nodded happily. Her joy was palpable. Thanks to her good apprentice, she was able to win. Hey, who dares to say that she is a big fat sheep and talking nonsense? Isn't this enough to win? In the end, only three people successfully advanced to this Chunin exam. After a day's rest, Uchiha Shijika and the other three came to the Hokage's office. Saratobi Hiruzen's eyes were pleased, and after a few words of encouragement, he handed over the Chunin letters of appointment to the three of them, along with the ninja vests produced by Kanaha. Uchiha Shijika touched the green vest and found that the material was quite good, it did not deform when pulled, and it was breathable. Having said that, this appearance is ordinary, and he will naturally not wear it, 
which will affect his handsomeness. Host, congratulations on becoming a Chuyunan. Do you want to draw cards now? The Chunin letter of appointment was obtained, and Uchiha Shijika's ninja file also added new resume. He is already a veritable Chuyunin and can draw cards at the Chunin level. Uchiha Shijika's heart was agitated, with some expectations and some worries about gains and losses. Let's talk about it after we go back. It's not easy to draw cards, so naturally we have to do some preparation rituals. The system complained, host, the card drawing is random. The preparation ceremony is useless. It should be wrong or wrong. Shut up. I value it. Do you understand that I value it? Life should have a sense of ritual, and drawing cards is considered a big event. The host just clicks and it's over. What kind of ritual sense do you need? If Uchiha Shijika ignores the system, he has made this preparation ceremony. When he got home, he immediately took out the incense burner, lit three incense sticks and put them in it with a serious face. The smoke was thick, Uchiha Shijika took a deep breath, clasped his hands together, bowed again, crossed himself from time to time, and muttered something. Allah Yahweh, the Buddha of the Three Purities, help me to make gold. Uchiha Shijika opened his eyes, and a ray of light flashed across, looking at Chen Fei. He exhaled the system, his face solemn. System, I'm ready, let's draw the card. After the words fell, Uchiha Shijika frowned, feeling uneasy in his heart, hoping that this time it wouldn't be as bad as last time. If you want to have a character with a name in the original work, it's best to be a very important figure. For example, Uchiha Madara Senju Hashira in the meantime, if things don't work out for Ming and so, they'd better get there in one step. Give me a large tube wood and they'll be awesome. Host, none of the people you thought of showed up. The mechanical sound of the system came, and Uchiha Shijika was shocked. A cold air came out of the solace of his feet and spread all over his body, like falling into an ice cave. He asked dryly, so, who is it? The system directly showed Uchiha Shijika the result of the card draw. Uchiha Shijika looked up anxiously, and then was stunned. Is her. Uchiha Shijika was suddenly overjoyed. This person is not bad. He is a famous character, and he has a lot of roles. He has beautiful red hair, jade-like eyes, and a pair of red-rimmed glasses. On the bridge of her pretty nose. She has a long face with delicate features, fair complexion, dressed hotly, and tall figure. Swirl phosphorus. Uchiha Shijika's excitement passed, and he calmed down and thought about the benefits that the Uzumaki Phosphorus character card could bring to him. First of all, the obvious thing is the strong vitality and huge amount of chakra of the Uzumaki clan, which is standard. The unique bloodline of the Uzumaki clan alone can bring great benefits to Uchiha Shijika. He was born in the Uchiha clan, a descendant of the Six Paths, and had much more chakra than other ninjas, but it was incomparable to the Shatara of the Senju clan and the Uzumaki clan. However, from now on, he is also a member of the Shatanla club. Secondly, there is the unique ability of the Uzumaki clan. One is Kagura's mind eye, which opens the mind's eye and is within the range of perception for dozens of miles around. It is a very strong perception ability. Not only that, Kagura's inner eye can also hide its own chakra to achieve invisibility. Unless the other party is a seeing type like the Byakugan, it is impossible to perceive Uchiha Shijika who has opened Kagura's inner eye. The second is King Kong Blockade. The golden chain has a strong sealing property, which can restrain the enemy and even suppress the tailed beast. In addition to restraining and suppressing, the highly substantial chakra chain is enough to be used alone to deal with the enemy. It is strong enough to break mountains and crack rocks. If the chain is pulled over, it will not kill you but it will be disabled. Pity, Uchiha Shijika suddenly sighed. These two abilities of the Uzumaki clan cannot be possessed now, mainly because the Uzumaki ten-year-old doesn't have them. The Vajra blockade was mastered by Uzumaki Karan during the Fourth Ninja War, and Kagura's heart eye was learned at Orochimaru's base. 
It is obvious that if Uzumaki K.S. had learned the Kagura Heart Eye during the Kusakure village period, he would have concealed his chakra and sneaked away, so why did he suffer such inhuman treatment? However, just because Uzumaki Koro can't do it, it doesn't mean that Uchiha Shijika can't develop it himself in advance. Uchiha Shijika inherited all the Uzumaki character cards. Chakra evolved into Chakra, and the momentary feeling of stagflation gave Uchiha Shijika the illusion of being full. Fortunately, this feeling came and went quickly. Feeling the huge amount of Chakra in his body, a satisfied smile appeared on his face. What follows is another ability. He raised his hand and looked at the smooth and white lotus arm, thinking that someone would bite it and suck it, Uchiha Shijika shuddered and got goosebumps. A little disgusting, a little queasy. Well, if Mikato and Kushina bit him, Uchiha Shijika could barely accept it. All in all, this physical healing ability of Uzumaki Phosphorus should not be used if it can be used. What else can a 10-year-old Uzumaki Koro do? Answer, none. Those beasts in Kyuzagakura village didn't teach any ninjutsu at all. Uchiha Shijika spat in disgust. Now that the Uzumaki country has not been destroyed due to his intervention, most of the tribesmen have moved to Kanaha to live. Uchiha Shijika sincerely hopes that Uzumaki Karen's mother is among them and will not suffer the same fate as the original work. An inhumane and sad fate. Uzumaki Kasaki herself doesn't bring much help but the help from the Uzumaki clan bloodline in her body is huge. Uchiha Shijika was in a good mood these days, causing familiar people to ask what good things happened, and he was smiling so happily. But this good mood did not last long. Uchiha Shijika looked at the old man on the bed with a heavy expression, angry and very weak. Her eyes were cloudy and she was staring at the ceiling. Her voice was hoarse and her syllables were broken and intermittent. Heavy, magnificent. Uchiha Shijika quickly came to Uzumaki Mito's side. I am here. Uzumaki Mito didn't look at Uchiha Shijika. She didn't even have the strength to turn her head now. You want, take good care of Kushina. Uzumaki Mito said word by word that child, it's up to you. Uchiha. Shijika's chest was filled with depression, and he solemnly nodded and said, I will do it. Grandma Mito. Grandma Mito. Uzumaki Kushina's eyes were filled with tears, and she threw herself beside Mito Uzumaki sped and cried loudly. Listening to Kushina's cries, Uzumaki Mito felt reluctant to give up, but her human power was exhausted and could not withstand the permanence of heaven. She could not hold on any longer. Hashirama, I'm here to find you. Uzumaki Mito smiled lightly open, let's get started. Juxin, nay, sorry. To Uchiha Shijika's surprise, he was left behind. No, is it really okay for him to stay here as an Uchiha? Has Saratobi Hiruzen's affection for him exploded to this extent? Let an Uchiha stay in the place where the Kyuubai is sealed. It seems that he is already a confidant in Saratobi Hiruzen's heart. But when he arrived at the location of the transfer ceremony, what surprised him was that this honor was not exclusive to him. He actually saw other Uchiha people here. Their faces were serious, and each of them opened their three Megatama Sharingan eyes, looking directly at the room where the transfer ceremony was taking place, with alert and alert expressions. Seeing Uchiha Shijika's surprise, Saratobi Hiruzen explained if the ritual goes wrong and the Nine Tails is broken, they are suitable candidates to suppress the Nine Tails. Kong Hua, I know what you are thinking. After all, the deeds of your ancestors are well known to everyone. You are probably wondering why I let people from the Uchiha clan come here. Uchiha Shijika nodded honestly, he was indeed surprised. Saratobi Hiruzen smiled and said Uchiha Madara is Uchiha Madara, and you are you. I will not continue the mistakes of the past to this day. Saratobi Hiruzen looked at the Uchiha people here. They all looked at Saratobi Hiruzen with reverence. Nowadays, sealing the Nine Tails is the top priority. To ensure safety, Uchiha's power is necessary. They trust me as the Hokage, so naturally I can't let them down. 
what Saratobi Hirazan said was profound. Uchihashijika was thoughtful, and he understood. These people, like him, are extremely close to Kanaha and Hokage. In other words, he and these people are his own people. Uchihashijika showed a friendly smile to them. They had known for a long time that Hokage-sama valued the clan members he valued, but they were just worried that Uchihashijika, Uchiharitai and others would get close, so they rarely had contact. Now Hokage-sama kin bringing Uchihashijika here has already endorsed his guarantee, which means that Uchihashijika can be trusted. Thinking like this, these people also responded by showing Uchihashijika's closeness. Saratobi Hiruzen patted Uchihashijika on the shoulder you guys should get closer and closer. In addition to the Uchiha clan, there is also the Uzumaki clan. Saratobi Hiruzen motioned Uchihashijika to look in another direction, where there were some people from the Uzumaki clan, with golden chains swaying behind them. Although the battlefield in the country of Uzumaki is still going on, anyone with a discerning eye can understand it. Kumagakura's plan to unite with Kirigakura to attack the country of Uzumaki has failed, and their desire to attack has been reduced a lot. Because the war performance in the country of Uzumaki is not going well, even the northern battlefield has been relaxed a lot. The old, weak, women and children of the Uzumaki clan have already after completing the migration, the war pressure in the kingdom of Uzumaki was reduced a while ago. After the judgment and decision of the Uzumaki clan leader and Hotaki Sakumo, some young and middle-aged people in the clan escaped from the battlefield and came to Kanaha. Saratobi Hiruzen recruited these people here it was about sealing the Nine Tails. He nodded to the two Uzumaki clan members in front of the door. The two Uzumaki clan members led Kanaha's sealing class in. The Nine Tails seal transfer ceremony began. It was famous in the ninja world. The sealing members of the Uzumaki clan moved to Kanaha. Hiruzen Saratobi immediately reorganized the Kanaha sealing class, gave the Uzumaki clan benefits and granted positions. Professionals do professional things. The two Uzumaki clan members came to perform the transfer ceremony. Minimize the possibility of Kyuubai breaking the seal. Mito-sama himself can suppress the Kyuubai, so there should be no problems with the seal transfer ceremony. Logically speaking, this is the case, but Mito Uzumaki's life is coming to an end, and his shape is haggard, and it is unclear how much strength he still has. Sealing the Nine Tails was a big deal, and Hiruz and Saratobi kept adding insurance to ensure nothing went wrong. Everything that can be prepared has been prepared. Next, it depends on the results. Saratobi Hiruz and lowered his Hokage hat and was smoking his pipe. The smoke was so thick that he couldn't see his expression clearly. Grandmother. Uchihashijika turned around and saw Naoki running over panting, shouting with red eyes. Tsunade pulled him with a sad look. Naoki gasped, and after receiving the message from home, he rushed back without stopping, but he didn't see the last of Uzumaki Mito. Rope tree, woo woo. Seeing her brother coming back. Tsunade finally couldn't bear it and hugged the tree tightly. The two siblings hugged each other and cried in front of the door. Uchihashijika sighed and shook his head. His eye circles were also a little red due to the infection from the two siblings. Time passed little by little. Naoki and Tsunade stopped crying and sat there depressed. They didn't even have the strength to stand up. Roar! Damn Mito! Do you want to seal me into this little doll? No. I can never be sealed again. Boom. Uchihashijika's body suddenly sank, and the malicious chakra roared here, making people breathless. This chakra is very negative, evil, and very sticky. Uchihashijika raised his head looking at it, he saw red chakra condensed into the shape of a fox roaring up to the sky. The Uchiha clan and the Uzumaki clan were immediately ready to attack. Once the Kyuubai was broken, they would suppress the Kyuubai and never let the Kyuubai break through. Seal Saratobi Hiruzen frowned, it was just a leak of chakra, it was not a critical moment yet. Kyuubai, accept the seal honestly. King Kong blockade The voice of Uzumaki Mito came, 
which surprised Uchiha Shijika. The voice seemed full of vitality, and the sound was clear and wonderful, without any sense of being old-fashioned. Hateful! Damn humans! The chakra fox roared angrily, but the leaked chakra began to slowly dissipate. The fox head with condensed red chakra also disappeared. Everything returned to how it was before, as if nothing happened just now. Hey! The seal in front of the door was released, and a member of the Uzumaki clan walked out with a heavy expression. The seal transfer ceremony is completed, Mito-sama, she. The Uzumaki clan member closed his eyes and sighed she's gone. Grandmother. Naoki and Tsunade rushed into the sealing room, and Uchiha Shijika followed them in and then they were startled. Lying there was an old man. His hair was as bright as fire, and a diamond-shaped mark was printed on his forehead. The expression on Izuku's hibiscus-like face was calm. She closed her eyes tightly, folded her hands like soft leaves in front of her, and slightly curved her red lips. The beauty smiled peacefully and entered eternal sleep. This is Mito Uzumaki, frozen before her death. At the most beautiful moment. That was the last burst of vitality of Uzumaki Mito. Thinking of the wonderful voice that was full of energy just now, in a sense, Uchiha Shijika of the Uzumaki clan knew it in his heart. He bowed towards Uzumaki Mito three bows. Farewell, Grandma Mito. Leave this place to the sad Tsunade siblings. Uchiha Shijika came to Uzumaki Kushina. Seeing her frowning, gritting her teeth, and sweating. Uchiha Konghua quickly grabbed Kushina's hand beside the bed with both hands. Kushina, I'm here. The voice was deep and firm, conveying a sense of safety and solidity to Uzumaki Kushina. As if hearing Uchiha Shijika's voice, Uzumaki Kushina's brow suddenly relaxed, and her expression slowly relaxed. Ah 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 ah! Uzumaki Kushina yelled, holding her head, her little face bulging and she was so angry. Can't that stinky fox talk properly? He opened his mouth and said like a kid, I have a name, okay. Uzumaki Kushina touched her belly and gritted her teeth thinking about the meeting with Kyuubai. Konghua, are you sure you can communicate with Jiwei? Uchiha Shijika heard Uzumaki Kushina's words and laughed you can understand what it says, and it can respond to what you say, so it can naturally communicate. But the big fox has a bad temper and has trouble communicating. Uzumaki Kushina frowned. Every time she went to talk to the big fox, every time she was so angry that her mouth was full of smoke and she felt sulky. Anyway, Kyuubai can't run away, so Kushina often goes to chat. As time goes by, the big fox will slowly recognize you. Uchiha Shijika blinked and said, Grandma Mito said that if a Jinchuriki can gain the approval of the tailed beast, it can cooperate with the tailed beast to reach the level of a perfect Jinchuriki. By then, not only will your strength take a huge leap forward, but you won't have to worry about the tailed beast breaking through the seal all the time. When it reaches the level of heart-to-heart -heart communication, the seal becomes useless. This is a goal that even Grandma Mito has not achieved, and I am very optimistic that Kushina can achieve it. This is what Uzumaki Mito realized in her later years. Unfortunately, she spent most of her life guarding against Kyuubai. The chain sealed by King Kong tightly bound Kyuubai, making it unable to move. Kyuubai talked trash to her and had a bad temper. The fiery Uzumaki Mito talks more trash than Kyuubai, and completely treats Kyuubai as a beast. He can take advantage of its power without its consent at all. Damn humans! This makes Kyuubai half angry to death. Roaring, anger rising. Uchiha Madara is the person Kyuubai hates the most, followed by Uzumaki Mito, who has been with him for a long time, and Senju Hashirama is ranked last. It can be seen how angry Uzumaki Mito is with Kyuubai. Young at that time, Uzumaki Mito was very satisfied with the power of the nine-tailed chakra mode. In her later years, she realized that she had picked up the sesame and lost the watermelon, missing out on the more perfect Jinkraki tailed beast mode. At this time, she wanted to get along with the nine-tailed beast. The relationship was point to point, 
and it was unpleasant to both sides. Mito Uzumaki regretted it very much, but fortunately she realized the existence of the perfect Jin Hiroki and passed on its information to Uzumaki Kushina. Uzumaki Kushina didn't want to follow her. What kind of powerful force the Kyuubai is dealing with is the perfect Jin Hiroki mode. To be honest, Kushina has no desire to become stronger and has no real sense of this powerful force. It doesn't matter to her whether she has it or not. However, since she is Mito's grandmother expectations, then she will work hard to fulfill her expectations. More importantly, Uzumaki Kushina secretly looked at Uchiha Shijika. Konghua also hopes that she can achieve the perfect Jin Hiroki. Phew, good. Uzumaki Kushina let out a long sigh of relief and clenched her fists to cheer herself up. Stinky fox, I bother you every day but I don't believe you still can't talk properly after a long time. Roar! You stinky brat, I really want to tear you into pieces and eat you in one bite. Kyuubai's roar came to her ears. Kushina frowned and picked her ears. It's so noisy, you stinky fox. Let's communicate more with Kyuubai for now. Uchiha Shijika touched Kushina's little head and said Kushina learn the sealing technique well and then you can change the Kyuubai into a comfortable environment. Being nailed to the boulder, bound by the chain sealed by King Kong, and using the same method as Uzumaki Mito, Kyuubai could not move. There was no freedom of the beast body at all. No matter how they communicated, even if Kyuubai wavered, he immediately became firm when he thought of his own situation. The anger surged. Uzumaki Kushina was a little embarrassed because she was not capable enough. Uzumaki Mito was used to sealing the nine tails like that, and Uzumaki Kushina was not capable enough to continue Uzumaki Mito's seal. Uzumaki Kushina nodded. Said I will work hard to learn the sealing technique. Hum, I will give the big fox a comfortable nest when the time comes. You brat, can you talk? What a nest! Do you regard me as your family pet? That's because you don't know how to speak first, so I won't say it. Uzumaki Kushina and Kyuubai started another round of quarrel. Uchiha Shijika shook his head and looked up at the clear blue sky, feeling the breeze blowing and the sun shining, and his whole body was warm. Today is a good weather. Time flies like an arrow, and the sun and moon fly like a shuttle. As the new year passed, Kyumagakur and Kirigakur finally no longer wanted to fight. The third rakage wanted to solve the problem of tailed beasts once and for all, but the results were unsatisfactory. Thinking of the slow reconstruction of the village where the eight tails was ravaging, it was originally a raid that struck east and west, but now it froze, and the material supply could not keep up. The most important thing is that the daimyo of the Kingdom of Thunder is a little dissatisfied. If the materials are spent without any results, it is equivalent to wasting money. The third rakage side, glanced in the direction of the fire country, and had no choice but to withdraw his troops. The northern battlefield ended in a stalemate. As for the kingdom of Whirlpool, Kumagakur directly stabbed Kirigakur in the back, robbed a wave of Kirigakur's supplies, and then ferried back to the kingdom of thunder. This made Kirigakur so angry that he cursed Kumagakur for being unethical and actually backstabbing him. Although their short-lived alliance was already fragile, after this mission, Kirigakur also wanted to backstab Kumagakur. As a result, Kirigakur's predecessor stabbed them in one step, which made Kirigakur furious and regretted not taking action first. Kumagakur withdrew, leaving Kirigakur to face Kanaha and the Uzumaki clan. He was unable to support himself and had difficulty parrying. In the end, he could only return to the land of water in despair. The mission failed, nothing was caught, and the troops were lost. This made Kirigakura's clan laugh at the third Mizu cage, and the battle with the Mizu cage became more intense. The only winner in this war is the Fire Nation. The crisis for the Uzumaki clan has been lifted, but as long as the tailed beast Jinchuriki system still exists, the Uzumaki clan will still be in danger. After much deliberation, 
the daimyo of the country of Whirlpool and the leader of the Whirlpool clan directly submitted his credentials to the country of fire and became a vassal state of the country of fire. Kanaha ninjas can send ninjas to station in the country of Whirlpool openly. Hitaki Sakamo left half of the ninja behind, and he returned to Kanaha hidden village with the remaining half. The fire country and Kanaha won, gained the subordinate country, and gained the Uzumaki clan. Sakamo Senpai, is there no news about Nagato? Walking out of the Hokage's office, Hitaki Sakamo saw Uchiha Shijika waiting for him. Hearing this, Hitaki Sakamo sighed, shook his head and said no, I don't know what method the enemy used, there is no clue. No. Sorry, Konghua, we didn't find the missing children. Hitaki Sakamo still doesn't know which enemy force is the one who captured the children of the Uzumaki clan. They rescued a child and later disappeared. They still don't know how they disappeared. This matter has become a mystery. Unsolved case. Hanzo-sama, our supplies, not enough. Hearing the report from his subordinates, Sancho Hanzo tapped on the table, and the clear knocking sound echoed in the quiet room. The Omega Kure ninja's throat rolled, and his expression was tense. After a long time, Sancho Hanzo stopped tapping, his eyes narrowed slightly, and the sound dryly, he shook his head and said, even if we have enough supplies, we can't defeat Tsunagakur. After all, it is the military power of the five major countries, and the number and strength of ninjas are much greater than that of Rangakur. If his Sanchao Ayu Hanzo's poison had not made Tsunagakur troublesome, Tsunagakur village would have plowed the country of rain. Haha, Tsunagakur is really perseverant, and he still doesn't intend to give up after such a long time. Sanchao Ayu Hanzo's eyes were sarcastic. Up until now, it was no longer a matter of hiring a daimyo of the Iron Kingdom. The daimyo of the Iron Kingdom was not satisfied with that employment task, so the commission was halved. Sunagakur was dissatisfied with this, but they will not attack the daimyo, but instead invade the land of rain to make up for the loss of the other half of the commission. This was the original purpose, but it took a few years to defeat it. Sunagakur village now just wants to defeat Sanchao Ayu Hanzo. Sunagakur village is a military force at the level of the five major nations. However, it failed to win the country of Little Rain and Hanzo the Sanchoyu. It was a huge loss of face. Today's Sand Hidden Village has become a joke in the eyes of other big countries and is being ridiculed. Sunagakur village suffered humiliation, and they were holding back their anger, ready to wash away the ridicule and defeat Yugakure. The poison of the Sancho fish can't last long and Sunagakur village is getting closer and closer. The old puppet woman has been researching for several years, and finally figured out some tricks. Although she can't completely eliminate the poison of Sanchao fish, she can resist it to a certain extent. Given time, the old puppet woman will definitely be able to break the poison of Sancho fish. If the poison of Sancho fish is the poison has been completely broken and the last barrier has disappeared. It is self-evident what will happen next. The poison of Sanchao fish is getting weaker and weaker. Now the supplies plundered from the iron country are almost scarce, and the ninjas of Yuyan village have also lost three points. 1. Sanchao Ayuhanzo frowned, the situation became more and more critical. We can't sit still and wait for death. Let's notify them and let them prepare. We will attack the kingdom of fire. The subordinates raised their heads in astonishment. Lord Hanzo, please think twice. There is already Sunagakur in the land of rain, and there is Kanaha. The daimyo of the land of rain must be fine, but their hidden rain village must be doomed. What did Hanzo-sama think about facing the wrath of the military forces of the two great powers? Idiot! Sanchao Ayu Hanzo snorted coldly, can't this subordinate use his brain? He can't see through such an obvious intention. He can't have this subordinate. Only when two tigers fight each other can we have room to survive. Another subordinate was deep in thought. He understood. He looked excitedly at Hanzo Sanchoyu, and received admiring glances from him. He became even more excited. Once you know, 
go down and prepare. From now on, you will work with me. The subordinate who saw through the intention stood up straight and responded loudly yes. As for you, don't come here again. Ah! The subordinate who was called an idiot looked confused. Kanaha Year 34, Spring Sancho Hanzo led the ninja troops to raid the Land of Fire. All the ninjas stationed on the border were poisoned by Sancho Hanzo. Now the defense was no longer available and the door was wide open. The Omega Kure ninjas broke into the hinterland of the Land of Fire and massacred and looted, causing tragedy. The daimyo of the Land of Fire was furious and quickly informed the third Hokage Saratobi Hiruzen that he only had one sentence, give me enough supplies, money, and food, kill Sancho Hanzo and destroy Omega Kure village. At the same time, the daimyo of the Country of Fire was dissatisfied and sent someone to question the daimyo of the Country of Rain, wanting to know what his little brother meant. Then the information came that made the Fire Country daimyo even more angry. The daimyo of the Land of Rain is forcibly protected. The ninja walked alone and started a war without the consent of the daimyo. This, this breaks the unspoken rules between daimyo and ninja village. The daimyo provided materials and the ninja village provided strength. It is essentially a larger concept of task employment, where the daimyo is the client and the shinobi village is the employee. What Sancho Hanzo did was a violation of the employment contract and forced protection of the client. According to the practices of the ninja village, this is an act that violates the ninja code and will be labeled as a traitor to the ninja. And the way to deal with rebellious people is to kill without mercy. The same goes for zooming into the country and ninja village. Hiruzen, the time has come when you need me. Shimura Danzo looked at Saratobi Hiruzen, who was frowning, and sneered in his heart. Retire? You can't retreat. There are many secret and dark jobs that only Shimura Danzo can do. Leaves bathe in the sun, and swallow the darkness. It's the root. Danzo. Resume your previous position and lead the roots to the land of rain to do something convenient. Sabotage, assassination, support, provocation, etc. in the land of rain are all underhanded tactics that are inconsistent with Kanaha's values. Only. Shimura Danzo can do the dirty work in this dark corner. He is a professional counterpart. Will do well. Hiruzen, I need the Uchiha people. Their genjutsu can help me carry out operations better. Saratobi Hiruzen glanced at him and knew the candidate he wanted, and said directly except Uchiha Shijika, it's up to you. Shimura Danzo narrowed his eyes slightly, stopped talking, and turned around to reorganize his roots. You are really protective, but once the war breaks out, how much can you protect Uchiha Shijika? Sister, Kanaha has declared war on Omega Kure. Ebizo walked in and reported the news to his sister Cho. Chiyo's face now has a few wrinkles, but it is not as old as it was later. Hearing what his brother Ebizo said, Cho was excited and laughed let's go. Follow Yu Yin and take advantage of the situation. Sister, is this really okay? Ebizo frowned this is equivalent to declaring war on Kanaha. Cho sneered who said the daimyo is too stingy? We can only find food by ourselves. The resources of the Kingdom of Rain alone are not enough. Just in time, someone handed me a pillow when I fell asleep. Hanzo, the Sanchao Ayu, took action against the Kingdom of Fire. Brother, Sanchao Ayu Hanzo wants to play the drama of two tigers fighting, he will definitely try his best to make us Su Nagakur and Kanaha fight. Since they will face each other sooner or later, it is better to make a profit from Kanaha now. Cho shook the glass bottle in his hand. The liquid in it was crystal clear. It was the toxin of Sanchao fish. Sancho Hanzo's poison is not easy to deal with. We know it well. The battle between Omega Kure and Kanaha will not end so soon. Helping Omega Kure to share some of the pressure is also helping ourselves. Sister, we and Yuga Kure are still enemies. Not anymore. Hearing this, Ebizo sighed and said, Sister, what did Feng Ying say? Cho threw a scroll directly to Ebizo. Ebizo took it in a panic, opened it, and then was stunned. 
The poison of Sanchao fish is difficult to deal with, but that may not be the case for Kanaha ninjas. Cho touched the scroll on his waist and said the scarce resources to support the development of the military have reached its peak. If we want to develop, we can only expand. For the survival of Sand Hidden Village, this battle must be fought. The scroll sent by the third Kazakage shows that. War begins on the land of fire. What do you think, Tsunade, can the antidote we carry handle the poison of Sancho Hanzo? Hitaki Sakumo looked aside, Tsunade frowned and shook her head. No, the poison of Sancho Hanzo has never been seen before. It is a brand new poison. All the antidotes currently available in Kanaha are ineffective against it. This is difficult to handle. Hitaki Sakumo sighed and glanced at the Omega Kure Ninja troops led by Sancho Hanzo from a distance. They were small in number, but their momentum was not small. The poisonous Sancho fish was really troublesome. If we don't deal with the poisonous nature of Hanzo the Sancho fish, we will be as stuck as Sunagakur. Orochimaru S voice was hoarse and he said Sakumo Senpai, it is not advisable to fight at close range. Let's fight at a distance. The materials provided by the daimyo are sufficient, and we can use remote equipment to attack on a large scale. Jiraiya laughed and said, I have enough kunao and shurikens, but the more detonating talismans the better, just throw them all out at once. The country of fire is rich in products and is the richest country in the ninja world. The resources that make other ninja villages stunned are trivial to Kanaha Hidden Village. Sunagakur's painful manipulations make the puppets slow down in the poisonous gas. Okay, but Kanaha can just throw money at it with a lot of money. Compared with the puppet, the detonating charm is much more lethal. Hitaki Sakumo agreed this is the only way to do it. He looked at Tsunade and said, The person with the highest level of medical ninjutsu in Kanaha village is you, Tsunade. It is up to you to prepare the antidote for the poisonous Sanchao fish. Tsunade nodded solemnly I will do my best to prepare an antidote as soon as possible. Be prepared for a protracted war. You can't let the Sanchao Ayu have hidden advance and confine him to this area. Hitaki Sakumo said in a deep voice. The three of them said yes with serious faces. Chidori Sharp Spear The lightning in Uchiha Shijika's hand suddenly changed and the long blade quickly lengthened, directly penetrating the chest of the Omega Kure Ninja. Before the Omega Kure Ninja could react, he felt a pain in front of his body, and he looked in front of him in shock good. So fast. The next moment, thunder and lightning raged in the body, instantly tearing apart the internal organs of the Omega Kure Ninja, a mouth full of blood spurted out, and he fell to the ground softly. Kong Hua, this move is good, it comes unexpectedly and is so fast that no one can react. Hearing the sound, Uchiha Shijika dispersed the Chidori spear and looked at the man. Uncle Zong Seeing is serious, you can resolve the battle much faster than me. Uchiha Soihoki chuckled and patted Uchiha Shijika's shoulder, pointing his thumbs up at his pair of three Megatama Sharingan eyes, looking very proud. This is all the result of the limited Sharingan of our clan's descendant. Kong Hua, you will know when you open the Sharingan. No one dares to look directly into these eyes. Uchiha Munyuki just stared, and the enemy fell into the illusion and couldn't help himself. The power of life and death lies in Uchiha Munyuki's thoughts. This is the Sharingan that scares the ninja world. Uchiha Shijika looked at the others. There were six people including him here, all from the Uchiha clan. Three of them appeared in the Nine Tails Seal Transfer Ceremony. In other words, these people, and he were his own people. Saratobi Hiruzen asked him get closer and closer to these people. In this war against the Land of Rain, Uchiha Shijika was assigned to the teams of these Uchiha Hokage faction. Naruto faction is what Uchiha Munyuki and these people call themselves. According to Uchiha Munyuki according to the statement, compared to the pro-Kanaha faction of Uchiha Ryatai and others, they went one step further and got close to Naruto directly. Kanaha is Hokage, and Naruto is Kanaha. This group of people is not limited by family barriers, and respects Naruto wholeheartedly. 
When the Hokage does things, in their philosophy, helping the Hokage is a favor to Kanaha. It is the same as Uchiha Shijika's current character, and he was approached by Saratobi Hiruzen, so he naturally followed it. Under the initiative, they they quickly became close to each other, hooked up and had a heated fight. Senior Zong Sing, there are two poison gas bombs here. An Uchiha tribesman searched the enemy's corpse and found two poison gas bombs. They were disposable gas bombs made by Sancho Hanzo using Sancho fish poison. Kong Hua, here, give it to your teacher. Tsunade is studying the highly toxic components of Sancho fish. These gas bombs are valuable research materials and are needed in large quantities. Sancho Hanzo is really confident about his poison, so he is not afraid of Tsunade preparing an antidote. Hearing Uchiha Soihoki's words, Uchiha Shijika said from the side after all, Cho of Tsunagakur has been researching for several years and has only achieved a little result. That person's medical ninjutsu skills aren't bad either. It can only take a few years for the puppet old woman to achieve any results. Tsunade, who is younger than her. Sancho Hanzo doesn't take it seriously at all. For him, Kanaha's crazy money throwing is more troublesome. Overwhelming Kunao shurikens, detonating talismans with constant explosions and roars, high power long range attack equipment. Such an inhumane waste of resources made Sancho Ayu Hanzo's heart twitch when he saw it. It would be great if these were all his supplies. Thanks to this coin throwing attack, Sancho Ayu Hanzo's progress was stopped. Ninjas have always been people with high attack and low defense. A single stab from Kunao can kill them. This kind of powerful firepower coverage and pouring, if someone accidentally gets hit and dies, the next joke in the ninja world will be Sancho Ayu Hanzo, which will last for a long time. Are we going to be stuck here for a few years like Tsunagakur? Uchiha Soihoki was a little dissatisfied. Whoops. Uchiha Shijika looked at the sky, where a signal bomb shot up into the sky. Walk. Uchiha Soihoki gave an order, and everyone jumped up the treetops and headed towards the direction of the flare. Sancho Hanzo's progress was stopped. After several days of trying to break through, he discovered something. Kanaha's attack was aimed at him personally. Wherever Sancho Ayu Hanzo appears, there will be inhumane attacks. There are many omissions for the Omega Kure Ninja troops. There are many Omega Kure Ninjas who broke through. Although they were made dumplings by Kanaha Ninjas just after they broke through, they were caught. Live, be captured, and be killed. This discovery made Sancho Ayu Hanzi think about it. He asked the Omega Kure Ninjas to carry poison gas bombs. Once the breakout was successful, they would disperse directly and spread poison everywhere in the land of fire like a goddess scattering flowers. It has to be said that Sancho Hanzo's move was very destructive. Hitaki Sakumo did not dare to be careless and sent the sensing force to search for the Omega Kure ninjas who broke out. The intelligence force was responsible for receiving the intelligence from the sensing force and then passing it on. Uchiha Shijika's move this team is the fighting force responsible for strangling the discovered Omega Kure ninjas. They are fast, but there are people faster than them. When Uchiha Shijika and his party came here, they found that the battle was over. Watergate Uchiha Shijika greeted the Kanaha ninja team standing there. There were his acquaintances there. Nami Kaze Minato turned his head with surprise in his eyes. Kong Hua, are you around here? Uchiha. Shijika nodded. He came over and asked, How many poison gas bombs have you obtained? Nami Kaze Minato looked at the leading Jounin. Only one. Pharmacist Nanoyu is concentrating on the treatment. The chakra in the body undergoes a yang attribute change, the hands glow with emerald green light, and the B-level difficulty extraction technique is launched. There were beads of sweat oozing out from the delicate and white face of pharmacist Nanoyu. She gritted her teeth and pulled out a lump of something with an unpleasant color from the patient's body. That's poison, the poison of Sancho fish. Pharmacist Nanoyu controlled the toxin and placed it on a blank scroll. 
there was a member of the Uzumaki clan staring at it. Upon seeing this, he formed a seal with his hands to seal the toxin. Immediately, he tied up the scroll and put it aside. Can we only extract toxins from the surface? Pharmacist no Naiya was a little tired. When she saw the patient's facial features twisted together and groaning in pain, she felt pity and sadness. Snapped. Someone tapped her on the shoulder. Pharmacist Nanoyu turned around, saw the person coming, stood up quickly and said Tsunade-sama. Tsunade glanced at the patient with a pair of beautiful eyes, nodded and said the treatment was timely, and there is not much residual toxin. This patient has no symptoms in a short time. Life is in danger. Isn't it dangerous just for a short period of time? Pharmacist. Nanoyu clasped his hands and prayed for the patient in his heart. Tsunade picked up the scrolls that sealed the toxins of Sanchao fish. Yes, those toxins are like tarsal maggots, penetrating deep into the bone marrow and nerves. Tsunade sighed softly. It would be okay if it only involved bone marrow, but it also involves nerves. She has not yet thoroughly studied neurological problems. If she treats them at this level, the possibility of problems is not small. She likes gambling, but I don't like to gamble on human life. If you want to completely turn the crisis around, you still need to make an antidote. Although it is not easy to study toxins and prepare antidotes, compared with the complex nerves of the human body, it is still much less difficult. Tsunade Sensei At this time, the camp door curtain opened, and Uchiha Shijika and Nami Kaze Minato walked in. Konghua, Minato. Pharmacist no Naiyo looked at the two of them in surprise long time no see. Uchiha Shijika was a little surprised that medicine master Nunwoyu appeared here. Long time no see, no Naiyo. Uchiha Shijika nodded at her, and then handed the bag in his hand to Tsunade. These were recently seized gas bombs. Tsunade took it and weighed it. There was quite a lot. Tsunade Sensei, how are you? Do you have any idea about the antidote? Hearing this, Tsunade shook her head worriedly. Not yet, I can only do my best. Tsunagakuras Cho has been studying it for several years. When it comes to me, it won't take that long, but it will take at least a year. Tsunade still has confidence in her medical skills. This confidence is based on studying the poison of Sanchao fish. With sufficient material samples, although the antidote has not yet been discovered, part of the toxin components have been analyzed. This part is the result of Sunagakur Chiyo's research. Sunagakur Cho was on the front line of rain country, exposed to the poison of Sancho fish every day, and it took several years to study just a few results. Tsunade concluded that Tsunagakur Cho was not as good as her. Thinking of Tsunagakur he is also a master of poisoning. As the saying goes, medicine and poison do not separate families. Tsunade thought, maybe Cho of Tsunagakur is not a serious partialist. As expected of Tsunade Sensei. Uchiha Shijika exclaimed in admiration. At this moment, the door curtain opened again and a pale-faced and poisoned Kanaha ninja was moved in. Ah, put it here quickly. Seeing this, pharmacist no Naiya quickly stepped forward to help. Let me help too. Uchiha Shijika came closer, and without waiting for Yakushi no no to say anything, he tore open the coat of the poisoned Kanaha ninja. He first made an incision with a chakra scalpel, and then skillfully used the technique of extracting the details of the disease. Leaving the toxin. Without the Uzumaki tribesmen taking action, he formed seals with his hands to seal the toxin. Then he used the A-level palm sensa technique to heal the wound just cut, and by the way, he helped the Kanaha ninja relieve the pain. From the look on his face it only took a few minutes for his face to turn pale and calm. A set of movements was completed in one go. Uchiha Shijika looked calm and calm but he looked dumbfounded at the pharmacist Nunu on the side, this is too shocking. Pharmacist Nanoya drooped her head. She still can't perform the A-level palm immortal technique well. Tsunade-sensei, I'll come here to help in my spare time. 
Uchiha Shijika glanced around the camp. There are very few medical ninjas. Tsunade agreed there are indeed very few. Kanaha Hospital faces the entire Kanaha and surrounding villages, so we really can't spare too many manpower. These medical ninjas are already the maximum number of people I can fight for. Tsunade pursed her lips and said. The ANVU's medical ninjas have brought some. Teacher, have you ever thought about expanding the number of medical ninjas? Uchiha. Shijika took advantage of the situation and made suggestions injuries on the battlefield are inevitable. Now we can still cope with it. If one day more companions are injured and there are not enough medical ninjas, and they are too busy, wouldn't it be like watching our companions helplessly? Die miserably. I don't want to see such a tragic situation, teacher. I hope there will be more medical ninjas to protect the lives of our companions. When Tsunade heard this, she was thoughtful. What Kong Hwa said came to her heart. Increasing resources to invest in the training of medical ninjas and strengthening the team of medical ninjas has always been what she wanted to do. But the old man Hokage has been hesitant. No agreement. There has been peace for many years, but now the war has begun, and there are more and more injured ninjas. The medical ninjas have been broken into two pieces, and it is really difficult to work hard. In addition, the Kanaha Hospital protects the Kanaha villagers and the people in the surrounding countryside. Not enough, not enough at all. The objective facts are here. Now the old man can no longer hesitate. It is urgent to expand the number of medical ninjas. Tsunade left with a sample of Sancho Fish's poison material, planning to persuade Hiruz and Saratobi to invest resources in cultivating more medical ninjas after this war. Yubo Konghua doesn't have to go on patrol for the time being, so he helps treat the injured here. His medical skills won the recognition and admiration of the medical ninjas present. Nami Kaze Minato scratched his head. He wanted to stay and help, but his level of medical ninjutsu was not high. It was more than enough to treat himself and the injured. Nami Kaze Minato retreated, for the sake of the lives of the injured, he decided not to get involved. I'm here to help you. Nami Kaze Minato shuttled around the hospital beds, acting as a nurse. Thank you, I don't feel any pain now. Eh? Are you from the Uchiha clan? An injured person expressed his gratitude to Uchiha Shijika, and was stunned when he saw the Uchiha clan emblem on his clothes. It is already rare for the ninjas of the Uchiha clan to know medical ninjutsu, and they appeared here and cured him. It's even more surprising that it alleviated his pain. That's Uchiha. Every time I see him in the village, he has a cold face and looks like he's not easy to deal with. When enforcing the law, he behaves rudely, has tough actions, and speaks coldly. It was completely unimaginable that one day someone from the Uchiha clan would heal him. It's okay, be more careful next time. Uchiha Shijika smiled gently at him his face soft. Oh, ah, yes, I'll pay attention next time. The injured person looked at Uchiha Shijika very strangely. Are you sure you are an Uchiha? Thank you very much, Kong Hwa, I have fully recovered. At such a young age, my medical ninjutsu is so strong, it really puts my uncle to shame. Hey, not only are you ashamed, but we medical ninjas are also ashamed. You are worthy of being Tsunade Sama's disciple. Like a teacher, like a disciple. Hearing the praises from around him, Uchiha Shijika healed a Kanaha ninja without changing his expression. He straightened up, breathed a sigh of relief, and then said with a gentle and friendly smile, Okay, your arm is fine. The Kanaha ninja shook his arm after hearing this, and then said in surprise, Okay, I'm fine. When fighting with the Omega Kure ninja, he was accidentally pierced by the opponent's kunao. Now, after Uchiha Shijika's treatment, he is intact and has recovered as before. Thanks, thanks. The Kanaha ninja tightly grasped Uchiha Shijika's hand and bowed repeatedly to thank him. You're welcome, with great ability comes great responsibility. Uchiha Shijika smiled, and in the eyes of this Kanaha ninja, 
it was shining and exuding light. Uchiha Shijika said slowly I don't want my companions to suffer, since I have this ability it is my duty to treat everyone. The greater the ability, the greater the responsibility. The Kanaha ninja murmured, this is so good. A warm current surged in his heart, and his eyes turned to respect when he looked at Uchiha Shijika. He sighed in his heart, this member of the Uchiha clan the child is a good person. Whoosh! The door curtain was opened. Come on, come on. The situation is critical. Someone come and save him quickly. Hearing this, Uchiha. Shijika quickly smiled apologetically at the Kanaha ninja, and then walked forward come, come to this empty seat, and I will heal him. You, the big man hesitated and glanced at the child in front of him, and suddenly understood after seeing the iconic Uchiha clan logo. You are the child of the Uchiha clan with superb medical skills. Uchiha Shijika belongs to the combat force. In addition to daily patrols, his daily tasks are to encounter Omega Kure ninjas, capture and kill them, and seize poison gas bombs. But Omega Kure ninjas are not common, and his daily tasks are more patrolling and vigilant. The combat troops implement a shift system. After all, there are not as many Omega Kure ninjas as Kanaha ninjas, so it is not worth investing a lot of manpower. Every day after being handed over to the next shift, Uchiha Shijika will come to the temporary hospital to save lives and treat injuries and poisoning. Kanaha Ninja After a long time, everyone in the ninja army knew that a child of the Uchiha clan with superb medical skills came to the temporary hospital. He was a disciple of Tsunade. His healing ability was very outstanding. Under his hands, multiple injuries were treated. The big man obviously recognized the identity of the child in front of him, and then handed the injured friend to Uchiha Shijika with confidence. After some treatment, the big man watched with joy as his friend's face became calmer. Breathing becomes gentle and no longer painful. Thank you for curing my friend. The big man was so excited that he wanted to bow to Uchiha Shijika to thank him. Uchiha Shijika quickly pulled him up and humbly said that there was no need to thank him. It was the duty of Kanaha ninjas, and it was the duty to treat his fellow villagers. After some pulling and pulling, under this, Uchiha Shijika accepted the other party's bow and thanked him helplessly. Just accept it well, Xiao Kong Hua. An uncle laughed, and the patient next to him said, that's right, you saved our lives, so we should say thank you. Just saying thank you is not enough. After this war is over, you can come to my restaurant for free. Yakushi Nunhoyo looked at Uchiha Shijika with some envy. That's great, Kong Hua, everyone loves you so much. Uchiha. Shijika scratched his head in embarrassment, a little embarrassed I just did what I should do, and I really can't bear everyone's love. We. Pharmacist Nonei said with a slight smile it's not good to be humble. Everyone really wants to thank you. Nanoyu is right. Tsunade walked in at this time and slapped Uchiha Shijika on the back hard, making him stagger forward a few steps. Just feel at ease and accept everyone's thanks. Tsunade laughed, picked up the sealing scroll that sealed the Sancho fish toxin and left. He came in a hurry and left in a hurry. Uchiha Shijika hissed his teeth, the slap hurt a bit. He raised his head and looked at everyone treating him. With respect and love, Uchiha Shijika responded with a gentle smile. It seems to work well. Uchiha Shijika thought, since the effect is good, let's keep up the good work. The desire for treatment is ready and the enthusiasm is high. Boom! Jiraiya slapped his palm on the table, making a loud noise. He looked at the report from the intelligence department with a shocked expression. How dare Sunagakur do it? Don't they know that this act represents a declaration of war against the Fire Nation? After two months of stalemate with Sanchao Ayuhanzo, the Sunagakur ninja penetrated directly into the heart of the Fire Country from the southwest like a sharp knife, burning, killing, looting, and committing all kinds of evil. When the news came, the intelligence department quickly reported it to the headquarters. Jilai he was also puzzled, 
he looked at Orochimaru in astonishment and murmured this is going to start a war between two big countries. Orochimaru sneered. Jiraiya, don't be so surprised. It's not surprising that Tsunagakur declared war on the land of fire. Um? Orochimaru, do you know something? Orochimaru knocked on the table and looked at Jiraiya like he was an idiot, making Jiraiya feel uncomfortable. It makes me a little angry that you look at me like this. Orochimaru chuckled. Jiraiya, go to custom shops less and pay more attention to the news of the ninja world. Ignore Jiraiya's what a custom shop, slander, slander. That's the source material. In the voice of Orochimaru, he said to himself I was not involved in the first ninja war Sunagakur, so I can develop myself with peace of mind. By now, their development has reached a bottleneck. Most of the territory of the Kingdom of Wind is desert, with only a few oases. This is a land lacking in resources. Furthermore, the name of the Kingdom of Wind is also famous for being stingy. After a long period of peaceful development, Sunagakur has come into contact with bottleneck, if you want to break through this bottleneck, when the country cannot provide more resources, the daimyo of the wind country is still a famous iron rooster in the ninja world. It is more difficult to get him to spend more money than to reach the sky. If you don't hold back, you can withdraw the funds. Not bad. Under the influence of various factors, if Sunagakur wants to continue to develop, it can only. Hitaki Sakumo made the final decision we can only expand outward. They chose the fire country. The fire country, which is rich in resources and has excellent landforms, has always been coveted by other countries. The best piece of meat in the ninja world is here. Who wouldn't want to eat? Sunagakur wanted to eat, so they took action and invaded the land of fire with their military power developed to the limit. Orochimaru Close combat troops have little effect on the battlefield here. You lead them south to resist Sunagakur's aggression. You can't let the people suffer any more. Yes, Captain. Orochimaru turned around and went out to gather his troops to go south. Hitaki Sakumo thought for a moment and said to Jiraiya Jiraiya, please inform Tsunade to slow down the research on Sanchao fish toxin and prepare some antidote first to fight against Sunagakur. Sunagakur is also a poisoner. Orochimaru led the close combat force south, and soon came to the area where the Sunagakur ninja troops were raging. Hiss. Orochimaru squatted down and learned about the situation of the Sunagakur ninja troops from the snake's mouth. He frowned, a pair of golden snake eyes exuding coldness. Uchiha Soihoki and Hayaga Sentoku, Join forces with each other and lead your people to annihilate all of Sunagakur's ninja team, leaving no one alive. Uchiha Soihoki and Hayaga Sentoko looked at each other and nodded. Soon, the Uchiha clan and the Hayaga clan completed the team formation. Uchiha Shijika and Hayaga Hizashi were assigned to a team, and they nodded. Immediately, Uchiha Shijika looked at the rope tree next to Orochimaru. He walked up to the rope tree and told the rope tree the rope tree, follow the orders of Orochimaru Senpai and don't act without authorization again. During the battle with Omega Kure, Naoki was always passionate and eager to make achievements. He often acted without authorization. Teacher. Tsunade scolded Naoki several times, but Naoki always clapped his chest and promised, but on the battlefield, he failed. He often relapses into his old ways. As soon as Uchiha Shijika saw Orochimaru leading the team this time, Naoki felt like he was standing next to him. Just in case, Uchiha Shijika told Naoki not to get on top before setting off. Be sure to obey orders. Never act without authorization. Really, why are you as verbose as my sister? Naoki felt helpless and once again patted his chest and assured Uchiha Shijika don't worry, Shijika, I will never act without permission again. You better be. Uchiha Shijika had doubts. Kong Hwa, there. Uchiha Shijika held a chakra blade. Hearing the words of the Uchiha clansman, his eyes narrowed slightly, and he raised his hand and slashed into the air. 
It seemed that he had swung it in the air, but in fact, he had already controlled the puppet controlled by the Sunagakur ninja. The carrot wire was broken. The puppet controlled by Captain Sunagakur suddenly lost control and fell to the ground softly. Sharing gun. Not only that, Captain Sunagakur passed by the uncomfortable Sharingan, and what greeted him was the white and clear Byakugan. Uchiha clan and Hyaga clan, we stragglers are worthy of your respect. With two major Ijutsu families serving them, how could they be less blessed? Captain Sunagakur's chakra surged, and he immediately formed a seal and shouted puppet technique, poison explosion. Hayaga Hisashi rolled his eyes and immediately noticed something was wrong with the puppet lying softly on the ground. No, get away from that puppet. Shadow Clone Technique As soon as Hinata Hisashi finished speaking, Uchiha Shijika started to move. He created a shadow clone and directly picked up the puppet on the ground and headed towards Captain Sunagakur. This made Captain Sunagakur feel like he was dead. Dare to explode poisonous gas around him. He quickly changed his tactics, stopped the delivery of chakra, and instead controlled the puppet to open its mouth and shoot out a poison cone coated with poison, exploding Uchiha Shijika's shadow clone. Also before he could relax, a strange phenomenon suddenly occurred. The teammates around him suddenly controlled the puppets in their hands to attack Captain Sunagakur. He was unable to react in time, and more importantly, Captain Sunagakur did not expect to be attacked by his companions. His pupils tightened and he quickly retreated to avoid it, but he was still stabbed by the puppet's poisonous arrow. Damn it! Captain Sunagakur suddenly felt that his body strength was disappearing. He quickly took out the antidote pill and ate it in one gulp. He lowered his head and did not dare to look at his teammates who were being manipulated, let alone the enemy especially the people of the Uchiha clan. Captain Sunagakur knew exactly how his teammates' strange behavior came about. They must have been controlled by the Uchiha clan's Sharingan Genjutsu. Wouldn't you be controlled if you didn't look at the Sharingan? Uchiha Shijika's voice came faintly. Captain Sunagakur looked at his hands with fear, as if pieces of paper were shattering. His hands were collapsing, and then spreading all over his body. Ah, 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 ah. Captain Sunagakur screamed in horror. He wanted to stop the disintegration of his body, but was unable to do so. He could only watch his whole body shatter into pieces and be blown away by the wind. In reality, Captain Sunagakur said he was spitting liquid, his eyes were dull, and he was staring ahead with a dazed look on his face. Swish, swish, swish. The Sunagakur ninja team present fell into a genjutsu and couldn't help themselves. The kunao throne casually nailed everyone's neck. He sent the Sunagakur team back to the west easily. This was the result of the battle with the Sharingan of the Uchiha clan. Jug, he was able to do this without the Sharingan. The Uchiha tribesmen praised you are very good at illusions, and your attainments are not low. He can also perform illusions of this level but that is with the assistance of Sharingan. If there is no Sharingan bonus, he thinks, he can only control it for a short moment. Someone like Uchiha Shijika is so direct he couldn't control Captain Sunagakur. He is indeed someone whom Hokage-sama values. Uchiha Shijika didn't care about the praise. He opened Kagura's inner eye and was always paying attention to the situation of the main force. Mainly about the rope tree, he was still a little worried. Fortunately, Kagura's inner eye had a wide observation range. With his current investigation in terms of tons, tens of miles around are within his range of perception. Let's go, there are two more Sunagakur teams. The members of the Hayaga clan led the way with their Byakugan eyes open, and they glanced at Uchiha Shijika in a vague way. Uchiha Shijika was aware of it, and must have seen the huge chakra in his body. An Uchiha has such a the huge amount of Shatara really made people confused. Hinata Hisashi looked at Uchiha Shijika and hesitated to speak, and he didn't speak until the end. After becoming a Chuyunin, they didn't see each other for a while. After all, he belonged to the sensing force. 
he was a ninja who was randomly assigned to assist the combat team. He was unlucky and was not assigned to Uchiha Shijika's team. During the break, Hayaga Hisashi did not idle around and turned on his white eyes to observe others, until this time he joined forces to fight against the enemy. Under Byakugan's observation, Uchiha Shijika's Shitara came into view, and Hinata Hisashi was immediately horrified. Kong Hwa's chakra, why did it suddenly become so huge? How long had it been since they last met? Hinata Hisashi couldn't understand this change. He couldn't understand it, and neither could the other Hayaga clan members. They had only seen such a huge amount of chakra in the Senjua clan and the Uzumaki clan. When had they seen it in the Uchiha clan? Are you sure you are really from the Uchiha clan? I have never seen an Uchiha clansman with a Shitara. Although he was surprised, he didn't open his mouth to ask. They were not familiar with each other, and as families with the same pupil skills in the blood succession realm, they were vaguely opposed to each other. It was even worse for them to ask each other. As a friend and teammate, Hayaga Hisashi can ask. The destiny of the destined people is indeed special. Hayaga Hisashi shook his head, and he explained himself because of his superstitious fatalism. The look towards Uchiha Shijika became more awe-inspiring and fanatical. Raise Nan. Uchiha Shijika threw a ball at him, directly sending the enemy flying. The twisted and chaotic pulling force crushed the opponent's internal organs. The enemy was already dead in the air before it even hit the ground. There, another Sunagakura ninja team was discovered. The Chuyunin from the Hayaga clan discovered traces of the enemy again. The Chuyunin on the Uchiha side sneered Sunagakura has sent so many teams. Aren't they afraid that the main force is insufficient and they will be pushed head on by our side? Maybe they are very confident in their own strength. Hayaga Hisashi said. Those Sunagakura ninja teams spread out in all directions, trying to get behind them. Whether it was a sneak attack from behind or continuing to go deep into the heart of the fire country to cause damage, it would be troublesome for Kanaha. This ninja force composed of the two major pupil clans, Uchiha and Hayaga, is used to clean up these stragglers and the Sunagakura team. The battle at Lord Orochimaru's place is about to end. At this time, the Jounin of the Hayaga clan suddenly said. This seemed to corroborate the Uchiha Chuyunin's statement. He spread his hands and said with a joking smile look, he was defeated head on. However, even if Sunagakura's ninjas are here, the outcome has already been determined. The Uchiha Chuyunin have great confidence in the power of Kanaha. Even if the enemy ninjas are not scattered, they can't defeat Kanaha. A pair of scarlet and demonic Sharingan eyes are filled with mockery and full of contempt for Sunagakura. Uchiha Shijika frowning tightly, in the induction of Kagura's heart eye, the chakra light point belonging to Sunagakura continued to retreat. The chakra light point belonging to Kanaha pursued, and as the enemy's retreat speed accelerated, the cold, snake-like chakra the light spot stopped, and then the other chakra light spots around him stopped simultaneously. Uchiha Shijika paused and his expression changed. Sorry, I have to go to Orochimaru Senpai's place. Halfway through his words, Uchiha Shijika was surrounded by thunder and lightning, and he was speeding towards the direction of the main battle force. At Konghua, the Uchiha clan members were surprised to see Uchiha Shijika leave the team with a bit of shock. This can be regarded as violating the mission and leaving the team without permission. Konghua must have noticed something strange. Hayaga Hisashi looked at the dissatisfaction on the faces of the Hayaga clan members and explained Konghua behaves prudently. He must have discovered something when he left suddenly. I am familiar with Konghua. His perceptive ability is very strong, so he must have deep meaning in doing so. Hearing what Hisashi said, the Hayaga clan members dispersed dissatisfied, but they still muttered can you tell us anything? Humph. Shijika is a person that Lord Hokage values and he has his own considerations in what he does. What should he tell you Hinata? You should tell us if you want to. The Uchiha clan stared at the Sharingan. Now it was their turn to look at the Hayaga clan with dissatisfaction. What do you mean, 
Uchiha. I want to ask you what you mean. Who were you showing your stinky face just now? Why, are you dissatisfied with us Uchiha? I think you are dissatisfied with Hinata and want to find trouble. Looking at the quarreling Uchiha and Hinata, Hinata and Hisashi were caught in the middle, trying to break up the fight while dripping with sweat. How come this is such a quarrel? I know Hinata and Uchiha don't get along very well, but they won't quarrel at this time. This is a battlefield, and they still have tasks. Ah! The Sunagakur ninja team discovered earlier is about to escape. Hayaga Hisashi roared, and the Uchiha and Hayaga clansmen all looked in the direction pointed by Hinata Hisashi. They said in unison don't let them run away. Hayaga Hisashi wiped away the non-existent sweat. Fortunately, Kanaha's enemies are more important than family discord. Hayaga Hisashi looked towards the direction where Uchiha Shijika left. I wonder what Konghua discovered? There was no trace of Uchiha Shijika in his Byakugan site. Don't chase poor bandits, be careful to ambush them. Orochimaru waved the troops to stop. This time it is enough to stop Sunagakura's forward attack. Sunagakura's retreat route is exactly where they invaded the land of fire. There is no guarantee that there will be no ambush as a disciple of the Hokage, Orochimaru has outstanding strength and great prestige. When he gave the order, the ninjas of Kanaha followed suit and stopped chasing. But one person did not stop. The rope tree did not stop and headed towards Sunagakura. Orochimaru's face changed. And he knew that the rope tree was ignoring him and acted without permission. Rope tree, stop it. As he said that, Orochimaru chased towards the rope tree. Don't run. Watch Master Shensha take care of you. The corners of Shenshu's mouth were raised, and his eyes were bright. He ran like a standard ninja at a very fast speed, passing through trees one after another. I see you. A flash of light flashed in Naoki's eyes. When he saw the flustered Tsunagakur ninja, he threw the kunao and then formed seals with his hands to prepare to release the ninjutsu. Whoosh! At this moment, Uchiha Shijika's figure appeared here. Seeing the situation at the foot of the rope tree, his pupil shrank. The sound of wind and thunder exploded, Uchiha Shijika kicked off his right foot, the ground under his feet was trampled to pieces, spider web like cracks scattered in all directions, his whole body was violent like an arrow from a string. Shoot out! Bang! The raised corners of Naoki's mouth were still hanging on his face, looking at Tsunagakura's enemies with joy. Suddenly, his body felt heavy, and the scenery in his eyes receded and then his back came into contact with the earth, causing some pain. This the pain in his buttocks made Naisha come back to his senses. He realized the current situation and quickly looked at the person pressing on him. Konghua. Why does Konghua appear here? Questions lingered in his mind, and thinking of his enemy Sunagakura's ninjas, he quickly planned to move Uchiha Shijika away. Boom. There was a huge roar and sparks exploded into the sky. Shenshu stared at the raging fire in shock. The hot air waves spread and hit him, causing a trace of burning pain. Snapped. The right side of Naoki's face hurt, and Uchiha Shijika gave Naoki a hard slap. Konghua. Uchiha Shijika looked like he hated iron and said, Nasaki, you broke your promise to me. Shenshu was stunned ignoring the pain on his face. His eyes were surprised and he stared into his eyes, speechless. Not bad, thanks to Kong Hwa Kun. Orochimaru arrived and when he saw the raging fire, he felt a sense of fear in his heart. The rope tree was almost swallowed by the ambush of the detonating talisman. Thinking of the consequences of Naoki's almost death, Orochimaru felt sad and couldn't imagine Tsunade's expression. He didn't care why Uchiha Shijika appeared here. He could only be grateful at the moment. Good job Kong Hwakun showed up. Thanks to him for saving the rope tree at the critical moment. Orochimaru Senpai Uchiha Shijika raised his head and looked at Orochimaru. Orochimaru looked over, and the next moment, the pupils of his snake-like eyes tightened. Sharingan, 
or 3 Megatama Sharingan. Under the firelight, Uchiha Shijika opened his 3 Megatama Sharingan eyes, and the coquettish red light became the only thing here. On the way back, Orochimaru and Naoki looked over frequently. Uchiha Shijika held a kunao and looked at his 3 Megatama Sharingan with surprise and joy. I'm so intoxicated that I can't get enough of it. There was still a slap mark on the right side of Shenshu's face. He rubbed it, and a burning pain came through, making him grin. Kong Hua, your slap is too hard. Uchiha Shijika heard this, put away his kunao, and snorted towards the rope tree. What did someone say before? What promise did you make to me? Are you acting recklessly again? You were almost killed by the detonating talisman. Shenshu smiled and scratched his head, feeling a little embarrassed. Why? Shenshu sighed and said guiltily it's my fault. If Kong Hua hadn't appeared, I would have died. Thinking that death was so close to him, Shenshu shuddered. This time. This time I swear. Absolutely, absolutely will not act without authorization. You better be. Uchiha Shijika glanced at him sideways. Where have you heard this sentence before? Shenshu thought for a while, isn't this what Kong Hua said to him before setting off? Ha ha ha. Shenshu was embarrassed. It had only been a while since he had forgotten Kong Hua's instructions. Snapped. The more Naishu thought about it, the more guilty he felt. He raised his left hand and gave himself a hard slap on the left side of his face. It's better now. There are still slap marks on both faces. Ouch, it hurts so much. His left cheek was slapped, and the right cheek was moved. Shenshu squatted down in pain, and hung his hands next to his face, not daring to touch it. Naoki, please think more about Tsunade Sensei. Uchiha Shijika shook his head helplessly and used palm senjutsu to treat the rope tree. Tsunade Sensei's only relative is you. Hearing this, Shenshu fell silent. Mr. Kong Hua, thank you for saving the rope tree. Orochimaru's eyes were searching what a critical moment. How could Lord Shijika appear here? Uchiha. Shijika replied calmly Senior Orochimaru, please punish me. Because I was worried about something happening to the rope tree, I violated the mission without authorization and left the team. Naoki looked at Uchiha Shijika depressedly, it turns out that you also acted without permission. But Shijika was worried about him leaving the team. Naoki felt guilty and vowed to get rid of the above problems. Teacher, if you want to blame, just blame me. It was me who made Kong Hua make mistakes. There is a reason for everything, Mr. Kong Hua, you don't need to be so serious, I think you are not guilty. After all, he is the person that Mr. Saratobi likes, and this is to save the rope tree. If he wants to punish Uchiha Shijika, Tsunade will come. Thinking that it must be very troublesome, Orochimaru simply it is better to do less than to do more. He turned to this article directly without pressing the button. He was more curious about another thing. Orochimaru stared at Uchiha Shijika's eyes with his snake eyes. He opened his eyes because he was worried about the safety of his companions. Once opened, it is the Sharingan of the Three Megatama. Shijika-kun, nothing like this has ever happened in the history of Uchiha. Orochimaru paid attention to Uchiha Shijika's expression and said slowly You, have you opened your eyes before? Uchiha Shijika looked at Orochimaru, his eyes were proud, the corners of his mouth were raised, and his smile was a little arrogant and wanton. Orochimaru-senpai, just because others can't do it, doesn't mean I can't do it. There has never been a genius like me in the history of the Uchiha clan. These words attracted Orochimaru and Naoki's side glances. Orochimaru frowned and hesitated at his guess. Uchiha Shijika's obvious personality change is exactly the same as that of most open-minded Uchiha people. So, maybe this is really Uchiha Shijika's extraordinary talent? and he can see the three Megatama Sharingan when he opens his eyes? As he said himself, Uchiha Shijika's talents are extremely rare in Uchiha history. Orochimaru was thoughtful, and after a moment, the corners of his mouth slightly curved. 
interesting. It's hard to guess whether it's true or false. Uchiha Shijika is truly a child full of secrets. He licked the corners of his mouth and looked at Uchiha Shijika with interest. He recalled a sparring match between Uchiha Shijika and Nami Kaze Minato. The sudden change in strength seemed to have a different meaning now. Is it really what Uchiha Shijika said, or is there something hidden? Just let him observe more. Orochimaru's eyes were excited, he was very curious. Rope tree. Looking at his sister Tsunade coming in a fierce manner, Naoki shrank his head with a look of fear on his face. Sister, don't hit your head. Before she finished speaking, Tsunade hugged Naoshu into her arms. Her eyes were red and she said, Don't let your sister be afraid, Naoshu. Naoshu was stunned, his eye circles were also red, and tears remained from the corners of his eyes. Down. He hugged his sister tightly and said over and over again I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sister, I made you worry. I don't dare to be reckless anymore. Tsunade hit Naoki hard and looked at Naoki holding his head in pain and snorted. Remember what you said. You don't care about your life and still dream of becoming Hokage. Tsunade looked at the rope tree with disdain. If you die, your dreams will be useless. She pulled out the necklace from Shensha's neck I want to take back my grandfather's necklace. You are so impetuous and reckless. I don't trust you if I leave it to you. Ah, why is this? Now Shula's face fell. He had been praying for his grandfather's necklace for a long time. His sister gave him the necklace before the war started. Now he returned to before liberation. His grandfather's necklace flew away and now Shu was very depressed. What about Kong Hua? Tsunade asked, Naoki calmed down and motioned for Tsunade to follow him. The two came to the tent at the back of the camp. Tsunade paused, and she heard the familiar sound of muffled screams. She pulled away. Norin, as expected, this is a temporary hospital. Uchiha Shijika has fine beads of sweat on his face, and Nami Kaze Minato and two other ninjas who know medical ninjutsu are treating the injured. There are even fewer medical ninjas here. Seeing this, Tsunade pulled up her sleeves I'm here to help. After a lot of busy work, the treatment was temporarily ended until it was getting dark. Uchiha Shijika wiped his sweat and said why is teacher Tsunade here? Tsunade took a sip of water and said, Orochimaru encountered a poison that he couldn't understand. So Sakamo Senpai sent me here. Sunagakura is not weak at playing with poisons. Orochimaru has dealt with snakes and has studied many poisons. In the battle with Sunagakura, he cracked some poisons, but he really couldn't understand other poisons, so he could only ask the headquarters, I hope Tsunade can come here. After analyzing the battlefield conditions in the two places, Hitaki Sakamo arranged Tsunade here. We haven't finished analyzing the poison of Sancho Fish yet, so let's study the poison of Sunagakura again. Tsunade said depressedly I am better at healing, why am I now accompanied by poison? Forget about me. Tsunade waved her hand, and she approached Uchiha Shijika. So close. Uchiha Shijika blinked, and his delicate face that could be broken was reflected in front of his eyes. The warm breath hit Uchiha Shijika's face making him feel itchy. Uchiha Shijika didn't dare to move. He had to lean forward a little. The first kiss of his life would be given to Tsunade. Kong Hua, I heard that when you opened your eyes, it was the Sharingan of the three Megatama. Is this true? When Uchiha Shijika heard this, the turbulent emotions in his heart suppressed. He closed his eyes and opened them again, and the three Megatama's Sharingan appeared. Tsunade stroked Uchiha Shijika's eyebrows and looked at the coquettish and magical figure. Sharing gun. It turns out to be true. Is it true that there are people in the Uchiha clan who have three Megatama Sharing gun eyes as soon as they open their eyes? When you open your eyes, you will see the three Megatama Sharing gun, but you still underestimate your talent. Tsunade sighed. Her disciple will definitely be able to open the Sharing gun. There is no doubt about it. It's just a matter of sooner or later. 
But once he opens it, he will go directly to the three Megatama Sharingan, she had never seen such a strange thing before, and it really shocked her. Since it is the three Megatama Sharingan when you open your eyes, then... Tsunade looked at the Sharingan and said perhaps, you can open that eye. Uchiha Shijika blinked, he shouldn't understand now. What eyes? Nothing. After Tsunade coughed, she patted Uchiha Shijika on the shoulder and said all the injured here have been treated, let them rest for a while. Kong Hua, come with me, our master and apprentice will study Sunagakur's poison together, strive to crack it and make an antidote as soon as possible, and drive Sunagakur out of the land of fire. Is teacher. Uchiha Shijika nodded in agreement. Sand Shurikens came towards me. Seeing this, Shensha quickly formed a seal with his hands and slapped them on the ground. Earth escape earth formation wall. There was a rumble, the earth trembled, and an earth wall rose from the ground, blocking Shenshu and the others. Bang bang bang. The sand shuriken hit the earth wall and made a sound of gold and iron. The young man with dark red hair had a sharp look in his eyes, raised his right hand, and the small gourd at his waist spurted out a huge amount of yellow sand. Luo Sha clenched her right hand, and the yellow sand gathered into a fist and blasted towards the earth wall. Magnetic Escape Sand Fist The sand fist destroyed the earthen wall and hit everyone in Kanaha with unabated force. A flash of lightning flashed across, Luo Sha's eyes narrowed slightly, and his sand fist paused for a moment before exploding with a bang. Whoosh! Uchiha Shijika rushed out of the smoke opening his coquettishly scarlet three Magadama Sharingan, holding a Chidori in his right hand, and headed towards Raza. Wind release, great scythe weasel. Beside Luasha, a woman with sandy brown hair and indigo eyes waved the three-star fan in her hand, and a strong wind roared in. The Megatama in Uchiha Shijika's eyes moved slightly. You see, the weak spot. Uchiha Shijika looked at the place where the chakra was weak in the rolling strong wind, and Chidori stabbed it hard. The strong wind immediately broke down and blew in all directions. Ah! Kara was horrified. Her wind escape can disable the fire escape that restrains the wind escape, which is enough to prove her wind escape skills. She has always been proud of the reverse restraint escape technique, but she didn't expect that now she has become the one who is reverse restraint. That. Garuruo's mood was agitated for a moment. Be careful, Garuru. Luasha quickly controlled a huge amount of yellow sand to surround the two people, forming a thick shield of sand. At the critical moment, the shield of sand blocked Uchiha Jubka's Chidori. Uchiha Jubka's Chidori kept attacking like an electric drill. He rushed in, but the armor of Luosha was too thick. Uchiha Shijika stretched his entire arm in but still did not penetrate the sand shield. Sister, Luo Sha. At this time, some Sunagakur ninjas rushed out of the forest. The young man leading them looked very similar to Garura, with a different hair color, which was the color of yellow sand. Yashimaru was familiar with Raza's sand shield. After seeing Uchiha Shijika's entire arm stabbed in, the splashing sand and lightning remained. Knowing that the situation was critical at this moment, he immediately danced with his hands, controlled the puppet, and spit out a large number of poisonous needles. Behind him, other Sunagakur ninjas are also launching their own attacks. Your opponent is us. Nasaki and others stood in front of Uchiha Shijika and started fighting with the enemy. During the fight, Kanaha's ninja accidentally hit the poisonous needle of Yashamaru's puppet. Yashimaru was happy, but then his face changed. He opened his mouth wide and his pupils tightened. What did he see? The Kanaha ninjas did not change their expressions after being hit by the poisonous needles, and they still fought with them fiercely. How come, our poison doesn't work? Naoki smiled proudly Hey, your poison has been cracked by my sister. Without the poison, you are no match for us in Kanaha. Yashimaru was worried. It had only been a few days since he had replaced the new poison, and he had been cracked by that Tsunade again. Without the help of the poison, 
they were becoming more and more ineffective in fighting the Kanaha ninjas. An eyeball in the air told this situation looking at it, in the shield of sand, Luo Sha's eyebrows are gloomy. We can no longer shrink in the shield of sand. Garuru, I will create opportunities and retreat when I see the right moment. After the words fell, without waiting for Garura's response, he immediately controlled the sand shield. Uchiha Shijika's eyes moved. Within his field of vision, the chakra on the surface of the sand shield quickly gathered, and then, spears of sand pierced out. Chidori style. Thunder and lightning burst out from Uchiha Shijika, shattering the spear of sand that shot out. Chidori sharp spear. The thunder and lightning in his hand changed shape, and instantly turned into a long lightning blade and shot out. Well. A painful groan came from the sand shield, and the corners of Uchiha Shijika's mouth curled up. Caught you. With a thought, the Chidori sharp spear released a large amount of thunder and lightning to paralyze the people inside. Kaka. The sand shield no longer solidified and turned into yellow sand and collapsed, revealing the three people inside. Three people. Yellow sand burst out from Luo Sha's body after being hit by the Chidori sharp spear. It was Sans clone. Drink. Luo Sha roared angrily, forming seals with his hands, and Chakra surged crazily. The gourd around his waist spurted out a large amount of yellow sand, like a tall wave surging, hitting the Kanaha ninjas like a tsunami. Quick sand waterfall. Get out of here quickly. Uchiha Shijika shouted. When the others saw this, they looked at the suddenly dark sky and the rolling yellow sofa made a rumbling sound, which had a strong sense of oppression. Everyone did not dare to neglect and left quickly. Ha ha, ha! Luo Sha's figure swayed and fell to the ground, her face pale. Korra quickly supported Raza, and then gave his younger brother Yashimaru a look. Yashimaru understood, and followed the Sunagakura people behind him and said let's go. Let's retreat. When everything settled, Naoki and others were dripping with cold sweat. That guy actually has such a trick. The forest in front of them is no longer, replaced by a piece of yellow sand. If they didn't know what it looked like before, they would have thought they were in a desert. The landscape has been changed, it's really a terrifying technique. Inyazukazuka patted his chest in panic, while Kuromaru beside him was whimpering and scared. The attack range is large and has a strong impact, but the speed is very slow. Uchiha Shijika jumped up to the treetops and looked far away. Luasha and the others had disappeared. The other party didn't intend to use this move to fight, they wanted to escape. It's a pity, Shensha secretly thought. That Luo Sha's status was not low, he was a student of the third Kazakage, and he actually let him run away. Uchiha Shijika glanced at Naoki and said, You're not going to chase them. Knowing that Konghua chased and almost stepped on the explosive talisman before clicking, Shenshu looked embarrassed. Ahem, you have the final say whether to pursue me or not. You are the captain. This team is composed of Jenin and Chunin, and the level is Chunin. At the same time, he is also the strongest person in this team. Uchiha Shijika naturally became the captain of this team. Brother Cheng, the Sunagakura ninjas here have been expelled by us. Go back and notify the army to send people to guard this place. Uchiha Shijika looked at the desert in front of him, thought of something, and gave additional instructions it's best to send some ninjas from the escape class. That Luo Sha is good at using sand to fight enemies. We can't leave him with regional bonuses. Filled out. Although these deserts were released by Raza, this kind of ninjutsu that changes the landscape must consume a lot of chakra. Raza is not a jinkraki, so the chakra cannot withstand the consumption. The desert in front of us is not flat, is it possible? Wait for him to do a matching ninjutsu next time, sandstorm burial. The Chuyunin named Makoto stood upright and looked at Uchiha Shijika with respect. Yes, Lord Konghua. I will definitely bring you your information. Uchiha Shijika was helpless don't call me sir. Okay, Lord Konghua. Uchiha Shijika left him alone. 
This Chunin was one of the injured treated by Uchiha Shijika, and he was very grateful to him for saving his life. Now he is following Uchiha Shijika on a mission and has seen how powerful he is. With his strength, the mission went smoothly. The gratitude turned into respect. The Chuyunin was convinced and started to follow Uchiha Shijika. If it were other members of the Uchiha clan, he would certainly not have such thoughts. He wanted to follow, but the Uchiha clan didn't want it yet. They looked at him with a cold face and looked at him like they were trash. But Uchiha Shijika was different. This gentleman was gentle, kind, compassionate, and powerful. Treat civilian ninjas like them as equals and always ask for help. This was a member of that famous ninja clan, and he was so kind to them. How could Shan Cheng not be so excited and moved by this? He must complete the task assigned to him by Lord Kong Hua. Yamama Makoto left with a firm look on his face. Where is Lord Kong Hua? Shen Chu smiled and reread, with an envious look on his face I also want someone to call me Lord Shen Chu. Uchiha. Shijika tapped him OK, let's go to the next place. The task is urgent and we don't have much time. Due to the high mobility of ninjas, Sunagakura sent teams one after another to wander between the troops led by Hotaki Sakumo and Orochimaru. In an attempt to cut off the exchange of intelligence between the two places, the ninjas changed, and occasionally rushed into the hinterland with blitzes and carried out sneak attacks. The road for transporting supplies caused casualties and loss of supplies. Hitaki Sakumo and Orochimaru saw that it was not possible and had to send people to clean up and drive away the Sunagakura ninjas who were entrenched and wandering here. They sent small teams, one to the north and one to the south. Use force in the middle. After expelling the Sunagakura ninja, send ninjas to guard this place to prevent the Sunagakura ninja from breaking in. They. Kanaha family has a great cause and there are many ninjas, so there is no harm in sending ninjas to guard here. Sniff, sniff. Kuromaru raised his head and came to Inu there were a few whining sounds from the side of Inuzuka. Inuzuka nodded and said to Uchiha Shijika seven people. They all smell of poison. Uchiha Shijika nodded, and the seven Sunagakura ninjas used puppets. Kagura's inner eye opened and Uchiha Shijika calmly gestured, instructing everyone to surround the seven Sunagakura ninjas. Can we win this war? A Sunagakura ninja looked worried that is Kanaha after all. There are many ninjas and abundant supplies. It is the number one ninja village in the ninja world. Another. Sunagakura ninja sneered this is all for survival. Think about where we live, and then look at where Kanaha lives. Do you want your offspring to eat sand all day long? This, the Sunagakura ninja sighed and stopped talking. Who would want to eat sand? Look at the clear blue sky, feel the warm sunshine, the comfortable breeze, and breathe the fresh air. There was a green field in front of him, and he was speechless. So what if there are many ninjas in Kanaha, we are not vegetarians either. Like stroking a lover, the Sunagakura ninja stroked the puppet people who live in a stable area can't imagine those of us who grew up in a cruel environment, right? Your worries are unnecessary, they are just docile lambs, we are wolves and elites. The Sunagakura ninja smiled confidently, and Uchiha Shijika in front of him also smiled. You. The smiling face of the Sunagakura ninja suddenly turned frightened. Just as he was about to scream. Severe pain came from his chest. The indigo electric light illuminated the two of them, and a few drops of blood splashed on Uchiha Shijika's face. With the scarlet sharing gone, he looks like a devil. Elite? I am killing the elites. Thunder and lightning were raging, sending the Sunagakura ninja on their way. Enemy attack. A Sunagakura ninja shouted out but they were already surrounded by Uchiha Shijika and others. Uchiha Shijika went directly to kill the enemy, while the others were safer and attacked the puppets carried by the Sunagakura ninja. Up! Bang bang bang! One after another the puppets were destroyed under the horrified eyes of the Sunagakura ninjas. Get close to them! Uchiha Shijika gave the order, 
and everyone approached the Sunagakur ninja to fight. They. Sunagakur ninja who played with puppets never had only one puppet. The scrolls behind them sealed stronger and more poisonous puppets. The Sunagakur ninjas hurriedly responded to the enemy, trying to pull out the scroll and release the puppet. But reality is not a turn-based game. Uchiha Shijika and others focused on this and interrupted their actions. Ah! The Sunagakur ninjas heard the screams and looked around quickly, and saw that their companions were killed by the Uchiha. Uchiha Shijika casually threw away the body in his hands and smiled gently at them. In the eyes of the Sunagakur ninjas, there was nothing different from the devil. Without the puppet, most of the strength will be wasted. This is not good. Hasn't Sunagakur thought about developing in an all-round way? Uchiha Shijika pointed, and then made a sudden advance to send Chidori into one of the chests. The others looked at a companion dies, looking desperate and sad. They looked at Uchiha Shijika with hatred. Damn it! If you dare, let us release the puppets to fight. Naoki wanted to say something, but Uchiha Shijika glared at his innocent friend. He snorted coldly those who kill will always be killed. You have never hesitated about the people of the Fire Nation, so naturally I will not hesitate. Uchiha Shijika suddenly flashed in front of the Sunagakur ninja. Looking at the other party's sad and angry expression, he said coldly don't worry. I will send you to the reunion now. Wooa! A mouthful of blood spurted out. The Sunagakur ninja trembled and looked down at his chest. His head tilted and his body went limp. These people call themselves elites, but they rely on puppets for their strength. Unlike Raza and Geruru, they are easy to target when they are prepared for surprise. Soon, these seven Sunagakur ninjas were all eliminated by Uchiha Shijika's team. Uchiha Shijika looked at Naoki with a stern face Naoki, you heard what I just said, don't hesitate, they are enemies. Naoki looked at Uchiha Shijika speechlessly. Uchiha Shijika blinked, then turned around and said to everyone take care of the body, we are going to continue setting off. Konghua, don't you have anything to say to me? The faint voice of the rope tree came, Uchiha Shijika coughed dryly, without saying a word. A fire escape sprayed over, burning the body of the Sunagakur ninja. Although I am reckless, I am not naive. The rope tree murmured, forming seals with both hands to create an earthen wall and fill it directly. After everyone finished cleaning up, they continued on the road, and all the Sunagakurs they encountered along the way were dealt with one by one. The spirit of the old silver coin was implemented throughout the process and there were Inuzuka claws on the surface. The family's Kuromaru has a sense of smell, and Uchiha Shijika Kagura's inner eye observes the dark side. He does mental arithmetic but not intentional, and makes a sudden sneak attack while the enemy is not paying attention. He can get the right shot. The Sunagakur ninja has good strength, and he did not lose his position when he was suddenly attacked. They have very good ninja qualities, but they are unlucky and encounter opponents with a huge gap in strength. Uchiha Shijika has increased the combat effectiveness of this team throughout his life. The three Megatama Sharingan does not need to be hidden, and its firepower is fully open. Uchiha Shijika's comprehensive strength can be rated as an elite Jounin. Minato, Ono Senpai Continuing to move forward, Uchiha Shijika and others met other ninja teams. Of course, they were not the only team sent out to clean up and expel the Sunagakur ninjas. Konghua, are you all okay? Nami Kaze Minato looked around and found that they were clean and tidy, not dirty, and looked like they had not encountered a battle. Hehe, <laughs> of course it's okay. Shenchu touched his nose and said with a proud smile they are no match for us. They are sincere on the mountain, judging from your situation, you may have returned to the army to inform. Ono Chounin suddenly sighed, and Nami Kaze Minato looked sad. Uchiha Shijika and others looked at each other and looked at the team behind them. There were a few people missing there, and looking at them, some of them were still injured. Uchiha Shijika had a premonition in his heart, and said with relief my condolences, Ono Senpai. They all died for Kanaha. 
Jonan Ono adjusted his breathing and suppressed the grief in his heart. We rested for a while and then moved on, not far from the meeting point. After resting for a while, they went on the road together. After walking for a while, they met other ninja teams. They were more or less defeated, but no team was wiped out. In the southern team, Uchiha Shijika's team the cleanest and most relaxed, this appearance attracted frequent glances from other teams. The second was Hinata Hisashi's team. After talking to him, Uchiha Shijika patted him on the shoulder with a look of approval. The ninja was in full swing. There are only a few, and most of them are members of the old silver coin camp, but there are indeed only a few who can succeed. You are qualified. Hayaga Hisashi looked at Uchiha Shijika with a puzzled look on his face. He didn't know which aspect he was talking about being qualified. The southern ninja team had already gathered together, and after traveling a certain distance, they completed the rendezvous with the northern team. At this point, the north and the south were divided. The large forces successfully joined together and formed a wall, isolating the Sunagakura ninja from the outside. Jiraiya Senpai The ninja teams from the north and the south joined together. Uchiha Shijika looked at the captain of the northern team in surprise. The ninja unit captain and the senior command headquarters came to clean up and expel the Sunagakura team from this area. Isn't this like the anti-aircraft cannon shooting mosquitoes? Overkill. This wall is a thin wall. If the enemy breaks through from one point, it will be easy to break through the wall. Jiraiya pointed at himself and smiled so I'm here, stationed in the middle, and wherever there is a problem, I will provide support there. I must ensure that this wall is foolproof and never let them harass the people behind me. You guys take a rest first. The captains of each of your teams will come over in a while and have something to tell you. After Jiraiya finished speaking, he flicked his white hair and left. The captains of each team looked at each other, then dispersed to rest or chat with acquaintances. Kong Hua, long time no see. The girl put her hands behind her back and leaned forward slightly, with a smile on her delicate little face. When Uchiha Shijika heard this, the corners of his mouth slightly curved long time no see, Mikato. Why did you end up in Senior Zong Seeing's team? The atmosphere at Uncle Zayaping's place was serious, and I couldn't get used to it. Uchiha Mikato looked at Uchiha Shijika with gentle eyes. She is a very adaptable girl. She can stay even if the atmosphere at Uchiha Shahe's place is serious, as long as she becomes serious. The real reason is still, Uchiha Mikato smiled. She wants to meet Kong Hua and stay with Kong Hua. Speaking of which, this is the longest time we have been apart since we met. Have you missed me? Kong Hua. Uchiha Mikato looked at him intently. Uchiha Shijika stopped. He was really bold. Mikato. Certainly. Uchiha Shijika touched Mikato's little head and smiled I miss you very much. After receiving the expected answer, Uchiha Mikato's face turned rosy, her eyes were delighted, and the shyness in her heart welled up, causing her to lower her head. The most gentle way of lowering her head was like the shyness of a water lotus that cannot bear the cool breeze. Uchiha Shijika seeing this beautiful scenery, this sentence suddenly jumped out of my heart. Water Lotus is the most suitable description for Mikato. Uchiha Shijika suddenly joked I remember that Fugaku brother you once admired was also there. You also said it was once. Uchiha Mikato puffed her face and looked at him dissatisfied the only one I admire now is you. Uchiha Shijika coughed dryly, becoming more and more bold. He couldn't bear it. There is a little beauty who cares about you, admires you, and loves you. Uchiha Shijika is naturally happy. But thinking of being far away in Kanaha Kushina, he has to be more careful. Uchiha Mikato can be bold, but he can't be presumptuous, be careful of overturning. He is not a very emotional person, he has the friendship between Mikato and Kushina, but more it's because of the value behind them. I am really a cold person. Uchiha Shijika evaluated himself. His heart is divided into several petals, 
and these petals are also mixed with other heterogeneous existences. He does not deny that he went too far, but it is a necessary step to achieve his goal. It's okay to come here. Uchihashijika turned his head awkwardly and muttered that Fugaku brother, you, stay away from him from now on. Uchihamikato looked at Konghua blankly. Konghua means, yes, are you jealous? Uchihamikato shook her head, no, no, she wanted to deny it, but the flowers of joy in her heart bloomed and filled her body. She couldn't help feeling happy, and her body felt a little weak. This was the first time that she clearly felt that Konghua cared about her. So happy. Uchihamikato suddenly covered her cheek and turned away. Her face must have turned red and hot. No, terrible. The shyness aroused by her straightforward and bold words was not as intense as Konghua's words to her. Today's victory or defeat, Uchihamikato, lost. Konghua, Mikato, here. Inuzukazuma waved her hand. Beside her were Rizuki, Hinata Hizashi, Abarame Shui, Nami Kaze Minato, Akimichi Choza and others. Uchihashijika glanced at it, as if it was a class reunion. Eh? Mikato, why are you face so red? Inuzuka Takashi looked at Uchiha Mikato strangely. He was surprised to see her covering her face. He looked closer and scared her. Why was her face so red? After hearing this, Uchiha Mikato let go of her hands and pretended to be fanning. It's because it's too hot. Uchiha Mikato blinked frequently and said insincerely wear thicker clothes, haha, I'm already hot and sweating. Inuzuka Takashi hesitated. Mikato's clothes were indeed thicker, but not as thick as hers. She didn't even get hot or sweaty. Autumn is about to pass and winter is coming. Wearing such thick clothes, it's quite difficult to get hot. Seeing that her words did not dispel Inuzukazuma's doubts, Uchiha Mikato quickly pushed her okay, okay, don't worry about me. We haven't seen each other for a long time. Don't you have anything to say to others? Inuzuka looked at her speechlessly. There were not many girls among these classmates. She was the best friend with Mikato, so of course she wanted to talk to her first. Inuzukazu asked worriedly Mikato, are you really okay? Uchiha Shijika looked at them with a smile on his face and winked at Mikato. Uchiha Mikato glared at him and kept assuring Inuzukazuma that she was really fine and it was really because of the heat. Let Inuzukazum believe it. As everyone chatted more and more happily, her attention was quickly attracted and she no longer paid attention to Uchiha Mikato. Uchiha Mikato breathed a sigh of relief. Minato, are you going to take the Chunin exam next year? Akimichi Dingza shared snacks if you want to participate, I will participate next year too. Why don't we all join in together? Inuzuka Kuma raised his hands and was eager to try. Abarame Shui looked at the only three Chunin present and said calmly after we become Chunin, we can also command a team. The senior student Chenchu, who was one level above them, was not to be outdone I want to participate too, and I want to get first place. Nazuki's fighting spirit was high, and he looked at Nami Kaze Minato with fighting intent. Nami Kaze Minato agreed happily then let's take part in next year's Chunin exam together. While speaking, he looked at Uchiha Shijika and joked Shijika, Hizashi, Mikato, you are seniors, do you have anything to teach us juniors? The three Uchiha Shijika, who had gone through the Chunin exam, told them about the experience. Everyone listened carefully. This is valuable senior experience. After talking, Uchiha Shijika took a drink of water. At this time, Akimichi Dingza suddenly sighed and said in a low tone I hope the war can end soon. Do you remember Daisuke? He accidentally walked into an enemy ambush a while ago and stepped on the detonating talisman, which exploded to pieces. Akimichi Dingza said with a sad look on his face I can't forget that miserable look to this day. Uchiha Shijika glanced at Naoki. Naoki waited after hearing this. Sure enough, when he saw Shijika looking at him, he was speechless. 
it's hard to get over this incident of almost stepping on the detonating talisman, right? So, who is Daisuke? Shenchu looked at the others and saw that they were all depressed. Daisuke is our classmate. Uchiha Shijika explained. Naoki became depressed after hearing this. Although he didn't know Daisuke, he thought that a child younger than him died on the battlefield. Reminiscing that he had had a brush with death. As he passed by, his heart trembled, and he glanced at Uchiha Shijika gratefully. If it weren't for Shijika, he would be the one among his friends who miss him sadly. He doesn't want his relatives and friends to be sad because of him. The battlefield is ruthless, and all we can do is end the war as soon as possible and restore peace. Uchiha Shijika clapped his hands to get everyone out of the sentimental atmosphere we have to carry Daisuke's regrets with us. If the war continues, there will be another Daisuke. Namikaze. Minato nodded with firm eyes yes, we must end the war and protect everyone in Kanaha. You are here. Jiraiya looked at the team captains who came together, and he looked at the man behind him dressed as an ANBU. Uchiha Shijika and others looked over curiously, and the man took off his hood, revealing bright silver hair. Silver hair? Uchiha Shijika felt something. When the ANBU took off his mask and revealed a familiar face, everyone present was shocked. Captain. Lord Sakumo. That ANBU was Sakumo Hitaki who was supposed to be at the headquarters. Yeah, hello everyone. Hitaki Sakumo said a gentle hello, and everyone looked at him as if he had seen a ghost. Why did Sakumo Senpai appear here? Master Jiraiya is here, Master Orochimaru and Master Tsunade are on the southern battlefield, and now Master Sakumo has also left the headquarters. A squad leader said worriedly this, will there not be any problems in the northern battlefield? Nothing will go wrong. Hitaki Sakumo smiled and said I handed over the command to Kano, you should feel relieved now. Narashikano, Narashikaku's father, the head of the staff. Thinking of the excellent IQ of the Nara family, everyone felt a little relieved. Hitaki Sakumo continued we have sufficient supplies, and Sancho Hanzo cannot break through. Now we and his the battle has turned into a confrontation stage. Now that we have reached a confrontation, we can free up more power to deal with Tsunagakur, who is our most important enemy at the moment. Hitaki Sakumo took out a scroll and motioned for everyone to watch. Uchiha Shijika glanced at it, thoughtfully. Neither the Fire Country Daimyo nor the Third Hokage were satisfied with the current situation. What they wanted was not to surround but not attack. And they are not fighting back and forth with Tsunagakur. Their focus is only one. Yugakure and Tsunagakure are still in the land of fire. No matter how they fight, the land and people of the country of fire will be harmed. This is not what they want. You have also seen that this war situation must be changed. Hitaki Sakumo's gentle smile disappeared, and a cold light flashed in his eyes. Hokage-sama's request is that Omegakure and Tsunagakure must be driven out of the land of fire within a year. The battlefield should not be burning in our homeland. Sanchao Iuhanzo is not easy to move, and his poison is still very difficult to deal with. Hitaki Sakumo looked at Uchiha Shijika and said, Shijika, I received information that your teacher has cracked Sunagakura's poison many times, right? Uchiha Shijika nodded and took out the antidote yes, these are the antidote made by teacher Tsunade. Sunagakura's poison will have no advantage over us in a short time. What is the short time? In about two weeks, Sunagakura will develop a new poison, and by then these antidotes will lose their effectiveness. Hitaki Sakumo took the antidote and smiled lightly. Two weeks? It's longer than expected. Enough. Hanzo-sama, it's still the same today. Omega Kure Anbu reported to Sanchoyu Hanzo. Reduce the frequency of attacks, create the illusion of lack of supplies, and try to trick us into breaking out. Sanjiya Yuhanzo snorted coldly he's doing this kind of trick again. The inhumane attacks from Kanaha's trenches have become less frequent a while ago. 
Sanchao Iuhanzo is afraid that the opponent's ordnance supply is insufficient and materials are scarce. Even if the fire country is rich and wealthy, it cannot afford to burn money like this for a long time. Right. Immediately, he led the Omega Kure Ninja troops to launch a general attack and break through. Then he was given a wake-up call and suddenly suffered a sap. The fire country is really that rich, beyond the poverty-stricken Hanzo's imagination. That battle reigned the Yin Ninja troops suffered many losses. Sanyo Hanzo himself was slashed by Hotaki Sakumo. Fortunately, the cut was missed, otherwise he might have died on the spot. Sanyo Hanzo felt the pain from the wound and wanted to yell in his heart. He Sanyo Yu Hanzo will not step into the trap a second time. Don't worry about them, just defend as usual. Omega Kure ANBU nodded and left. Sanchao Yu Hanzo looked ugly and hammered the table in front of him, making a loud noise. It's so opulent and coveted. But a wealthy country has abundant resources and the strongest military guarantee. It is really difficult to seize food from the tiger's mouth. Sanchao Yu Hanzo turned his head and looked in the direction of the Kingdom of Rain. Spending time here is not the answer, he thought, is it's not time to withdraw to the country of Rain. The goal of provoking a war between Tsunagakur and Kanaha has been achieved, and there is still plenty of resources from the previous plunder of the Country of Fire. It is no longer possible to take a few bites of meat, and it is feasible to consider retreating now. The battle between the two big countries is more important. The Country of Rain should be able to survive alone. Sanchao Iu Hanzo is wearing a gas mask, blowing purple smoke from his mouth, his eyes twinkling, Thoughtfully. As you might imagine, Liu Yi and Sanchao Iu Hanzo fell into the trap. After hearing what his friend said, Narashikano shook his head and smiled. Sanchao Iu Hanzo is a cautious person, which can be seen from the fact that he has assigned himself a 24 hour rotating bodyguard. If he suffers a loss once, he will never suffer a loss again. The friend teased, Unfortunately, there is really a problem with our ordnance supply this time. Sanjiao Hanzo was so suspicious and cautious that he missed a good opportunity. Nara. Shikano looked at his friend helplessly where are you from? Why do you feel sorry for the enemy? Nara Shikano touched his goatee, his eyes flashing. Sanjiao Hanzo's intelligence capabilities are not very good, and there is indeed a problem with their ordnance and supplies. The problem lies with the Sunagakur ninjas who are wandering around and causing trouble. They raided the road to transport supplies and caused losses, leading to a shortage of ordnance supplies for a few days. Because they were unable to engage in large-scale close combat due to the poison of the sand pepper fish, they chose a long-range, money-burning strategy, consuming a large amount of ordnance supplies almost every day. The supply was not available for a few days, causing this side to ordnance consumption, but there is no supply over there, and there is a gap. It is true that their attack frequency has decreased, and it is true that there are problems with the supply of ordnance supplies. It is also true that Sancho Hanzo is cautious and suspicious. Nara Shikano breathed a sigh of relief Sancho Hanzo steadied himself, and now it was up to Sakumo. As time goes by, Sancho Hanzo will find something wrong no matter how suspicious he is. Nara Shikano walked out of the camp and looked south hoping that Sakumo's battle would be successful. Lord Orochimaru, Sunagakur is attacking again. After sensing the message from the ninjas, Orochimaru did not dare to neglect, and quickly gathered the ninja troops to fight against Sunagakur. They, Kanaha ninjas in the camp had normal expressions. Such battles happened almost every day, so it was not surprising. Eh? Where is Lord Konghua? Shanma Makoto followed the troops and set off. He looked around and suddenly felt something was wrong. Where is the master Uchiha Shijika he respected? They obviously had a lively conversation yesterday. A ninja who also wanted to follow Uchiha Shijika said with emotion Shijika-sama is different from us. Although we are all Chuyunin, our strength is not of the same dimension. With master Konghua's strength, he will definitely get an important task and he must be performing some secret mission. 
you can't use your talents lightly. A person like Mr. Kong Hua must be doing something important secretly. The ninja glanced at Shan Cheng it's better to pay more attention to yourself. I don't want to see it on the commemorative monument. To your name. Each other. Shan Ma Cheng said something and continued I don't want to die here, I still want to follow Master Kong Hua and do things for him. Me too. The two looked at each other and then smiled at each other. For Lord Kong Hua. The two people looked at each other firmly and said in unison. At this time, Uchiha Shijika was following Hotaki Sakumo, quietly walking through the dense forest. Everyone was dressed in ANBU, with animal masks on their faces and hoods covering their bodies and hair, hiding in the shadows. The opponent also has a sentient ninja, Kwan Dei, so be careful and observe. Hitaki Sakumo gave an instruction, and Hayaga Sentoku nodded. Under the mask, a pair of white eyes observed the surroundings. This is already the boundary occupied by Sunagakur, and you must always be careful about the presence of enemies. Hayaga Sentoku suddenly turned his head and looked to the west. Captain, the battle has begun. Hitaki Sakumo nodded. Sunagakura and Kanaha's main force were fighting. Attention was drawn to it. The possibility of being discovered was much reduced, but it was not completely eliminated. The Sunagakura team guarding and patrolling in the rear cannot be ignored. Lord Sakumo, there is the Sunagakura team in the northwest. At this time, Uchiha Shijika suddenly made a sound, which attracted everyone's attention. After hearing this, Hinata Kwande quickly looked to the northwest. Within Miyakugan's field of vision, no one from the Sunagakura team was found. He said angrily and dissatisfied Uchiha Shijika, There is no Sunagakura team you mentioned there, please don't make a sudden noise and cause a commotion. Someone mocked it really shocked me. Are the Uchiha so confident? They dare to speak big words in front of the Hayaga clan. Uchiha Shijika didn't care about the ridicule. He looked at Hitaki Sakumo. Hitaki Sakumo was thoughtful. He had been in contact with Uchiha Shijika many times. He was not a person who made wild remarks. On the contrary, he was very stable and confident. Hitaki Sakumo took a deep look at Uchiha Shijika. Keep going. The captain spoke, this sudden episode stopped and they continued to move forward. Um. After walking a certain distance, Hayaga Sentoku suddenly stopped and made a sound. The face under the mask was in disbelief. He looked at Uchiha Shijika in surprise. Seeing Hayaga Sentoku stop, the others looked at him in confusion. He. Hitaki Sakumo thought of something and said in a deep voice Kwande, what did you find? Hinata. Kwande's throat rolled and he swallowed northwest direction, there is a Sunagakura team coming and going. The ninja who had previously mocked Uchiha Shijika was surprised and said Kwande, are you telling the truth? Hayaga Kwande nodded and affirmed it's true, the Sunagakura team did appear in the northwest. Uchiha Shijika was right. There is really a Sunagakura team there, but, Hinata Sentoku was puzzled. He didn't even see it with his Byakugan, so how did Uchiha Shijika know that the Sunagakura team existed there? Hisashi told him that Uchiha Shijika's perception ability is very strong, but is it so strong that even a white eye can surpass it? Impossible. Uchiha Shijika could feel the surprise of others. He did not explain, but looked at Hitaki Sakumo and said Sakumo Senpai, what do you say? Do you want to deal with them? Hitaki Sakumo suppressed the surprise in his heart and nodded. Said Konka, Kwande, you two are always paying attention to the situation of the Sunagakura team. Let's avoid them. Hitaki Sakumo said in a low voice our mission here needs to be quiet and secretive. They set off again. Uchiha Shijika directed Hitaki Sakumo and others to bypass the Sunagakura team. During this period, Others would look at Hayaga Sentoku after every command by Uchiha Shijika. Knowing that they wanted to confirm whether Uchiha Shijika was right, they still doubted Uchiha Shijika's perception ability. There's no way, it's beyond Byakugan's ability to perceive, 
anyone who says this will doubt it. But Hayagasento could prove that what Uchiha Shijika said was absolutely correct, every detail. Everyone looked at each other and looked at each other. The eyes looking at Uchiha Shijika were solemn, this child of the Uchiha clan was not simple. They had previously criticized Captain Sakumo for allowing Uchiha Shijika to participate in this secret mission. Now that I see this ability of perception beyond Byakugan, I understand that he is indeed Captain Sakumo. They know all too well what the existence of an excellent and powerful sentient ninja means to confidential missions. Hitaki Sakumo would be speechless if he knew what they were thinking. He only invited Uchiha Shijika because of his great strength. Hitaki Sakumo can be sure that no one in this team can defeat Uchiha Shijika except him. But, Hitaki Sakumo looked sideways, with surprise in his heart. It's an unexpected surprise to have such a strong sense of perception. Etc. At this time, Hayagakwande stopped everyone, and others looked over with doubtful eyes. Hayagakwande frowned and looked forward Captain, there is an ambush ahead. Hinata. Kwande pointed there these threads are connected to Kunao Shurikens, and some detonating symbols are also buried there. There is a puppet mechanism and some unknown liquid hidden there, it must be extremely poisonous. Hitaki Sakumo heard the words and made gestures, and everyone moved forward slowly, bypassing the place where the ambush was. When passing there, Hayaga Sentoku reminded them that they saw the undetectable threads and the hidden objects hidden in the treetops. In the blind corner, the Kunao Shuriken flashed with cold light. The detonating talisman and the puppet were not seen, but these examples were already there before, which is self-evident. They quietly avoided this place. After arriving at a safe place, they looked towards Uchiha Shijika. Didn't his perception beyond the Byakugan detect these ambushes? Before Uchiha Shijika could say anything, Hinata Kwande spoke first I think his perception is mainly the chakra reaction of the other party. Uchiha. Shijika nodded, Hayaga Sentoku was confirmed, and said clearly sure enough, it requires the two of us to work together to eliminate hidden dangers. In just two sentences, everyone present understood. Uchiha Shijika could sense the opponent's chakra reaction, but he could not see specific things like the Byakugan. Everyone looked at Uchiha Shijika and Hinata Sentoku. Think carefully. One has a very large perception range, the other can see what the enemy has done specifically, and can also see dead objects such as Kunao and Shuriken. They all came up with an idea at the same time. The abilities of these two people complement each other. Together, this might be the strongest detection technique in the ninja world. With the cooperation of the two of them, Hitaki Sakumo and others managed to avoid the Sunagakura team and avoid various ambushes and hidden arrows. They arrived at the rear of the battle between Kanaha and Sunagakura. At this point, their confidential mission finally completed the first step. I saw it, Akasha and his wife were there. There was a faint cry of killing in his ears. Hayagakwando could poked his head out. Veins appeared between his eyebrows under the mask and his eyes widened. In his field of vision, the captain of the Sunagakura force, Akaza, and his wife, were controlling the puppets. Orochimaru fights. How is it going? Hitaki Sakumo asked, and Hayaga Izumi reported the situation concisely and comprehensively. Okay, on to the next step. After Hitaki Sakumo finished speaking, Uchiha Shijika and others rushed out of the dense forest and killed Akasa and his wife. What? Captain Red Sand. Kara's expression changed. That was Kanaha's ANBU. How could it appear behind them? Her exclamation alerted Akasaka and his wife. They quickly turned around and controlled the puppets in their hands, the venom-stained Kunao shurikens. It burst out. The people in ANBU costumes scattered to avoid the Kunao Shuriken, and then fought with Akasa and his wife without any loss of strength. Seeing the unexpected situation, Raksha waved his right hand, and Huangsha pushed the enemy away. He opened it, looking anxious, and hurriedly walked towards the direction of Akasa and his wife. An ANBU broke away from the battle and appeared in front of Raksha, 
blocking his way. Get out of my way. Luo Sha controlled the yellow sand and turned it into an awl and pierced it straight away. Facing the oncoming awl, Uchiha Shichika raised his right hand high and shot out a long lightning blade. Only a few rays of light were seen passing by. The awl gathered by the yellow sand was chopped into pieces and disintegrated. Seeing this iconic lightning long blade, Luo Sha's face changed. Uchiha Shichika As if in response to Luo Sha's words, Uchiha Shichika took off his hood and pulled off his mask, revealing a clear and elegant face. Uchiha Shichika smiled at Luo Sha and said let us continue the unfinished battle. Luo Sha observed the current situation and found that it was not that critical. Akaza and his wife had a hard time resisting the siege of Orochimaru and ANBU, but in the end their lives were not in danger. Luo Sha breathed a sigh of relief in his heart, waved his hands, and the yellow sand spread, and he was greatly shouted how did you appear behind us? What is your purpose in doing this? Are you trying to sneak around the rear and assassinate Captain Red Sand? But now the assassination has failed. If you want to have a few more people, you want to change the situation of the battle, Luo Sha sneered. If you want to assassinate Captain Red Sand, then you are overthinking it. You guys are not qualified enough. People of Kanaha, you have underestimated Sunagakur. Uchiha. Shichika sighed and said with some regret yes, we failed. I didn't expect that your captain is so strong. He can still persist in the face of the siege from Lord Orochimaru and several seniors. Orochimaru made seals with his hands, bit his thumb open, and blood oozed out. He slapped the ground hard, and the cipher text spread like tadpoles. Psychic art. Bang. Huge smoke filled the air, and a giant snake as high as a small mountain rushed out. A pair of snake eyes scanned the surroundings. He looked at Orochimaru standing above it, and his voice was filled with chills. Orochimaru, have you forgotten the rules for calling me out? Where are the sacrifices? Orochimaru sneered, looking at the ant like Tsunagakur ninja below. Those are all, 10,000 snakes, let's make a big fuss. Then I won't be polite. Wan Shi plunged down with a sudden force. As huge as it was, its casual collision was like a mountain pressing down on it. Several Tsunagakur ninjas were unable to dodge, and were hit by one snake head on. They couldn't even scream, and were directly knocked down. Crushed into flesh, he died in a miserable state. Seeing this, Akisa and his wife were anxious. After escaping the attack of Akanaha Anbu, the two looked at each other, and each controlled the puppet's palms together. The next moment, Ten steel wires were pulled it out. The two control the puppet and move towards the huge snake. Exercise one mind and one body. The hard and sharp steel wire wrapped around Wan Shi, and then pulled hard. Uh huh. Wan snake screamed in pain, the steel wire was hard, and its snake body was harder than the steel wire. The harsh sound sounded, like gold and iron clashing, sparks flying out from the collision. Although the steel wire could not cut one snake's body, it could cut it. Ten thousand snakes feel pain. Damn little bugs. One snake was enraged and raised his huge body to hit Chi Sha and his wife. Chi Sha and his wife quickly avoided it, but Wan Chi's castration continued unabated and directly smashed out a big hole. Wind escape wind cut. Several Kanaha Anbu who were besieging Akasaka and his wife teamed up to use the wind release ninjutsu. The air sword tore the air apart and attacked Akasaka and his wife. Puppet Technique Machine Light Shield Akaza and his wife controlled the puppet, and Chakra surged out in large amounts, turning into a shield around them. Shishi the air knife hit the shield, and the Chakra flames were swaying, but they held up in the end. Damn little bugs! Don't move around, or let Uncle Wan Snake eat you. Wan Shi turned his head and came towards Chi Sha and his wife. How dare he let it suffer pain? If he didn't eat these two little bugs, Wan Shi's anger would not stop. Don't even think about doing anything bad to Captain Akisa. Other Sunagakur wanted to stop Wan Snake, but like a cricket shaking a tree, 
Wan Snake didn't care. Their attacks on its body were no different from scratching it. On the contrary, Wan Snake could cause massive casualties by stretching its body at will. Wind release, Great Scythe Weasel. Jiaruo waved his three-star fan, and the fierce hurricane roared away, and Wan Shi's body shook. The blowing makes me feel so comfortable. It's not enough. Try harder. Wan Shi laughed sarcastically, and Garuro looked solemn, waving her three-star fan repeatedly, and her psychic beast Kama Weasel kept shuttling back and forth. But none of them could stop Wan Shi's progress. Garuro pursed her lips and looked in the direction of Luo Sha. If anyone can stop ten thousand snakes, it is only Raza, the disciple of the third Kazakage. Raza is also very anxious, but he can't get away. Uchiha Shijika's body is wrapped with thunder and lightning, and his speed is as fast as the wind and lightning, astonishingly fast. Raza every time when he made a move to stop Wan Shi, Uchiha Shijika followed him like a shadow and appeared in front of Raza to interrupt his movements. Listening to the screams of Sunagakur's companions, Raza was angry and anxious. Asshole. Luo. Sha cursed angrily that snake attacks indiscriminately. It's not just us Sunagakur who suffer the worst, but you Kanaha as well. You are so cold-blooded and ruthless, you don't even care about the lives of the villagers. Uchiha Shijika sneered do you want to take a closer look? The ten thousand snakes can't even command Orochimaru, let alone have awareness of friend and foe. Its appearance will naturally cause indiscriminate attacks. They were prepared for it. After hearing Uchiha Shijika's words, Luo Sha took a closer look, and then discovered the same the Kanaha ninja who was hit by the collision were surrounded by, a white soft worm? I, I'm fine. A Kanaha ninja felt a little dizzy. He stood up and looked at the slug on his body in surprise. The slug made a soft voice don't worry, I will protect everyone. Behind Kanaha, Tsunade held seals with both hands and output a large amount of chakra. The psychic beast slugs continued to split and scatter, protecting the Kanaha ninjas present. It consumes a lot of chakra. Tsunade gritted her teeth, refined the chakra in her body with all her strength and released it all without leaving any trace behind. I can hold on for a while, damn, that stinky snake. Tsunade glanced at ten thousand snakes bitterly. This smelly snake was even more mischievous than she imagined. At this time when a large amount of chakra was consumed, Tsunade suddenly remembered a family secret technique, which was suitable for dealing with this situation. Go back and practice Yin Seal when you go back. The Shadenla of the Senjo clan couldn't withstand the long-term consumption. Raza was dumbfounded. Only Sunagakur's injured world had been achieved. Wow! Raza's eyes were dazzled, Uchiha Shijika's bewitching Sharingan the eyes came into view. She secretly said something bad, Luo Sha came back to her senses, and her body subconsciously moved to avoid it. Uh-huh! Luo Sha jumped back, distanced himself his face twisted, and he endured the pain and looked at his right arm. The blood soaked his robe. He wanted to lift his right arm, but he could move it, but when he moved, he felt a heart-breaking pain. Luo Sha was dripping with cold sweat. Uchiha Shijika held a thunderbolt in his right hand with a kind smile on his face. You are so underestimated, you are so distracted while fighting me. Luo Sha's eyes moved and he waved his left hand, and a streak of yellow sand passed in front of him. Bang! The thousand birds collided with the yellow sand curtain, causing the yellow sand to collapse and splash. Oh! Uchiha Shijika was surprised. There were gold particles in the yellow sand. Seeing the existence of sand gold, Uchiha Shijika smiled with satisfaction. This is the Luo Sha he is familiar with playing with placer gold. Ha! Huh. Placer Gold Realm Method! Luo Sha shouted coldly, and the Placer Gold exploded, turning into spears and piercing everything around. Uchiha Shijika quickly wanted to jump away, but found that his left foot was caught by the yellow sand wrapped with Placer Gold. Uchiha Shijika Hua's pupils tightened, when? She 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 she! 
Uchihashijika's body was twisted and pierced by one placer gold spear after another. One of the placer gold spears even penetrated the head directly through the Sharingan. Lord Konghua! Konghua! Everyone who paid attention to Uchihashijika exclaimed. Uchihamikato screamed in disbelief. Something broke in her heart, and a special energy swirled in her eyes. A pair of Megatama Sharingan appeared in Uchihamikato's eyes. In her eyes. But Uchihamikato didn't want to care about any new power. Her eye circles were red, tears welled up, and her body was shaking. Konghua, died? Such a sudden change left the girl reeling. Mikato. Hinata hit the eight trigrams air palm to repel the enemy, and quickly came to Uchihamikato's side. Nothing will happen to Konghua, you have to believe in his strength. Everything in front of me is fake. After hearing Hinata Hisashi's words, Uchihamikato came back to her senses and her heart palpitations were reduced. Only then did he realize that his body was weak. Uchihamikato collapsed and sat on the ground like a duck. Bagwa empty palm. Hayaka Hisashi waved a palm and directly knocked away the approaching Sunagakur ninja. He turned around and roared. Mikato, cheer up, this is a battlefield, there is no time for you to relax. Yes. Uchiha Mikato stood up quickly. Although her body was still a little weak, fortunately she had calmed down. Concern leads to chaos. How could something happen to Konghua? He is a genius and has great strength. She also listens to that Luo Shan Aoki and the others had said that they could only escape, so there was no match for Shijika. The more he thought about it, the more it made sense. Uchihamikato breathed a long sigh of relief, and then realized that the world in front of her had become unusual. Clearer and more thorough, the enemy's movements also slowed down a lot in her eyes. In this case, Uchihamikato ducked down and easily avoided the enemy's attack. She took out a kunao from the ninja tool bag behind her and sent it forward. A few drops of blood splashed onto her face, and the Sunagakur ninja twitched a few times and became silent. Uchihamikato confirmed that Shijika was absolutely fine. The improvement that the ability of having only one Megatama Sharingan brings to her is huge, let alone Shijika who has three Megatama Sharingan. Really, a false alarm. Uchihamikato wiped away her tears. In her sight, crows were flying. Hinata Hisashi slightly curved the corners of his mouth and murmured to himself those who are destined will not have trouble here. Only then did his hanging heart fall to the ground. Raza is not Uchihamikato, nor is she an arrogant person. He had fought against Uchiha Shijika and knew how difficult the opponent was. The placer gold boundary technique stabbed the opponent to the core making him look miserable and difficult to look at directly. Luo Xia watched silently with a cold face. Sure enough, the next moment, Uchiha Shijika's whole pricked face and mouth suddenly moved. He suddenly regretted I really can't fool you. Quack! Uchiha Shijika's figure collapsed into a few crows and flew away. Luo Xia waved the yellow sand wrapped in place or gold to surround himself. Shield of Sand then, the surrounding yellow sand gathered in the air, and a realistic eyeball appeared. The eyeballs feed back the situation around the sand shield to Luo Sha inside the sand shield. No, where did Uchiha Shijika go? Luo Sha frowned. Here it is. Luo Sha's pupil shrank, the voice was very close, so close. Could it be? There was darkness in the sand shield, Luo Sha's eyes scanned the inner sand wall. Bang! A grain of sand turned into Uchiha Shijika, he smiled he stretched out his right hand to grab Luo Sha's neck and pressed him against the sand wall. Wow! Rosa suddenly felt a strong force coming from her neck, her throat was damaged, and she coughed out a trace of blood. Uchiha Shijika didn't stop attacking, bent his right leg, and rushed forward with a knee. Poof! Rosa reacted quickly and hurriedly yellow sand gathered in front of him to block Uchiha Shijika's knees. The next second, Luo Sha waved his hands, and the sand walls inside the sand shield shook, 
and spears containing place or gold stabbed down. Uchiha Shijika saw this. Shatara burst out suddenly, completing the change in the nature of the thunder attribute chakra in an instant. Thunder and lightning surrounded his body, and the light illuminated the inside of the sand shield. The spears were shattered by lightning one after another. Even if it was mixed with sand gold to increase the density, can't compete with Uchiha Shijika's thunder and lightning. My thunder escape concentration is higher than yours. Uchiha Shijika's hair stood on end due to the lightning, and a pair of blood-red Sharingan eyes stared at Raza. This situation is like a god coming down to earth and killing the evil creature on the spot. Send you back to the west. Uchiha Shijika opened his left hand, and a blue ball of chakra floated up. Luasha's pupil shrank, and his face turned ugly. Muji Ninjutsu? Uchiha Shijika raised his hand and patted it. Raise Nan. See that? A ball of high concentration chakra was about to be shot. Luo Sha pursed her lips and her face was twisted. Ha! Luo! Sha shouted low, and the gourd on his waist spurted out a large amount of yellow sand, breaking through the sand shield in an instant. The yellow sand roared into the sky and spread in all directions. The sudden burst of yellow sand caught everyone present off guard and they did not react. Was buried by the yellow sand. Ahem! Uchiha Mikato poked her head out of the sand, coughed a few times, and coughed out the sand that entered her mouth. Hinata Hizashi, with messy long hair, stood up from the yellow sand and looked at the center of the sand with a pair of white eyes. Uchiha Shijika held it in his hands. The rays Nan stopped in front of Luo Sha. A streak of blood overflowed from the corner of Luo Sha's mouth, and the smell of burning flesh came from his neck. It was caused by the thunder and lightning that filled Uchiha Shijika's body. His eyes were fierce and he looked at he glanced at the rays Nan in front of him, and then looked at Uchiha Shijika. Raza said it seems you understand why I did this. Uchiha Shijika said coldly this large area of sand has encompassed the ninjas of Kanaha and Sunagakur nearby. I know you have a trick to crush people to death with sand, but... Uchiha Shijika slowly said the larger the range, the lower the control accuracy. You are hesitant to take action now because you cannot distinguish between ourselves and the enemy, and you are afraid that this move will hurt the Sunagakur ninja. Completely correct. Luo Sha spread out his left hand and said, As long as I make this hand into a fist, all the people surrounded by the yellow sand will be crushed to death by me. You want to stay alive? Uchiha Shijika said lightly. Luo Sha sneered as a ninja of Sunagakur, How can you be a piece of garbage that wag its tail and beg for mercy from the enemy? If I am restrained by you, I will inevitably die. Before I die, let me make my final contribution to Sunagakur. Bang! Luo Sha clenched his left hand into a fist. Uchiha Shijika looked at Luo Sha indifferently. What he said was very righteous, but his approach was completely different. The yellow sand under Uchiha Shijika's feet was controlled and turned into a long the spear thrust towards him. Yellow sand was flying all over the sky. A cube and a triangular pyramid were instantly formed and fell from the air. At the same time, the yellow sand behind Uchiha Shijika was set off like a tsunami, grabbing at Uchiha Shijika. You are wrong. Uchiha Shijika. I want to see how long your chakra can sustain your discharge. If you want to break free from the shackles of Uchiha Jug, why do you need to use such extreme measures? Uchiha Jug guessed part of it right. His control accuracy is indeed a bit worse. If he uses sandstorm burial, he may not be able to distinguish between friend and foe. The Kanaha ninja suffered heavy casualties, and so did their Sunagakur. He loved Sunagakur, and of course he would not choose to do this. The previous words were just a cover to give him some time to refine chakra. Raza smiled sarcastically, Uchiha Konghua fell into the trap. I really thought he was someone who would risk everything to survive. Let me go, dodge the attack, and drown in the sand. Faced with attacks from all directions, Uchiha Shijika remains calm in the face of danger. How long can it be discharged? Oh, 
it's much longer than you think. He is a man who possesses chakra. This amount of chakra can only be consumed so much. But... Uchihashijika loosened his hand holding Luasha's neck. Boom! Huge smoke burst out, and snakes as big as hills disappeared in the battlefield. Akasaka and his wife were breathing heavily and looked tired. The man of the Akasha couple said after consuming all our puppets, we finally beat back the snake. He felt a little sorry for the puppets they had cultivated all this time. Each one was worth a lot of money and they had spent all their efforts on it. It is impossible to make up for the loss in a short time. The woman in the Akasha couple looked at the broken puppets on the ground, her heart twitched and she felt pain. She had no choice but to see the situation on the battlefield. Sunagakur and their team suffered heavy losses in this battle. Let's withdraw. The man nodded, and the next moment, waving his hands, Akanaha Anbu suddenly moved, raised the sharp blade in his hand to kill his companion. Bang! Fortunately, his companion reacted in time and blocked the attack at the critical moment. Hinata Kwande be careful, he is controlled by the enemy. The woman followed suit and her chakra line instantly connected to a Kanaha ninja who was heading towards Hayaga Kwande to kill him. Damn it! Hayaga Sento could block the attack from his companions, and the chakra blade in his hand slashed at the chakra line he observed with his white eyes. The sword and the line collided, and there was a sound of gold and iron. Akaza and his wife looked sarcastic. You can't stop cutting our chakra lines. Puppet-wielding ninjas have a well-known weakness. Chakra lines are fragile and easy to cut. But this does not include top puppet wielders like the Akasaka couple. They have condensed high-density chakra lines based on their weaknesses. It is as strong as steel and cannot be cut off easily. Latent Shadow Snake Hand Orochimaru waved his right hand, and a snake came out of his sleeve, opened its fangs, and savagely attacked the Akaza couple with its eyes. The Akaza couple did not panic. They once again controlled Akanaha Ninja to block the attack. In front of Shekau. If you can, just leave your companions alone. Orochimaru narrowed his eyes slightly, a pair of snake eyes showing dissatisfaction. He controlled the snake to avoid the Kanaha Ninja in the bad road, and the snake's mouth directly pierced the ground and ate dirt. Akasaka and his wife controlled Kanaha's ninjas to come and beat their own people. Orochimaru and the others were quite aggrieved and threw themselves into a trap. Akaza and his wife fought and retreated, and at the same time made a secret gesture to Garura. Seeing this, Garura took a deep breath, took out a flare from his ninja bag, and shot it into the sky. When the Sunagakur ninjas who were fighting Kanaha saw this, they glanced at Kanaha hatefully, and then looked at the faces of their Sunagakur companions who didn't know whether they were alive or dead. We retreat. With a cry, the Sunagakur ninjas turned around and retreated. Don't run. Let's chase. When Naoki saw the enemy trying to escape, he immediately pursued him. However, the experience of almost stepping on the detonating talisman was engraved in his mind. He secretly glanced at Kanaha's companions and saw that they were all chasing him. After waiting for a while, Orakai was not seen. Teacher Maru gave the order, and Naoki felt confident that he could follow his companions to hunt down Sunagakur. Wind release comma weasel. Kuruo slapped the pursuers away with a slap. Seeing that Raza was still confronting Uchiha Shijika, he quickly shouted Raza, we are retreating. After waiting for a while, no movement was seen from Raza, and Uchiha Shijika opposite him was also fixed there. The surrounding yellow sand mixed with gold was condensed into a cube, and the triangular pyramid hung motionless in the air. He faced Uchiha Shijika. The caught sand also solidified. Geruruo felt uneasy. Something was wrong. Luasha. The next second, Geruruo's pupils tightened, with a look of horror on his face. Luasha. Uchiha Shijika moved and slowly walked towards Raza. He formed the ninja seal with his hands, raised his right hand high, and radiated condensed thunder and lightning. Uchiha Shijika looked at Luo Sha, 
who looked stupid in front of him, with a gloomy expression and an incomprehensible expression. Speaking of which, this was the first prominent character in the original work that he killed after coming to this world. There is no melancholy emotion. In the final analysis, he is just his enemy. Uchiha Shijika stabbed Raza's chest with his right hand. The severe pain awakened Luo Sha's consciousness, his face twisted, and he spit out a lot of blood. Cold sweat fell from his brows, and Luo Sha looked at his chest in disbelief. The blood flowed uncontrollably, and the severe pain stimulated his nerves. Luo Sha's face was miserable, and her eyes were wide open, staring at Uchiha Shijika's cold eyes. That monstrous scarlet Sharingan. I obviously, prepared many means to prevent your Sharingan. Uchiha Shijika replied calmly your preparations are of no use, you don't understand the Sharingan. Raza was silent. He really didn't understand the Sharingan. It turned out that all the precautions he had taken were in vain. He finally got the idea and fell into an illusion. Thinking back to the experience just now, he was impaled by a huge iron nail that suddenly appeared, and his body could not move freely. The nails were getting tighter and tighter, causing him to break out in cold sweat and causing extreme pain. He gritted his teeth and groaned until a huge pain came, causing him to break free from the huge nail and shattering the world of illusion. The world has returned to reality, but reality is not beautiful. Luo Xia laughed miserably and couldn't help but cough up blood and even bits of flesh and tissue. What's that illusion called? Life is disappearing, Luo Xia asked one last time. The beauty of Uchiha Shijika's adult gave him the final answer in this life magic Shao Lang technique. Uchiha Shijika suddenly changed his expression and glanced at Luo Xia. Save it, your chakra meridian system has been destroyed by me, your cells have been burned by lightning and you want to make a last struggle before death. Wishful thinking. Uchiha. Shijika came closer. He whispered into Raza's ear if it weren't for me, you would be the fourth Kazakage of Sunagakur. Rosasa was tired and wanted to fall asleep. When he heard Uchiha Shijika's voice, doubts arose in his heart. What is this? Victor's mercy? What a bad taste, Uchiha Shijika. But I think of Kazakage, Luo Xia looked regretful that his dream could not be fulfilled. However, your Feng Ying is not doing well, the village is getting weaker and weaker, and he has become enemies with his children. Uchiha Shijika chuckled so I'm here to solve your troubles in advance. Uchiha Shijika. Luo Xia glared at him you are insulting me. Why does it mean that he, Kazakage, is not doing a good job? Why is the village getting weaker and weaker under his watch? Why should he be at odds with his children? Of course he doesn't know the meaning of Uchiha Shijika's words. He only thinks that he is making up stories before he dies. Luo Xia was insulted before. He dreamed of becoming the Kazakage, so he naturally had ambitions to develop the village. Luo Xia was so angry that he was shaking all over. This was denying his dream. It also denied his ability. Seeing Luo Xia with an angry look, Uchiha Shijika blinked innocently. Tisk the Chidori lightning in Uchiha Shijika's hand swelled instantly. Ahem. Luo Xia's body was so weak that he wanted to raise his head and look at Uchiha Shijika, but his eyelids were as heavy as a thousand pounds and the light in his eyes was quickly dissipating. Boom. Luo Xia fell to the ground, her eyes dull and her consciousness dissipated. Uchiha Shijika waved away the lightning in his hand, and the yellow sand behind him lost its owner and collapsed. What I said is all the truth. Lord Luo Xia. Luo Xia. The death of Raza caused everyone in Sunagakur to be horrified. Raza was the youngest jonin in Sunagakur and a disciple of the third Kazakage. He learned the secret technique of magnetic escape from the third Kazakage. Many people in Sunagakur admired Raza but, they looked at Luo Xia, who was lying lifeless on the ground, dumbfounded, seemingly unable to react. That genius of Sunagakur, Lord Raza, die, die. Luo Xia. Carol looked at Uchiha Shijika with a look of hatred, and tightly grasped the three-star fan in her hand. 
Her head was confused, and her body started to act without authorization. She wanted to avenge Raza. Elder Sister Yashimaru looked shocked and quickly stopped his sister Cora. Open. Yashimaru, I want to avenge Luo Shat. Kara struggled, but Yashimaru held on tightly. We can't beat Uchiha Shijika. Raza died in the opponent's hands, and judging from Uchiha Shijika's condition, it was obvious that he still had some strength left. If Uchiha Shijika could kill Raza, he could kill his sister Cora. Yashimaru was trembling with fear. You must not let your sister rush forward and give it to you for nothing. Yashimaru stopped Geruru, but he could not stop other Sunagakur ninjas who wanted to avenge Raza. Dama Uchiha. I want to avenge Master Luo Sha. A Sunagakur roared, controlling the puppet in his hand, and stabbed straight at him with a poison-coated sword blade. Uchiha Shijika looked at him indifferently. Magical Shaolin Technique Well, the Sunagakur ninja was immediately nailed to the spot by several huge nails. The nails became tighter and tighter, making him cry out in pain. In the outside world, Uchiha Shijika strolled up to the stunned Sunagakur ninja, and stabbed a kunao directly into the opponent's neck with his backhand. Blood spurted out, and the Sunagakur ninja came back to his senses due to the severe pain. He covered his neck in shock, trying to stop the flowing blood. He wanted to say something, but no sound came out. In the end, the Sunagakur ninja was so weak that he fell to the ground, his head tilted, and he died. Seeing the death of their companions, the Sunagakur ninjas became even more angry and joined forces to kill Uchiha Shijika. Uchiha Jukka San Magadamas Sharingan can see the movements of the Sunagakur ninja. Thunder and lightning surrounded his body, and Uchiha Shijika turned into lightning and shuttled between them. Puff 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 for a moment, several people looked frightened, and bloodshot eyes overflowed from the corners of their mouths. Then they fell one after another. Kong Hua, we are here to help you. Uchiha Mikato, Hinata Hizashi and other Kanaha ninjas came to help. Lord Kong Hua, leave it to us. Sama Makoto volunteered and fought with a Sunagakur ninja who came towards Uchiha Shijika. Uchiha Shijika nodded leave it to you. Hearing Uchiha Shijika's words, Yamama Makoto and others were excited and fought harder, beating the Sunagakur ninjas back steadily. What are you still doing there? Everyone, retreat. The angry shouts of Akaza and his wife came. Naturally, they saw Raza die and were shocked in their hearts. They looked at Uchiha Shijika with hatred in their eyes. The disciples of the third Kazakage died here. Akaza and his wife looked ugly. They were going to go through a lot of twists and turns when they returned. The third Kazakage's questioning was indispensable. Yashimaru, take your sister and retreat as soon as possible. Our Sunagakur suffered heavy losses this time. Don't be reluctant to fight, leave as soon as possible. Raza is dead, and the loss of Sunagakur's vitality from him is not worth the loss. If they don't retreat quickly and fight here, I'm afraid they won't be able to do well. Yashimaru gritted his teeth and glanced at his sister Garura apologetically. I'm sorry, sister. Yashimaru raised his palm, wanting to knock Garura unconscious and take him away. But Garura grabbed his palm. Under his surprised gaze, Garura restrained her sadness. She took one last look and fell to the ground. The sand on the ground, wipe away the tears. Let's go. Yes, sister. Yashimaru shouted to everyone in Sunagakur we will talk about revenge later. The most important thing for us now is to retreat first. However, Lord Luo Shat. Some people didn't want to leave and looked hatefully at Uchiha Shijika behind the Kanaha ninjas. Yashimaru frowned then you can stay. After the words fell, Yashimaru and Garura followed the Akaza couple's team to evacuate. The remaining Sunagakur ninjas looked at each other in shock. Even if someone left, only the Sunagakur ninja who was loyal to Raza remained. However, a few people were naturally no match for the Kanaha ninjas. Soon, 
these diehards followed Luo Xia on the road. Kong Hua, what should I say? Naoki asked, and other Kanaha ninjas looked at Uchiha Shijika, waiting for his words. Faintly, they all respected Uchiha Shijika. Even though Uchiha Shijika was a child, his strength impressed everyone. They naturally knew who Raza was. They were honored and very proud to be able to kill the third generation Kazakage disciple. There were Jounin among the Kanaha ninjas, and they did not dare to underestimate Uchiha Shijika. It was undeniable that Luo Suna is powerful, so Uchiha Shijika who can kill Raza is a more powerful person. He deserves their attention. Lord Kong Hua, please give the order. Yamama Makoto looked at Uchiha Shijika with feverish eyes. Uchiha Shijika glanced at them, then nodded and said follow me, let's go after Sunagakur. Yes. Everyone shouted yes. Orochimaru had no intention of pursuing the enemy this time. He led the crowd into the dense forest and chased the retreating Sunagakur. Kisha and his wife looked surprised. They actually gave chase. This is the place occupied by Sunagakur. They have laid out a lot of traps and ambushes early on. The man of the Akisa couple sneered let them chase them. Come on, let's go towards the trap set up. Since they dare to chase after them, ignore the traps and ambush they set up. They Sunagakur suffered heavy losses, but they are not without the ability to fight. Perhaps, with the help of these traps, they can wait for the opportunity and fight back. They can't annihilate Kanaha. It's possible, but they also have to suffer heavy losses. Thinking like this, Akaza and his wife looked at each other and started to move in the direction of setting up traps. Just as they were changing direction, a little cold light arrived first, like a bolt of lightning pierced the sky. Before the Akasaka couple could react, they suddenly felt a pain in their necks, and then a warm feeling suddenly came. The Akasaka couple had experienced hundreds of battles, and this feeling. Feeling uneasy in their hearts, they touched their necks, their bodies couldn't help but tremble, and they looked at their palms. Dazzling red fills their eyes. Ho ho, yes, who is it? Akaza and his wife looked at the man dressed in ANBU. The man seemed not to shy away from his identity. The hood was lifted, dazzling silver hair was flying, and the mask was lifted with his broad palm, revealing a familiar face. The pupils of Akasa and his wife tightened. Sakumo Hitaki, the commander-in-chief of the Kanaha Ninja Force. How could he appear here? Chakra is the combination of physical energy and spiritual energy, and is closely related to physical strength. Akasha and his wife faced the siege of Orochimaru and Kanaha Anbu. In addition, they fed all the puppets they had devoted their efforts to cultivating to Wan Shi. After a big battle, a lot of chakra was consumed, and he was already exhausted. It was at a time when the two of them were weak and their reflexes had declined. Hitaki Sakumo hit the target with one strike, and the white fang dagger was like lightning, wiping the necks of Akaza and his wife like a gust of wind. Kisha and his wife had their livers and gallbladders broken, covering their necks where blood was pouring with horror on their faces. Hitaki Sakumo, why is he here? Shouldn't he be dealing with Sancho Hanzo on the northern battlefield? With such an important person coming here, are all the intelligence agencies doing nothing? Why was there no trace of Hitaki Sakumo? All kinds of questions filled the hearts of Akasaka and his wife, until they suddenly thought of the Kanaha Anbu who jumped out of the dense forest and besieged them. As if being hit by electricity, their bodies trembled, thinking of something. This is Kanaha's real plan. They've fallen into a trap. The sudden attack and siege by Kanaha Anbu was just a cover, they were just here to consume the two people's physical strength. The real killer move is Hitaki Sakumo lurking on their retreat route. Boom. It's too late to figure out the big picture now. The two of them were so weak that they fell to the ground, their eyes dull, staring at Hitaki Sakumo. There was still fear on their faces, and they died with eyes closed and hatred. It's all too late. At this time, everyone in Sunagakur finally reacted. Faced with this sudden situation, 
they looked at Akisa and his wife who fell to the ground. A chill rose from the solace of my feet and surged throughout my body, like falling into an ice cave. Red, red sand, team leader. Everyone in Tsunagakura was dumbfounded. The one who fell on the ground was, Captain Akisa, right? No joke? The two of them, died? Real or fake? The Tsunagakura ninja was confused, but Hataki Sakamo was not. Thunder and lightning surged on White Fang's dagger, Hataki Sakamo's figure flashed, and he appeared in front of a Tsunagakura ninja in an instant, slashing him with his sword. Ah! Blood spurted out, and the Tsunagakura ninja suddenly felt severe pain and screamed. Hataki Sakamo casually attached a detonating talisman to him and thrust it into the Tsunagakura crowd with one kick. Bang! There was a roar, the surging fire flickered in the sky, and screams could not be heard. The Tsunagakura ninja was blown to pieces, and the broken limbs and arms flew around. One of the arms flew to Garura's feet, which woke Garura up. She hurriedly shouted a cry run, let's run. Kara doesn't want to stay and fight Hataki Sakamo at all. As an enemy, Tsunagakura is naturally aware of Hataki Sakamo's reputation. He is powerful and can compete with the shadows. They, the defeated generals, want to kill Hataki. Sakamo is nothing more than a fool's dream. What's more? Geruruo looked behind him anxiously. Kanaha's ninjas are catching up. Jiaruo gritted his teeth, his eyes were red, and he couldn't control the tears flowing down. They, Tsunagakur, suffered heavy losses today and were greatly weakened. The third Kazakage's disciple, Jonan Raza, died. The son and daughter-in-law of Elder Cho, the elite Jonan in the village, and the captain of their Tsunagakur unit this time, Akaza, and his wife, died. Losing three important people at once is definitely an unbearable burden for Tsunagakur. Let's go, don't fight, let's go. Yashimaru yelled, and the Tsunagakura ninjas beside him also passed on the orders of Gura and Yashimaru. Raza is dead, and Akaza and his wife are dead. Gura and Yashimaru are not the highest level among the Tsunagakura ninjas. But their status was very high, and their words had a certain weight. Tsunagakura listened to their words, but the anger in everyone's hearts overcame their rationality. They were determined to avenge Captain Akasa. Hateful. When Yashimaru saw this, he punched the trees next to him with hatred. He watched Hataki Sakamo move through the Tsunagakura ninja like lightning, unparalleled. They. Tsunagakura companions were harvested quickly like leeks. Yashimaru his hands and feet were cold, and his heart was weak. That man, Sakamo Hataki, was too strong. His speed was so fast that Yashimaru couldn't see clearly. He couldn't even see clearly, let alone be able to fight against him. Sister, let's go. Yashimaru and Guru ignored the angry Tsunagakura ninjas. If they stay, they can stay. Cruelly speaking, it can also buy them time to evacuate. Garamaru and Yashimaru left with sad faces, and there was a message behind them. There were bursts of screams and painful sounds from my companions. Captain. Sakamo Senpai. Uchiha Shijika and others chased after him, and at a glance they saw Hataki Sakamo standing there holding a white fang dagger, surrounded by corpses. The Kanaha ninjas looked at each other, a little surprised. Why did the commander in chief appear here? Yamama Makoto and others vaguely guessed something, and they all looked at Uchiha Shijika. The secret mission that Mr. Shijika sama secretly carries out must be related to Mr. Sakamo. Being able to work with that Hataki Sakumo. Yamama Makoto and others looked in admiration, he was indeed Lord Konghua. Hataki Sakumo shook off the blood on White Fang and then sheathed the sword. He turned around, his face was no longer as solemn as before, and a gentle smile hung on his face. Hello, everyone. Orochimaru walked up, looking into the depths of the dense forest with a pair of snake eyes. Want to catch up? Sakamo-senpai. 
Hitaki Sakamo shook his head and said with a smile this time I can say don't chase the poor bandits. The pressure is too tight, so Nagakura really has to put all his efforts into it, and it will be difficult to deal with the situation. I don't want everyone in Kanaha to be hurt again. Hitaki Sakamo came to the bodies of Akaza and his wife and said our goal has been achieved and the leader has been eliminated. Give Sunagakur some time to think. Without their backbone, the remaining Sunagakur ninjas are just a pile of loose sand, which will fall apart as soon as they collapse. Give Sunagakur time to spread anxiety, and when Kanaha launches a general attack and use the strong against the weak, they will be more inclined to retreat and escape. This once you retreat, you must exit the country of fire. Hitaki Sakuma ordered clean the battlefield and rest for a day. The day after tomorrow, we Kanaha will launch a general offensive and drive out Sunagakura from the land of fire. Hearing this, the Kanaha ninjas were in high spirits and responded loudly. Yes. As Hitaki Sakumo said. The Sunagakura ninjas returned to the camp and after escaping from the life and death crisis, their inner anxiety continued to spread. Everyone in the Sunagakura ninja is in danger. Master Luo Sha died, Kisha and his wife died, and a large number of companions died. What are they still doing here? Even if there are Sunagakura ninjas who request to retreat and leave the country of fire. When a Sunagakura Jounin saw this request, he immediately slapped the other person in anger. Bastard, how can we, Sunagakur, have such a coward like you? Looking around with angry eyes, the Sunagakur ninjas lowered their heads in shame. This is the place we finally occupied. If we just retreat and spit it out, I will be the first one not to agree. Yakshamaru looked melancholy. Hearing Sunagakur's words, his brows furrowed. Midorima Jounin our Sunagakura suffered heavy casualties this time. Captains Raza and Akaza. Yashimaru sighed and said in a low voice we don't have enough strength now and can't compete with Kanaha at all. Midorima Jounin, let me remind you, you know Hitaki Sakamo's strength, we have no chance of winning. Of course the Jounin named Midorima understood the huge disparity in power between the enemy and ourselves. He said bitterly as long as we hold on for a while longer, we will wait for the reinforcements from Elder Cho to arrive. Elder Kunio will definitely not sit idly by and ignore the death of the two captains. She will definitely visit the battlefield here in person. As long as Elder Cho arrives, we will definitely get better. Another Sunagakura Jounin who didn't want to retreat nodded in agreement. Yes, we will win once the reinforcements arrive. Midorima Jounin's words were recognized by other Sunagakura ninjas. Even the Sunagakura ninja who was frightened and wanted to retreat was a little hesitant. Maybe they can still persist? As long as Elder Kiande leads the reinforcements and arrives quickly, they will still have the confidence to continue fighting. Seeing that everyone in the audience was agitated, Garura sighed and said, The question now is, will Kanaha give us time to persevere? As soon as these words came out, the noisy environment suddenly became solemn and quiet. Midorima Jounin, it's better not to have unrealistic illusions. Kora said quietly you have to think about Sunagakur, you have to think about everyone here, Midorima Jounin, please think carefully. Yashimaru said angrily you think too well of Kanaha. We are so weak now. There is no way Kanaha doesn't want to take advantage of the situation and annihilate us in one fell swoop. Can we receive reinforcements if we hold on firmly? Yashimaru shook his head and looked mockingly. It's shameful to escape, but it is very useful for the current Sunagakur. This look made Midorima Jounin feel depressed. He wanted to say something to refute, but he could only spit out nonsense. Only, as long as you hold your position there will definitely be a way. The voice became lower and lower. Midorima Jounin knew clearly that if he stayed here any longer, Sunagakura's entire army would be annihilated. But, but... Jounin Midorima clenched his fists, his face full of reluctance. They invaded the land of fire and marched forward triumphantly, occupying a piece of fertile land that Sunagakura had always dreamed of. 
Are we going to retreat in despair and spit out the fertile land? There must be a way. Jonan Midorima pursed his lips and kept thinking, but he couldn't come up with any effective solution. The place suddenly became silent, and everyone's breathing became clear. Either sadness, hatred, or melancholy. Jiaruo rubbed his eyes. He cried so much that his eyes were swollen. Luo Sha. Cora was sad in her heart, thinking about every bit of time she had spent together. The experience of getting along with Raza now echoed in her mind, becoming more profound and unforgettable. Turn out to be, I like Luo Sha. It was only at this moment that Geruruo realized what was in her heart, but this made her even more sad. Luo Sha, he is dead. This feeling can be remembered later, but it was already at a loss. Garura covered his face helplessly, and the memory of Raza disappeared in his mind, leaving only the pair of monstrous scarlet Sharingan eyes. Uchiha It was such an unforgettable hatred that Garuruo bit his lips so hard that he didn't even know it was bleeding. I must, I will definitely kill you to avenge Luo Sha. Wow! At this moment, the sound of the door curtain opening awakened everyone in the camp from their thoughts. They looked at the person together. The Sunagakura ninja was panting and did not bother to regulate his breathing. He quickly reported the intelligence team has received news that Kanaha plans to rest for a day and will launch a general attack on us the day after tomorrow. General attack. The faces of everyone in Sunagakura were ugly. The last thing they want to hear now is the news of Kanaha's general attack. Yashimaru observed the pale faces of everyone, and he stood up with a heavy face. Everyone, our illusions are broken. Kanaha will not give us a chance to persist. In such a short time, we simply cannot wait for reinforcements. Yashimaru looked at the Sunagakura ninja who reported. Is the news absolutely true? The Sunagakura ninja took a deep breath and nodded solemnly it's absolutely true, everyone in Kanaha knows the order Hitaki Sakamo gave on the spot. Yakshamaru raised his head and sighed. Retreat. No one opposed him this time. Midorima Jonan walked out I will inform everyone. Yashimaru nodded as soon as possible, when we are ready, notify the patrol people and we will evacuate quickly. Midorima Jonan nodded and left. Sure enough, they evacuated. Hitaki Sakumo listened to the report of Kanaha's intelligence team and smiled gently expel Sunagakura from the land of fire, the mission is completed. He issued the order for the general attack the day after tomorrow in public, not only for Kanaha, but also for Sunagakura. The effect was outstanding. Just one day later, Sunagakura evacuated. After Hitaki Sakumo finished speaking, everyone present by chance, their faces showed joy. Hehe, <laughs> now only Yugakure is left. Naoki was in high spirits. As long as he solves Yugakure, the war will be over. Tsunade knocked Naoki on the head, ignoring Naoki's glare at her, and said Agyakura is not that easy to deal with, no. We must not act rashly to crack the poison of Sancho Hanzo. We can defeat Tsunagakura because their poison can be broken by you and me. Without the help of the poison, Tsunagakura is like a tiger with its teeth pulled out, and can only compete with us for strength. And Kanaha is completely worthy of their strength. After all, they are the number one ninja village in the ninja world. They have this confidence. Sakumo Senpai, what should you do next? Uchiha Shijika looked at Hitaki Sakumo. Hitaki Sakumo looked at everyone present and said slowly next, the position will be advanced to the border. I will stay here to deal with the wrath of Sunagakurcho. Killing her son and daughter-in-law, Cho will definitely come here in anger. Hitaki Sakumo can better draw Chiyo's hatred by staying here. The bodies of Raza and Akasaka were left behind, and the ANBU came here to conduct autopsies, which would be of great use to me. Each ninja village trains ninjas in different ways, which results in deep marks on the ninjas of the ninja village they belong to. Through these marks, ANBU who are proficient in autopsies can obtain a lot of information about the enemy. The more important the person, the more important they are. So, 
Originally, the bodies of Raza and Akaza were planned to be transported back to the village for detailed examination. But now that Hataki Sakumo is of great use, they have no choice but to force the ANBU ninja who did the autopsy to come here. I will report this matter to the Hokage-sama. It is beneficial to the war. I think the Hokage-sama will not refuse my request. Everyone looked at each other and then nodded. Tsunade and Orochimaru also came forward to make a joint report. With the three of them signing, the request to leave the remains of Raza and Akasaka will definitely be approved. Tsunagakura's withdrawal from the fire country does not mean the end of the war. Everyone in Kanaha knows this. In particular, Uchiha Shijika and Hotaki Sakumo killed three heavyweights of each other. Cho, who returned to Tsunagakura for talks with the third Kazakage, suddenly heard the bad news that her son and daughter-in-law had died at the hands of Kanaha's Sakumo Hotaki. She immediately shook her body and felt as if her head had been hammered. Sadness and anger swept through the body of the elder Tsunagakura. She gritted her teeth, and a heartbreaking pain hit her, almost making her collapse. Elder Cho The Tsunagakura ninja who reported the news of the death quickly stepped forward to help him with concern. Cho waved him away with a cold look. Cho said go and tell the Kazakage that I will not go to the subsequent talks. I want to go to the front line in person, kill Hotaki Sakumo, and avenge my son and daughter-in-law. As for the death of Raza, Cho simply ignored it. Raza was certainly not as important as her son and daughter-in-law. After saying that, Cho turned and walked directly home. Facing the cold eyes of the Tsunagakura ninja, she became painful after turning around. How should she tell Sia about the death of his parents? She didn't dare to see Sia's sad and sorrowful expression, I can only hide it for now. Sanchao Iohanzo was in a bad mood. Just after hearing the news, Akaza and his wife were killed in battle, and Tsunagakura suffered heavy losses and evacuated the fire country. Especially when he discovered that Hitaki Sakumo appeared on the southern battlefield, Sancho Hanzo was stunned for a moment. He smashed the table to pieces in hatred. When did Hitaki Sakumo run to the southern battlefield? Why is there no news from him? Hanzo-sama, what should we do next? A Omega Kure Jonin looked at Sancho Hanzo, waiting for his arrangements. Sancho Hanzo was deep in thought. He knew the background and status of the Akasaka couple after having dealt with Tsunagakura for several years. Tsunagakura left the land of fire. It does not mean the end of the war. The puppet old woman is a stubborn character, and her difficulty is so difficult that even Sancho Hanzo has a headache. Even if the third Kazakage wants to end the war, Cho, who is filled with hatred, will never agree to an armistice. Rather, because Cho, the number of ninjas invested by Tsunagakura will be greater. The war has not weakened, but has become more intense. So what does Kanaha want? Sanchao Iohanzo quickly thought of Kanaha's demands. There can be no war in the land of fire. Sanchao Iohanzo suddenly showed a sarcastic smile the arrogance of a big country. Tsunagakura was expelled from the land of fire and they were followed by Amagakura. Can he retreat? If there is no war in the land of fire, can Kanaha stop fighting? Cho does not agree to stop fighting and make peace. The war between Gakuin and Kanaha will be more intense because of the Akaza couple and the three Raza people. Since it can't be fought in the land of fire, and it can't be the country of wind, then where else can be used as the battlefield between Tsunagakura and Kanaha? Sancho Yuo Hanzo turned around, his gas mask spitting out purple smoke. The direction he was facing was his hometown, the place where he grew up, the land of rain. It could only be the land of rain. He, Sancho Yuo Hanzo, had a grudge against Tsunagakura. Having a grudge against Kanaha, the two of them can naturally use the country of rain as a battlefield. Again, the problem is that now the only intruding force in the country of fire is him, Omega Kure. Can he retreat? He can't retreat. Sanchao Iohanzo ordered to the Omega Kure Chuyun and gather the troops, we are going to break out to the rear. Yes. 
Everyone in Yuyin responded loudly. Raise Nan. Uchiha Shijika's body was surrounded by thunder and lightning, and his figure flashed in front of a Sunagakur ninja. In the horrified eyes of the other party, the Raise Nan hit his chest. The strong tearing force made the Sunagakur ninja unbearable. He controlled the rotation and flew backwards. Bang! The Sunagakur ninja slammed into the tree trunk, and the clothes in front of him shattered, leaving bloody whirlpool marks. They! Sunagakur ninja shook his body, spurted out a mouthful of blood, and then tilted his head and died. Nothing! After easily defeating a Sunagakur ninja, Uchiha Shijika went to help his teammates in an instant. After a while, all the Sunagakur team entrenched here were eliminated. This should be the last Sunagakur team. Uchiha Shijika opened Kagura's inner eye, and within the range of his inner eye, there was no chakra reaction from other Sunagakur ninjas. Hearing this, Naoki breathed a sigh of relief it's gone. Looking at the corpses of these Sunagakur ninjas, Naoki showed a look of pity. It's pitiful that they were just given up by Sunagakur. The main force of Sunagakur retreated in such a hurry that they didn't even care about the Sunagakur team they sent out to fight guerrillas and do harassment. Without the support of the main force, these Sunagakur teams stranded in the land of fire suddenly suffered a major blow from Kanaha. As of today, almost all of them have been wiped out. Naoki put his hands on his hips and shook his head, commenting sharply on Sunagakur you are so cold and heartless. You can abandon your friends in the same village. If we were in Kanaha, we would never do such a thing. Uchiha Shijika glanced at the rope tree inexplicably. In the eyes of him who had turned on the plot, these words had a different kind of joy. Naoki looked at Uchiha Shijika strangely and blinked Konka, why do you look at me like this? Naoki looked at himself and then touched his face. No problem, then why does Konghua look at me in a wrong way? Did I say something wrong? Uchiha Shijika patted Naoki on the shoulder No, you are right. Who can say what you said is wrong? It is correct, so correct. Shenzhou felt that Konghua's words sounded a bit strange, but he had no evidence. After cleaning up here, we go back to the camp. Uchiha Shijika, as the captain, ordered that these Sunagakur ninjas were not big shots, let alone Jounin, and did not need to be brought back to collect information. They cleaned up the bodies of Sunagakur on the spot before dusk fell and night rose. Returned to the camp. As soon as Uchiha Shijika entered the camp, he was informed to come to the captain's camp. Jiraiya Senpai. Uchiha Shijika said hello. Hearing this, Jiraiya came over and said with a smile I'm back, how is it? How did the Sunagakur team solve it? It's almost solved, there shouldn't be anyone missing from the Sunagakur team. Uchiha Shijika briefly reported on their settlement situation. Just in case, our team will continue to patrol the surrounding area in the next few days. Before he finished speaking, Jiraiya interrupted Uchiha Shijika. He handed Uchiha Shijika a scroll and said at the same time your mission can be left to others. Shijika, go back to Kanaha. The old man wants to see you. You killed the disciples of the third Kazakage. The old man is very happy. He will definitely reward you when he calls you back this time. Jiraiya smiled and said rewards are based on military merits during war. With your achievements, if the old man makes an exception, I may be able to see the youngest Jonan since the founding of Kanaha. Host, how much time has passed and you are about to become a Jonan? The sound of the system is still dull and full of mechanical quality, but Uchiha Shijika can feel its cheers. By becoming a Jonan, the host can get the last draw of the loan. I don't know what kind of character card he will get. Just don't be a passerby. Uchiha Shijika said silently, remembering the painful experience of getting the Kirigakura passerby. Jonan. Uchiha Shijika murmured to himself a hint of expectation rising in his heart. There is an example of Hitaki Kakashi becoming a jonin at the age of 12. In terms of ninja level promotion, he will not be so stuck and can operate flexibly. 
In terms of his achievements and strength, there is no obstacle to becoming a jonin. Just like Jiraiya Senpai said, as long as the Hokage makes an exception, he can become a jonin. As for whether Naruto will make an exception, Uchiha Shijika hesitated a little as he thought about the good impression he had gained over the years of Saratobi Hiruzen. He really can't guarantee this. Seeing Uchiha Shijika walking out of the camp, Nashu approached him and said, Shijika, what does the lecherous uncle want from you? Be careful, Jiraiya Senpai will beat you up if he hears it. Due to Jiraiya's lustful nature, Naoki despises him very much so he calls Jiraiya a lecherous uncle on weekdays. Of course, Jiraiya doesn't want Naoki to call him that, especially in front of Tsunade. In private, he calls Jiraiya a lecherous uncle. He tried to bribe him more, but it was all in vain. The upright Naoki despised Jiraiya's lustful behavior, and he would never be complicit in sugar-coated bullets. Naoki put his hands on his hips and snorted I'm not afraid. If he wants to beat me, I will let my sister beat him. So, what does the lustful uncle want from you? Uchiha Shijika glanced at him Aren't you afraid of some confidential mission? He pretended to be gloomy and said quietly If Shencha wants to hear it, I can tell you. However, if anyone else hears the contents of the confidential mission, it is equivalent to leaking the secret. Pa. Uchiha Shijika patted Naoki's shoulders with both hands This is a leak, Naoki, you don't want to become a traitor because of listening to my words, do you? If you become a traitor, then all I can do is... Uchiha Shijika's voice became deeper and deeper, and Naoki looked at him with dead fish eyes. Seeing the appearance of the rope tree, Uchiha Shijika couldn't talk anymore. He smiled, coughed, and said seriously it's not a big deal. Hokage-sama has something to do with me. I plan to hand over the task and prepare to return to the village. Do you want to go back to the village? Shenshu was surprised, then envious. That's great. You can go back to the village. Pa. Naoki slapped a wad of banknotes on Uchiha Shijika's hand. The glutinous rice dumplings in the snack street, please. Uchiha Shijika looked at the rope tree speechlessly I'm not sure what Hokage-sama wants me to do. If I am sent to another place and don't come back, I won't be able to bring back the glutinous rice dumplings you want. Shenshu chuckled. If you can't bring it back, just eat and buy whatever you want. Uncle Shenshu invited you. You boy. Uchiha Shijika laughed and cursed when he heard this, and hit him. The news spread that Uchiha Shijika was returning to the village, and immediately some of the injured people he had treated came over with embarrassed expressions. Brother Murakami, what can you do? The Kanaha ninja named Murakami said in surprise Master Shijika knows about me? Then he waved his hands repeatedly just call me Murakami. Master Shijika is a big shot, and he doesn't dare to be called brother. Uchiha Shijika followed the good example and said, Okay, then I'll call you Murakami. From the look of you, is there something bothering you? When Murakami heard this, he took a deep breath, took out a letter from his sleeve and handed it to Uchiha Shijika. Mr. Konghua, I heard that you are going back to the village. This is a letter I wrote home overnight. Could you please give the letter to my parents? Uchiha Shijika held Murakami's family letter in his hand and happily agreed. I will keep it carefully and bring the family letter to your parents. Murakami was relieved and thanked him repeatedly I can't thank you enough. Following Murakami's example, at the end of the day, Uchiha Shijika received letters from many people, as well as some trophies obtained by Kanaha ninjas from the battlefield. Uchiha Shijika looked cheerful and accepted all who came. Request For a moment, the Kanaha ninjas looked at him with gratitude and recognition. Uchiha Shijika's reputation bowled up arrow plus one plus one plus one plus one. With the speed of a ninja's feet, Uchiha Shijika quickly returned to Kanaha. He immediately went to the Hokage's office to meet Saratobi Hiruzen. Saratobi Hiruzen had already received news of Uchiha Shijika's return. Hearing a knock on the door, he said please come in. The dusty Uchiha Shijika walked in. 
Saratobi Hirazan looked at him with a pleased expression Kong Hua, welcome back, we haven't seen each other for a long time. Hokage-sama, I'm back. Saratobi Hirazan nodded and smiled I pay attention to everything you do on the front line. Shijika, I heard that you opened the three Megatama Sharingan. Uchiha Shijika nodded, and his dark pupils suddenly turned into the color of blood. Saratobi Hirazan stood up and walked to Uchiha Shijika, carefully observing the pair of Sharingan eyes. If you hadn't seen it with your own eyes, it would be hard to believe that when you open your eyes, you will see the three Megatama Sharingan. Saratobi Hirazan sighed. In his life so far, he has seen a few people who opened their eyes and went straight to the second Megatama, but he has never seen the third Megatama. Now he has gained more knowledge. Don't you, Hokage-sama, suspect that I opened my eyes early to hide something? When you open your eyes, you will see the three Megatama Sharingan. Such news will naturally arouse some people's suspicions. Especially the members of the Uchiha clan, they know the Sharingan best. For Uchiha Shijika, the opening of his eyes will be the three Megatama Sharingan shocked by the situation. Can Uchiha still open his eyes and directly open the three Megatama Sharingan? Saratobi Hirazan patted Uchiha Shijika's arm with a firm voice I believe you. Really believe it or falsely believe it. Uchiha Shijika observed Saratobi Hirazan's expression, but didn't see anything. No matter what, the play still has to go on. Hokage-sama invited me back to the village. Is there something important you want me to do? Uchiha. Shijika patted his chest and said, as long as the Hokage orders it, I will definitely do it no matter how difficult it is. Nothing important. Saratobi Hirazan teased, Jiraiya must have told you the reason why I recruited you here. Could it be that what Jiraiya Senpai said was true? Uchiha Shijika showed an expression of disbelief. Will I become a jonin? Jiraiya Senpai said that I will become the youngest jonin since the founding of Kanaha. He said excitedly this, it's my pleasure. Uchiha Shijika's excitement is true. If he really becomes a jonin, he will have a chance to draw cards. Saratobi Hirazan returned to the Hokage's desk and picked up a file bag from the table. He said to Uchiha Shijika this is your ninja file, Shijika, come and fill out the form. Saratobi Hirazan joked from today on, you will be the youngest jonin in the history of Kanaha. Uchiha Shijika took the form excitedly. Saratobi Hirazan really made an exception, and the goodwill he gained over the years was not in vain. This also gave Uchiha Shijika a new understanding of his favorability towards Saratobi Hirazan. Saratobi Hirazan really trusts him and likes him. Fill out the form quickly, I know you're excited. Saratobi Hirazan handed over a pen and said with a smile I am also very excited. I am very proud that such a young Jounin can appear under my management. I am proud of you. To be able to make Uchiha Shijika become a Jonin at his age, Hirazan Saratobi put a lot of effort in private mainly to let Mito Kudanen and Koharu Matsuguchi move to their dormitory. As for Shimura Danzo, he was doing something in the Kingdom of Rain. The journey was far away and there was not enough time to inform him. Saratobi Hirazan had a headache thinking about Shimura Danzo, so he decided to kill him first and then play. It would be fine if they were children from other clans or civilians, but the children of the Uchiha clan should be given the title of the youngest jonin. This must turn the Uchiha clan upside down. Give it some sunshine and it will shine. This is the common view of the top management of Kanaha towards the Uchiha clan, and Saratobi Hirazan is no exception. One can imagine how much of a sensation the news of Uchiha Shijika becoming a jonin will cause when it reaches the Uchiha clan. But in the end he decided to give Uchiha Shijika the title of youngest jonin. Shijika's achievements and strength are enough to become a jonin. The only obstacle is that he is too young. However, isn't a genius from the Uchiha clan who loves the Hokage and is driven by him worthy of Saratobi Hirazan's heavy investment? Of course it's worth it. When he opened his eyes, he had the three Megatama Sharingan. Saratobi Hirazan had never seen such a talent. 
maybe Shijika will be able to activate the Manjiki Sharingan in the future. He has been studying Uchiha Shijika for many years and is extremely confident in his judgment. Uchiha Shijika completely fell to the side of the Hokage lineage, and he was the main one with all his heart and eyes. Saratobi Hiruzen looked at Uchiha Shijika with deep eyes, immature thoughts rising in his heart. I have Shijika, and the Uchiha clan is not uncontrollable. Saratobi Hiruzen smiled as he watched Uchiha Shijika fill out the form, then took out the Hokage seal and stamped it. Boom! Congratulations to the host for becoming a Jonin. The last chance to draw a card for the loan mechanism has been obtained. Host, do you want to draw a card? The sound of the system sounded at the right time. Uchiha Shijika took a deep breath and pressed the button first. Now is not a good time to draw cards. Saratobi Hiruzen stuffed the watch into Uchiha Shijika's ninja file and put it aside solemnly. The youngest Jonin, if this news spreads, it will cause a sensation in Kanaha. Uchiha Shijika was a little embarrassed after being excited, and said it's all promoted by Hokage-sama. I don't know what everyone will think of me. Your strength and achievements are not fake, Konghua, you are worthy of your name as a Jonin. Saratobi Hiruzen smiled and said, just accept it with peace of mind. You are a Jonin recognized by the Hokage. Uchiha Shijika nodded, but he was still worried about gains and losses. This look fell into Saratobi Hiruzen's eyes, making him even more satisfied and happy. He is neither arrogant nor impetuous, cautious. He is really a good boy, and he is still a good boy. A good boy of the Uchiha clan, headed by him. Thinking like this, Hiruzen Saratobi couldn't hold back his lips. He coughed and changed the subject. Kong Hua, how are you getting along with Soihoki? Uncle Zong Sin? Uchiha Shijika blinked and said Uncle Zong Sin takes good care of me and teaches me a lot of experience and knowledge by precept and deed on the battlefield. I have benefited a lot. You guys need to get close and communicate more. He, like you, is a person who has a dream for Hokage. This is the first time I heard this. Uchiha Shijika was surprised, and then showed a look of recognition and kindness. It turns out that Uncle Zong Sing and I have the same dream, but Uncle Zong Sing never told me. Seeing Uchiha Shijika's expression of finding a comrade, Saratobi Hiruzen sighed it would be great if there were more people like you. Uchiha Shijika heard the elegant meaning of the string song and looked ashamed there are many people in the Uchiha clan, have a bad opinion of Hokage-sama. Sorry, Hokage-sama. Saratobi. Hiruzen shook his head it's not your fault, they just couldn't see clearly for a while. With you, Munyuki and the others, I believe that sooner or later, the Uchiha clan will integrate into the big family of Kanaha. I will work hard to make my people change their views on Hokage-sama. Saratobi Hiruzen patted Uchiha Shijika on the shoulder good boy, as long as you have this intention, go back and rest. In addition to recruiting you back to be promoted to Jonin, I will also give you a week's leave. What Uchiha Shijika wanted to say, Saratobi Hiruzen Kaito said next, we need to adjust the frontline troops. There is no need to be so anxious to return to the front line. Go back and see your parents, let them see your good son who has made great contributions to Kanaha. Saratobi Hiruzen chuckled and Kushina, she has been clamoring for me to go to the front line to find you these days. Her status is special, so of course she cannot be allowed to go to the front line, but you also know Kushina's temper. I am really afraid that she will sneak to the front line. The current Kushina has no ability to escape the supervision of the Anbu. Uchiha Shijika cursed in his heart, his eyes showed a hint of emotion, and said I will tell Kushina. Saratobi Hiruzen nodded with satisfaction. After leaving the Hokage building, Uchiha Shijika had no intention of going home, nor did he immediately go to find Uzumaki Kushina. He also carries family letters and trophies from his companions, so get rid of these first. Dong Dong. Hello, is anyone home? Uchiha Shijika came to a door and knocked on the door. With a creak, the door was opened, and a middle-aged woman looked at him doubtfully. Who are you, 
the middle-aged woman asked, while looking at the boy in front of her. Her face changed drastically when she discovered the clan emblem on Uchiha Shijika. The middle-aged woman became frightened Uchiha. You, what are you going to do? We didn't break any law. You can't catch us. Uchiha Shijika saw the trembling appearance of the middle-aged woman and pinched his brows with a headache. He knew that the Uchiha clan had a bad image in the eyes of the Kanaha villagers, but it could make people tremble with fear when they saw the clan emblem. Sister, your reaction is a bit too big, right? Why? The Uchiha clan is not friendly in enforcing the law. They told them coldly that if the other party resisted, they would be beaten severely. Hearing the prisoners' screams, he looked at the cold expressions of the Uchiha clan. Moreover, in order to make the prisoners submit, the Uchiha clan, in addition to using lynching, also used Sharingan Genjutsu to control the other party. Is there anything better than an illusion that arouses inner fear to allow a prisoner to break through his psychological bottom line? Some prisoners did not commit serious crimes and were only released after being held for a few days. They told their experiences truthfully, and some even added fuel to their original experiences, describing the Kanaha police force as being like a devil's lair. There, you can see the most terrifying thing in your life. After this one-stop service, the Uchiha clan naturally became more and more feared in the eyes of outsiders. The Uchiha clan knew what the Kanaha villagers thought of them, but they didn't care about it and were proud of it. They did not explain or refute the rumors. The Uchiha clan should be feared. Uchiha Shijika sighed and took out a letter from home from his luggage bag. You are Ogura's mother, I am his captain, this is his family letter. Uchiha Shijika handed the family letter to the middle-aged woman and turned around and left. This made the middle-aged woman a little stunned. She looked at the family letter in her hand and quickly opened it to check. She was thinking about her son and saw her son's family letter. The middle-aged woman's eyes were red. She wiped her tears, knowing that she had misunderstood Uchiha Shijika. Thanks. The middle-aged woman whispered, she was overreacting. Fortunately, not every family is as fearful as Ogura's mother, although a guarded look is indispensable. After getting rid of the family letters and trophies of his companions, it was still early, so Uchiha Shijika bought some food and headed to the Senju clan. The land of the Senju clan is no longer as deserted as before. With the Uzumaki clan moving in, Uchiha Shijika just entered the land of the Senju clan and was greeted by the bustling streets with people coming and going. Red-haired Uzumaki clan members can be seen talking everywhere, and their hearty laughter can be heard from time to time. Eh? Isn't that Xiao Kong Hua? Someone discovered Uchiha Shijika and immediately walked up with a smile on his face. Uchiha Shijika observed the other person. He had a good memory. He had chatted with him a few times in the country of Whirlpool. Aren't you supposed to be on the front line? Why are you here? They. Uzumaki clan member touched his chin and suddenly said could it be that you came back secretly? Uchiha. Shijika was speechless nothing happens on the front line. Lord Hokage gave me a week's leave. He raised the food in his hand and said, I'm here to see Kushina. Ah, that girl Kushina. The Uzumaki clan member pointed to a training ground for the Senju clan. That girl is training there. Hey, that girl Kushina keeps your name on her lips all day long, now you appear in front of her and she won't be very happy. Uchiha Shijika thanked him thank you for showing me the way. They. Uzumaki clan member waved his hand and said, you're welcome, I'm just giving you directions. I should say thank you. Seeing Uchiha Shijika's doubtful gaze, the Uzumaki clan member smiled and said, My mother and grandmother are among the Uzumaki clan members you escorted. Thanks to you, they arrived in Kanaha safely. Just a task. The Uzumaki tribesmen interrupted him it's a mission, you guys have contributed a lot. Come on, come on, you can take these. They. Uzumaki tribe members directly pushed a few meat skewers over to them. Uchiha Shijika didn't want the other party, but he was not happy, so he forced Fortress to him. 
Uchiha Shijika had no choice but to accept it. The Uzumaki clan member smiled that's right. Okay, I won't bother you to find Kushina. You two should get along well. Uchiha Shijika is very conspicuous in the Uzumaki clan, just like on the Dark Sea. A bright light, shining brightly. After all, among all the red hair, there is a black hair mixed in. It would be strange if it is not obvious. Many people discovered Uchiha Shijika, and they all came over happily to chat like social terrorists. Uchiha Shijika was chatting happily with them at first, but as time went by, everyone became more and more excited and refused to let him go at all. This made Uchiha Shijika unbearable. Dear uncles and aunts, sisters and brothers, it's getting late. I have something to do with Kushina. Let's talk next time. Let's talk next time. Oh, look at us, a young couple is going on a date, what are we doing here? Aunt Uzumaki quickly asked everyone to disperse, and then said to Uchiha Shijika in embarrassment I wasted your time, go quickly, next time you have time, come to aunt's shop to eat and drink, it's free, no money. Uchiha Shijika left the crowd with sweat dripping from his body. It was so warm and welcoming. After walking a few more steps, he came to the training ground of the Senjua clan. He immediately saw Uzumaki Kushina sitting in the shade of a tree. She he was frowning and opening and closing his mouth to say something. Stinky fox, I want to secretly go to the front line to find Kong Hua. Is there anything you can do? The imprisoned Kyuabai snorted, laughing at Kushina's naivety. Forget it, the ANBU around you are not for a living, how could you sneak away? At this point, Kyuabai grinned, showing his sharp teeth. However, if you use my power, it will not be difficult to sneak out. Those ANBU can't stop you, and even the whole of Kanaha can't stop you. Then you can go wherever you want. Do you want this kind of freedom? Uzumaki Kushina looked down upon her Kanaha as a whole can't stop you, do you want to take a look at your current situation? Don't say you were sealed voluntarily. Soimu hair. Do you think there are Uchiha Madara and Senju Hashirama in Kanaha? How dare you underestimate my strength and let me out? I want you to see how powerful I am. Uzumaki Kushina's body swayed, and she picked her ears in pain. Stinky fox. Why are you shouting so loudly? Kyuabai suddenly discovered something, stopped roaring, and snorted again. Smelly girl, it looks like you don't have to run away anymore. Ah? What's the meaning? Uzumaki Kushina was confused when a gentle voice came, making her tremble. What, are you arguing with Kyuabai again? She understood what Kyuabai said. Uzumaki Kushina immediately stood up with a bright smile on her round face. She ran towards the person she cared about, and pounced on Uchiha Shijika like a bird in the forest. The food in her hand the bag fell to the ground, and Uchiha Shijika was hit hard in front of him. The force made him take a few steps back. He stroked Kushina's flame red hair and chuckled Kushina, I'm back. Welcome back. Uzumaki Kushina raised her head and smiled happily. The two hugged tightly, feeling each other's body temperature. Uzumaki Kushina took a deep breath and immersed herself in Shijika's warm embrace. It was really, long time no see. Time has not passed long, but the girl's longing has become deeper and deeper. Uzumaki Kushina knows what it means to live like a year, uncomfortable. How long will you stay in Kanaha this time? The girl in his arms said angrily. Uchiha Shijika touched her head and said Hokage-sama gave me a week's holiday. Kushina, I'll leave it to you this week. Sitting under the shade of a tree, feeling the cool autumn breeze. Uzumaki Kushina trembled and leaned closely towards Uchiha Shijika. The two of them were eating the food brought by Uchiha Shijika. Here are some given to me by your people. Uchiha. Shijika bit into the meat skewers and said helplessly what I don't want they force it on me. Uzumaki Kushina bit into the bread in one bite. The soft texture and mellow wheat aroma made her look intoxicated. 
Uzumaki Kushina destroyed the bread in a few mouthfuls and was so satisfied. After hearing Uchiha Shijika's words, Uzumaki Kushina showed a sweet smile and said just accept it, the Uzumaki clan can have a stable life now thanks to you. Uncle and aunt are very grateful. Of course, I will treat you well this time you are here. Uchiha Shijika shook his head and wiped out the meat skewers in his mouth. It's so enthusiastic, it doesn't need to be so grand. Anyway. Uchiha Shijika looked at Kushina and asked, How is your relationship with Kyuabai? Speaking of this, Uzumaki Kushina puffed up her face and became a little angry. It was still the same as before, he couldn't say a few words and then started to quarrel with the smelly fox. Uzumaki. Kushina looked melancholy I want to have a good relationship with Kyuabai, but I always say half-hearted words. Now I don't know what to do. Each other, stinky girl, I don't want to see you at all. Kyuabai's voice came from the sealed space and Uzumaki Kushina raised her eyebrows You think I want to see you, you stinky fox. Why don't you come here every day to disturb me? Nine tails are so angry. Uzumaki Kushina doesn't have much to do now. Apart from practicing the sealing technique, she has a lot of free time every day. And all this free time was used to harass Kyuabai. Yes, in Kyuabai's opinion, this is harassment. Che Zulyuan was tired of talking back and forth over time. I pay more attention to beauty day by day, and I am not a lover, so who wants to listen to the Uchiha brat? You. Uzumaki Kushina was shaking with anger and her face turned red. If I want to share, just listen honestly. This is my body, stinky fox, as a tenant, I don't care about your rent, just listen to what I say and tell me what's wrong. I would like to stay in your body. If you have the guts, break the seal and set me free. What kind of tenant? This is a forced purchase and sale. The sealed space vibrated, nine tails roared and struggled. Well. Uzumaki Kushina showed a look of pain, and Uchiha Shijika quickly supported her. The seal was still strong, but Uzumaki Kushina twisted her body in extreme pain. Uchiha Shijika's face darkened, and his dark eyes instantly transformed into three Megatama Sharingan eyes. Kushina, look at me. Uzumaki Kushina heard this and looked at Uchiha Shijika with a pair of beautiful eyes. Uchiha Shijika was usually as clear and beautiful as Jade, as gentle as Jade, like a noble prince, standing cold and proud like the moonlight on the horizon. Now, those enchanting red Sharingan eyes destroyed the coldness and changed Uchiha Shijika's temperament, with a hint of evil, breathtaking, and very aggressive. Uzumaki Kushina was stunned, she was the first Shijika to be like this. See you once. Before she could react, the world in front of her changed. The next moment, she appeared in the sealed space. At. Eh. Why did she appear in the sealed space? She didn't want to come in. This is Kyuabai. Uzumaki Kushina turned her head and looked at Uchiha Shijika who appeared here in shock. Heavy, Kong Hua. Why are you here? Uchiha Shijika stared at the Kyuabai. His huge body stood like a mountain. Negative emotions exuded all over Uchiha Shijika's body, making him feel slightly uncomfortable and surprised. Huge, whether it was body or chakra or negative emotions the emotions were extremely huge. Kyuabai stared at Uchiha Shijika, feeling a little unhappy. Those are really evil eyes. Uchiha brat, did you actually open your eyes? And opened the three Megatama Sharingan? Kyuabai narrowed his eyes slightly no, you must have opened the Sharingan long ago. This kind of strong pupil power is not something that Uchiha who has just opened the Sharingan can possess. Kyuabai was secretly shocked, this eye power. Is this really the San Magadama Sharingan and not the Mangekyo Sharingan? No, Kyuabai. Uchiha Shijika shook his head and stroked his eyes You are wrong. This is the Sharingan that I only opened recently. The corner of his mouth was slightly curved, and he smiled confidently It's just that I am very talented. When I open my eyes, I have the three Megatama Sharingan. Humph, I don't believe it. 
the thick eye power is proof. Kyubai only thinks of it as an evil Uchiha brat. He must be hiding something, so he said that it will be opened in the near future. Although Kyubai is a beast, he is not low in intelligence. This brat concealed the time when he opened his eyes. There must be something up his sleeve. But... Kyubai grinned. What does this have to do with it? It's just humans and dogs biting dogs. The evil Uchiha kid with nine tails is in conflict with Kanaha. It likes to fish in troubled waters and looks for opportunities to break through the seal. It seems that Kyubai has not been fooled. Uchiha Shijika shrugged and didn't care. He opened his three Megatama Sharingan eyes and said to Kyubai Kyubai, please stay here and don't think about breaking through the seal. I don't want it. You brought pain to Kushina. Hum. Kyubai suddenly paused and his body stiffened. Kyubai was horrified. Uchiha Shijika does not control the spirit of the Nine Tails. He can clearly feel that his body is not under control, and this feeling of separation between spirit and body, Kyubai is so familiar. Damn it, how dare you control me? Kyubai was helpless and furious in its heart. It wanted to struggle, but its body was as dead and silent, and it did not respond to the call of the spirit. Uchiha Shijika waited for a moment and released control of the Kyubai. His Sharingan eye power is comparable to the Mangekyo Sharingan, and he can control tailed beasts, but not for long. Uchiha Shijika frowned. After all, there was a difference between the ordinary Sharingan and the Mangekyo Sharingan. That trait has a strong suppressive force on tailed beasts. No matter how powerful his Sharingan eyes are, he doesn't have that trait. Damn little devil! Kyubai roared angrily, and the sealed space was turbulent. Be quiet, Kyubai. Uchiha Shijika's tone was light. Kyubai gritted his teeth, looked at the scarlet Sharingan eyes, hesitated for a moment, and finally snorted angrily and stopped struggling. The sealed space calmed down, Uchiha Shijika looked at Uzumaki Nine Sinai. How are you? Are you feeling better? Uzumaki Kushina nodded, and she looked at Uchiha Shijika with admiration. Okay, so handsome. Amazing. The nine tails that bared its fangs and stabbed in front of her actually became docile here in Konghua. Uzumaki Kushina looked at the pair of Sharingan eyes and thought of the story that Mito's grandma once told her about the first Hokage Senju Hashirama and Uchiha Madara. Turns out, that's true. The Sharingan can really suppress the Kyubai. Good, okay, I don't have any pain anymore. Uchiha Shijika breathed a sigh of relief and turned back to look at Kyubai. Kyubai turned his head, not wanting to look at those nasty evil Sharingan eyes. Kyubai, if you want to break through the seal, there is little hope of returning to freedom. You know very well human beings fear and greed for powerful power. Uchiha Shijika said slowly, Kyubai remained silent, but his ears moved a few times. My ancestor Uchiha Madara needed the power to fight the first Hokage, and just because of this he controlled you arbitrarily. The first Hokage defeated you and sealed you into Grandma Mito's body because he saw your destructiveness. Kyubai, your power is not so strong that you can ignore everyone in the ninja world. There are always people who covet your power to suppress you, seal you, and use it for others. Kyubai roared angrily it is because you humans are greedy for my power that you imprisoned me in this small space and took away my freedom. Uchiha brat, what do you mean by these words now? Do you want me to give up my freedom and stay with the stinky girl? Because Kyubai is not invincible, so instead of being coveted by others after being free, why not stay with Uzumaki Kushina? Kyubai glared at Uchiha Shijika angrily. How can you understand my feelings without losing your freedom? I will never give up my freedom. I will definitely break through the seal. If it doesn't work for a while, then it will take a year or a hundred years, the lifespan of a tailed beast is endless, and I will be able to be free one day. Looking at Kyubai's roar, causing waves of air. Uzumaki Kushina's hair was flying, and she tightly grasped Uchiha Shijika's sleeves. Hearing Kyubai's accusation, 
Uzumaki Kushina's face wrinkled he stood up and looked at Kyuubai with pity in his eyes. This look angered Kyuubai even more. If it weren't for Uchiha Jukka's Sharingan eyeing at the side, it would definitely make this smelly girl suffer severely. Uchiha Jukka with a calm expression, he waited until Kyuubai finished venting and said I heard Kushina say that when the Jinchuriki and the tailed beasts put down their barriers and trust each other, they can achieve the perfect Jinchuriki posture. Because of mutual trust, this posture does not need to be bound by a seal at all. Kyuubai, if you and Kushina reach the state of perfect Jinhuriki, without the restraint of the seal, you can always get what you want through Kushina. Free. I hope you'll consider it. Uzumaki Kushina walked out from behind Uchiha Shijika and shouted to Kyuubai I chat with you every day just to complete the perfect Jinchuriki posture as soon as possible. I know Kyuubai you are very pitiful now. Smelly girl, who has pity? Kyuubai's veins jumped, this stinky girl always makes it angry with her words. Uzumaki Kushina curled her lips, she is really a troublesome stinky fox. She said helplessly I'm pitiful, I'm pitiful, okay. I don't want to die, and I don't want Kyuubai to hurt everyone in Kanaha. Kyuubai, if the price of freedom you want is my death, I don't want it at all. So, Kushina Uzumaki raised her fists with firm eyes, patted her strong biceps and said, let us trust each other. Only by trusting each other can we get the future we both want. Kyuubai paused. After a moment, he sneered that's just the freedom of the Jinkraki, not the freedom of the tailed beasts. Leave, stinky girl, Uchiha brat, I'm going to bed. As he said that, Jue closed his eyes directly, as if he had fallen asleep, and stopped talking. Hey, hey! Uzumaki Kushina stamped her feet and looked at Kyuubai with dissatisfaction. Under normal circumstances, you should not cry bitterly after making some handsome remarks, indicating that you were too narrow-minded and selfish in the past and should not have done that. From now on, we must work together for a better future. Uchiha Shijika clearly saw Kyuubai gritting his teeth. He laughed dryly okay, let's go back. We talked openly with Kyuubai about our thoughts and gave it some time to think about it. I've brought everything I want to say, but if that doesn't work, I'll wait until my Sharingan evolves further and control the Kyuubai directly. Uchiha Shijika's voice was loud. He glanced at Kyuubai, and its teeth chattered. Ah! Does Kyuubai grind her teeth while sleeping? Uzumaki Kushina said curiously. You two parents-in-law. Get out of here, old man. Kyuubai couldn't stand it any longer, and roared furiously, staring at the two of them, his nostrils widening, and he breathed out hot breath. You haven't slept yet, you stinky fox. Think about it carefully and come back to you tomorrow. Seeing Kyuubai's destructive eyes, Uzumaki Kushina trembled, feeling that Kyuubai's negative emotions were getting stronger. After she said something quickly, she left the sealed space with Uchiha Shijika. Kyuubai looked at as the two disappeared, he snorted, then lowered his fox head, thoughtfully. The perfect Jinchuriki. Do you want true freedom or limited freedom? This is a philosophical question that gives Kyuubai a headache. Uzumaki Kushina opened her eyes and suddenly felt that her whole body was so weak that she was in Uchiha Shijika's arms. Ah this! Uzumaki Kushina's face turned red and she was a little shy, but she did not leave Uchiha Shijika's arms, but instead arched inwards. Uchiha Shijika patted her head it seems that Kyuubai's struggle has finally brought you fatigue. He raised his eyes and looked at the sky, which was filled with burning clouds and it was already dusk. Looking down, I saw that the food was already cold. Amidst Uzumaki Kushina's exclamations, Uchiha Shijika held her in his arms, and a princess came to pick her up. Uchiha Shijika said gently at this time, I will take you home. Let's meet here again tomorrow. Well, Uzumaki Kushina pouted, it was all because of that stinky fox that disturbed her time with Shijika. But thinking that Konghua just came back today, he must be very tired. Konghua, please let me go. You just came back today and you should have a good rest. 
I can go back by myself. Uzumaki Kushina struggled, Uchiha Shijika hugged her tightly. It's just a matter of walking a few more steps. Stop moving. Are you sure you still have the strength to walk? Hehe, <laughs> I really don't have the strength to walk anymore. Uzumaki Kushina smiled dryly. The struggle just now had fully made her aware of her current powerlessness. She once again cursed Kyuubai in her heart, wait, there seems to be no need to scold this. It felt good to have Konghua hold her. Uzumaki Kushina lay peacefully in Uchiha Shijika's arms, and she won't scold Kyuubai this time. At night, Uchiha Shijika returned to his room after having a reunion dinner with his parents. Uchiha Shijika closed the door, took a deep breath, and took out the incense burner he used to draw cards. He bowed solemnly three times and put the incense in his hand, which was filled with smoke. God, Allah, the Buddha of the Three Purities, help me to generate European energy and gold. System, draw the card. Receive. Uchiha Shijika's throat rolled, feeling anxious, waiting for the result of the card draw. This is the last draw of the system loan card. The next time he wants to draw a card will be after he becomes Hokage. Although there are powerful character cards like Uchiha Ataki and Karin, who can have too many. Of course he wants more, more powerful character cards. Uchiha Madara, Senju Hashirama, those Atsutsuki. Can you win? Host. The result of the card drawing is out. This should be considered as a cash withdrawal. It is a character card that is very useful to the host. Ah, real. Uchiha Shijika was stunned for a moment, and then the corners of his mouth curved uncontrollably, and his beautiful face was filled with joy. He quickly looked at the result of the draw. It was a man with orange hair and a righteous face. Tall and a strong man. He looked quite intimidating. Uchiha Shijika frowned. He didn't recognize this person. He felt a thump in his heart, he was not a prominent character in the original work, and he was probably not the same as the Kirigakura passerby. Same as a NPCs that can be seen everywhere? But the system said that his calculation was to withdraw money. Uchiha Shijika chose to inherit this unknown man's character card. He closed his eyes and felt it, and the next moment, he suddenly opened his eyes wide. Black markings like flames covered his body, destroying Uchiha Shijika's elegant temperament, but bringing a bit of evil. The whole person is like an evil ghost in myths and legends, which is scary to see. Uchiha Shijika noticed that the world in front of him had become different. He saw threads wandering freely, colorful. You can feel that these threads contain energy that cannot be underestimated. He reached out and touched it. The thread swayed lightly and suddenly penetrated into his body. A weak feeling of increased strength emerged from the bottom of his heart. I really can't hold my mouth shut now. GG. Uchiha Shijika grinned, and with the flame-like markings all over his body, he looked like a devil, as if he had just done a bad thing and was enjoying himself, smiling weirdly. Ha 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 ha. Uchiha Shijika laughed wantonly and his body trembled as he laughed. Dong Dong! Kong Hua, what's wrong with you? Your laughter spread downstairs. The mother's words came from outside the door. Uchiha Shijika's laughter stopped, and the streaks of flames faded instantly. He opened the door awkwardly, looked at his mother's inquiring eyes and laughed dryly It's okay, mom, it's the ninjutsu I practiced. I couldn't help but be so happy about the progress that I laughed out loud. Didn't it bother you? The mother breathed a sigh of relief mainly because your laughter sounded a little crazy. I thought what happened? The mother looked at Uchiha Shijika in confusion Is this how you feel when you are happy and laughing? Uchiha Shijika has been very sensible since he was a child, and his mother has never seen him laugh wantonly. Today I have learned a lot. It turns out that when Shijika is happy, he laughs so crazily. Ah, ha ha. What can Uchiha Shijika say, he can only laugh dryly. Don't study ninjutsu too late, go to bed early. After the mother gave instructions, she left with a strange look. 
Uchiha Shijika closed the door and slapped himself on the face. This time Feng Ping was harmed. It actually affects my mood. Uchiha Shijika's body was once again covered with flame markings. He came to the mirror and observed his current state. Host, how about this character card? Is this character card useful to you? Uchiha Shijika stroked the flame markings on his face. It was like his skin. It felt nothing to the touch. Useful, very useful. I didn't expect that he would be a member of Kong Wu's tribe. Tianping Yugo, the source of the cursed seal studied by Orochimaru, is born with the ability to absorb natural energy and can transform into a sage. He is a natural sage mode. The orange-haired man on the character card lived in the Warring States period. The ancestor of Yugo Tent Subo. The ability that Yugo Tent Subo has, this man with orange hair naturally possesses. In other words, Uchiha Juka has completed the sage mode with the help of the character card of Yugo Tent Subo's ancestor and became a born immortal. Right now it's just the level of the Earth Curse Seal. Uchiha Shijika is now 11 years old and he inherited everything that the orange-haired man had when he was eleven. The natural energy he absorbed is not enough, and he is only at the stage of becoming a sage for the first time. The manifestation is the flame markings on his body. But just the immortal transformation of the stripes has brought him a considerable increase in strength. Most subjectively, the addition of natural energy has transformed his shatara. The combination of natural energy, mental energy, and physical energy is more powerful Sage Chakra. With the addition of Sage Chakra, his ninja genjutsu has been greatly increased. Even the blood successor limited Sharingan has been faintly nourished by Sage Chakra. Further Development Trends As time goes by, maybe it will actually evolve into the Manjiki Sharingan naturally. It's a pity that it cannot be verified whether Sage Chakra can really promote the evolution of Sharingan. Uchiha Shijika is a little regretful. He can't wait for the results of such a major experiment. In more than a year, Uchiha Attack it will activate the Mangekyo Sharingan. After all, the progress brought by Sage Chakra cannot be as fast as the plug-in. Ah! Uchiha Shijika dispersed the flame markings and sat on the edge of the bed thinking. Natural energy is dangerous, violent, and uncontrollable. He had been in love with himself before, and the craziness of his laughter was the emotion brought to him by natural energy. Influence Tenping Jugo was tortured by natural energy and developed a dual personality. He is usually honest, but when he is angry, he has a strong tendency to kill. He is completely insane and has difficulty controlling himself. But Uchiha Juka is different. After discovering the influence of natural energy on his emotions, after the influence, he used his strong mental power to forcibly control the somewhat rioting natural energy. Yugo Tent Subo couldn't do it, because he was just Jube Tent Subo. And Uchiha Jubka was not just Uchiha Jubka, he could also be Ukiyataki, can be a phoenix, an ancestor of Yugo Tenping. A degree of immortal transformation, suppressing you in minutes and becoming smooth. Even if the markings disappear, Uchiha Shijika can see the colorful threads as long as he concentrates. He reaches out his hand, the immortal chakra condenses, and touches the threads, a wonderful thing happened. The sage chakra was attached to the silk thread, and through the transfer of the silk thread, the sage chakra was transmitted far away until the little bit of sage chakra power he gave dissipated. So that's it. Uchiha Shijika was thoughtful. The training ground of the Thousand Hands clan. Uchiha Shijika opened his right palm, and a breeze suddenly rose above it. A spherical body emitting blue light suddenly expanded from small to large. Next. Uchiha Shijika has already completed the change in the nature of wind attribute chakra. A raise nan with sharp cutting wind type chakra fused into the palm of your hand. Buzz. A buzz, the shape of the raise nan did not change, but the color changed from blue to pure white. High speed spinning shurikens with roars were born from the raise nan and gradually spread. The breeze suddenly turned into a sweeping squall. Uchiha Shishwa suddenly felt his hands sink, 
and he quickly raised the changing rays nan high. Buzz buzz a sharp, piercing sound resounded throughout the training ground. Uzumaki Kushina, who was observing Uchiha Shijika's training from a distance, frowned and covered her ears. Ugh, that's so jarring. She looked up at the huge air-tearing shuriken in Kong Hwa's palm and exclaimed is that Kong Hwa's new technique? Bang! Uzumaki Kushina's eyes were dazzled. Three ninjas dressed as ANBU appeared in front of her and blocked her behind. The three ANBU looked at Uchiha Shijika with vigilant eyes and were shocked in their hearts. That technique, even with their shallow knowledge, it was clear and unambiguous. That is not an ordinary ninjutsu, it can be called a forbidden or secret level ninjutsu. It was so dangerous that they could feel a sting just by looking at it, like needle pricks. The hairs all over their bodies stood up, and a very dangerous premonition arose in their hearts. As if telling them, escape quickly. Brothers and sisters of ANBU, don't be nervous, it's Shijika who is testing new techniques. Seeing the ANBU ninjas who usually hide in the dark jump out, Uzumaki Kushina blinked, laughing in her heart that they were too nervous. It is precisely because of experimentation that there is uncertainty. A big ANBU brother said. Their mission is to monitor and protect Uzumaki Kushina. As long as there is a slight possibility of danger, they cannot sit idly by. To prevent accidents, Miss Kushina, please stay away from us. The ANBU elder sister motioned for Uzumaki Kushina to follow them. Uzumaki Kushina looked at them dissatisfied, but the ANBU remained motionless, just looking at her silently. All right all right. Uzumaki Kushina was helplessly discouraged and followed the ANBU obediently away from here. She looked back at the rising sun and sighed in her heart that Konka was getting stronger and stronger. The wind release spiral shuriken is held in the hand. Uchiha Shijika observed with a pair of three Megatama Sharingan eyes. This was the first time he released the wind release spiral shuriken with Sage Chakra. The wind attribute chakra turned into thin needles and countless thin needles formed the shape of huge shurikens. Even with his three Magadama Sharingan, he couldn't discern the attack trajectories of the countless tiny blades. He had already learned this ninjutsu at the secret level of wind escape, but it was still half finished before. Uchiha Shijika first gained experience as a shadow clone, and then practiced wind release and spiral shuriken. Every time after practicing, his right arm would be pricked by the densely packed needles of the wind release spiral shuriken. Fortunately, he has good attainments in medical ninjutsu, and he has the strong vitality and physical constitution of the Uzumaki clan from the fragrant phosphorus character card to heal himself. He had only been injured a few times, but it was within his expectations. Success is success, but this half finished wind release spiral shuriken is not what he wants. Uchiha Shijika once wanted to go to Shijun Forest through Tsunade to learn Senjutsu. The wind release and spiral shuriken under the blessing of Senjutsu is perfect. No matter who dreams it is, plans can't keep up with changes. The last draw of the plug-in loan actually allowed him to draw the ancestor of Yugo Tianping, and unexpectedly achieved a natural immortal body. At this time, the priority of going to Shija Forest to learn immortal skills suddenly dropped. Uchiha Shijika concentrated, and the world in front of him suddenly changed, with threads intertwining and swaying like fish. In the palm of his hand, the threads seemed to sense the natural energy contained in the wind release and spiral shuriken, and they came closer one after another and turned into a curtain to hold them up. Uchiha Shijika lowered his palm slightly, and a surprising scene occurred. The wind release spiral shuriken did not collapse after his palm left but continued to move on the curtain turned into silk threads. Uchiha Shijika raised his hand again, the corners of his mouth curled up, and his eyes flickered. The movement here is not small. Saratobi Hiruzen must have seen the situation here through the telescope. Then, watch enough. Uchiha Shijika held up the wind release spiral shuriken and appeared in front of a big tree in a flash. Then he shouted low and slapped the buzzing wind release spiral shuriken out of his hand. Buzz. Wind release spiral shuriken collided with the trees, first contracted sharply, 
and then expanded suddenly, sweeping the area. Countless fine wind chakra needles smashed everything, trees, land, rocks, all were crushed into slag. It was as if a hurricane had passed by, leaving only a mess and a piercing howling sound. Uzumaki Kushina, Anbu, and others who were far away were stunned, unable to speak at the sight of this devastating blow. Everything in front of me was shocking. It was like the white sun setting. As far as the eye could see, the dense forest disappeared, leaving only a shocking deep pit. Good dong. Someone's throat rolled, a chill came out of the solace of their feet, and their whole body was bone chilling. This, what a terrible destructive power. I, I seem to see countless knives going back and forth cutting there. Basically, I can't see the attack trajectory clearly. Uzumaki Kushina came back to her senses, with joy on her face the test was successful. As expected of Shijika, this technique, this technique is really shocking. Sarutobi Hiruzen, who was far away in the Hokage's office, smoked his pipe and looked at the crystal ball on the table. The scene in the crystal ball was exactly the scene of Uchiha Shijika's training. Looking at wind release, spiral shuriken the terrifying destructive power caused, Sarutobi Hiruzen was surprised. There is no doubt that this is a secret level ninjutsu. This kid, Kong Hua, succeeded. The Rei's Nan created by Uchiha Shijika has great potential. It is a ninjutsu that has developed its form to the extreme, and can also be released without seals. Its level can reach A level, and the S level above A level is the secret, forbidden the field of art. On the basis of the change of form, the change of nature is added, and the combination of the two creates the terrifying destructive power of wind release and Rasen Shuriken in front of him. Sarutobi Hiruzen was shocked by Uchiha Shijika's outstanding talent. He was only 11 years old, and he really couldn't imagine what heights he could reach in the future. Hiruzen Sarutobi exhaled a cloud of smoke, his face darkened. He found that there was a trace of fear in his heart. Call. Sarutobi Hiruzen shook his head and smiled to dispel the illusion in his heart. He is the Hokage, how can he be afraid? Uchiha Shijika clapped his hands, very satisfied with the power of wind release and Rasen Shuriken. He looked at his right arm and saw no previous damage. The wind release spiral Shuriken blessed by Sage Chakra could be thrown, but Uchiha Shijika did not do so. He suddenly raised his head and looked at the sky, with a meaningful smile on his face. Wind release, spiral Shuriken can be thrown, as long as only he knows it.